I'm sorry, oh. but that is the best thing I've ever seen. I, I'm sorry. Wayne, Wayne pulls off the bouncer look, he doesn't does. he? He looked really good. Your name's locked out. Yeah. Uh, can we play it again, please? Because I've literally seen that for the first time and That's it's good. absolutely brilliant. I love our VTs. This one more than any. Check out Wayne. Oh, just amazing i think he's missed his calling like w yeah. wayne should be featured in the next bodyguard he needs to be here <laughs> he needs to yes. be here today stood right there <laughs> hello lovely jewelry makers i'm back i'm back Ooh. and i'm joined by the beautiful susie morning everyone morning ellen happy birthday i'd be late oh yeah it was yesterday all oh, right happy <laughs> birthday <laughs> we'll pretend it's today We'll combine the JM exclusive with your birthday. As you can tell, I'm still not quite with it. <laughs> not quite with it. I came back off holiday and then just literally got struck down with the worst illness. Oh, bless you. Oh, yeah. So oh. Elle was literally in bed. Um, and I missed my birthday show, and I'm so sorry about that. So, so sorry. But Ross, you did, I did tune in briefly. You yeah. did an amazing job. And if there was anybody to take my, set, my place, it was going to be you. I did actually say that to my husband, you know. I was like, it's all right, they got Ross. Ross can do it. Ross, Ross can do it. He can do anything, he did can't so he? He did so well. He did so well. I'm sure he did. Well, I hope you're all well, lovely jewellery makers. What a weekend to return on, though. We have the JM exclusive weekend. Yes, with all the best gems. <sighs> Speaking of amazing jewellery, Susie, you are surrounded by, well, some lovely of my absolute projects. favourites. Yeah, lovely, lovely projects. And of course, we had to have malachite. Uh, for this Love. weekend, which is beautiful. You can't make bad jewellery with malachite. That's, totally agree. You know, totally, totally simple. agree. Yeah. You think, and you think about all the red carpet events. Yeah. Malachite right. is always on there, isn't it? Absolutely, is a superstar. So loved working with those. So they're a pleasure to work with. Very easy to make nice jewelry, those, and then 12 o'clock you've got a, a pearl, pearl scoop bead scoop oh but let's have a little look down i'm excited about that because we've got a massive quantity haven't we Roscoe? huge um let's have a little look at the menu jewelry makers because from start to finish it is a jam-packed show so eight o'clock and what transforms your jewelry into red carpet worthy jewelry is little elements like your oh. early bird Absolutely. and i know you've been a big advocator of that yeah. susie from components, day one components 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 are what make jewelry make jewelry um mm. so your bead caps jewelry makers they're stunning as well yeah. beautifully shaped um a little element like i said that transforms your jewelry they're at eight o'clock they're in the show right now on the website right now so you can go shop ahead we've got them in the two different colors in the silver and also in the yellow gold yeah. silver um so shop ahead on those we've got a big quantity of the early bird Okay, 100, 150, it's not too bad, but not quite enough for as many as I'd like. Who's in? Wayne, I've just had to double Wayne, play that VT. In. That is absolutely brilliant. You know, have, superstar. You ever, have you ever watched the film um, or the series Bodyguard? Yeah, not, not as in the film, the Kevin Costner one. You need to, because you are literally him. I feel like you've missed your calling. Yeah, that was excellent. Yeah, it's like, like, well, or if you want to go with the film, Whitney Houston would have, you know, there'd have been you instead of Kevin Costner. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. Hi, Wayne. I, I'm still a bit jaded, but I'm miles better. Miles, miles better. Um, yeah, I'm sorry about missing my birthday show. Ross, but Ross, you, you what? You, how's your ear? He's got an ear infection. Oh no, they're horrible. It hasn't made you dizzy or anything, has it? It has. Oh, that's worse. That's awful. That makes you feel seasick all the time. Yeah, well, it, yeah, it does, doesn't it? it? Affects your balance it's and everything. Everything's like that. Oh, worst. Wayne. Yeah, Tell you what, 
We're fighting fit, aren't we? The jewelry maker bunch. <laughs> fighting <laughs> fit, yeah. I'll stay over here, Susie. Don't want, to, don't want you to catch anything. Um, anyway, as I was saying, Wayne stepped into the studio. I got all excited because I haven't seen him for three weeks. Um, then at nine o'clock, it's all about that beautiful Malachite project oh, that Susie was just talking I about. Love it. Opera inspired. Yeah. That lovely, which is a little bit Alhambra, isn't it? It is. It's got Alhambra and you've got loads of components in there. On the jewellery I've shown, I've just used one, mm. but you get sort of two. So wow. Amazing. Oh, look, yeah, we've got a catalogue. We can show you the catalogue as well. Oh, right. Everything that's uh, um, included. Um, yeah, so that's Malachite Harmony in solid sterling silver as well. Yeah. So the opera is, I always forget the name of the designer that, that brings, is it Bok Bokka Bokka? Boccellini or something like that. Boccarell. Boccelli or something like that. Yeah. So we'll show we'll show you during the nine o'clock hour anyway. It is a little bit Alhambra, but a bit more detailed. I would yeah. say that'd be my description. Yeah. Um, then at ten o'clock, it's about that amazing deal of the day. We've got the most beautiful first time ever bringing you amber in purple jewelry maker greens blues pinks look at this wow. it's absolutely stunning incredible wayne says in my ear that is mental they're huge as well aren't they beautiful this is the only what size they only do this these colors in this size is that something to do with how they actually uh, um, treat the amber to get to achieve that colour? Right, okay. Yeah. Look at the purples, but it's actually almost bi-colour, like a sunset. It does. It almost looks Murano glass, doesn't it? Yeah. That effect where they but have it's to an amazing, go for genuine it, but gem. that is actually amber. How amazing. They're huge. Yeah. So, big opportunity on that, jewellery makers. Let's just so you know, FYI, we have 100. Wow. And it is going to the most incredible jewellery maker deal of the day price, as you can imagine. Um, then at 11 o'clock, we have limited edition Burmese Black Spinel. Now, those of you that know me know that, I mean, I have to say, firstly, I have not heard, I have not read this um it's not documented yet anyway however i try and use a uh, the small amount of logic that i have in my brain um if burmese ruby is on the verge of mm. running out then i'm estimating so is burmese sapphire and burmese mm. spinel because they're mined alongside one another mm. um so if you love the beauty of black spinel that comes particularly from the highest location yeah. the, the the most respected location that is burma um then definitely make sure you're with us at 11 o'clock and then at 12 o'clock how long has it been lovely jewelry makers since we have had a bead scoop but not just any bead scoop pearl bead scoop multicolored huge there is so many pearls oh. that you get in that bead scoop it's amazing i love i love pearls so do i i mean mixed I color use, pearl scoops i made a complete necklace sort of um homage to the sort of uh, lewis hamilton yeah very colorful yeah version and it didn't even touch the sides oh the really bead scoop. you yeah. could make masses so much now we've got over if i remember rightly over 250 yes 250 of your pearl scoops jewelry makers so um make sure that sounds like loads doesn't it but actually i still think yeah, it's going to be an on-screen sellout let's have a look at our glossy magazine shall we jewelry yes. makers so your early bird you can see on the left hand side of the screen there your wonderful bead caps that as we said earlier on susie they're what makes the jewelry absolutely beautiful really good components i always say if you see components on gem just buy them yeah because they can transform totally jewelry. totally um and then you've got the malachite harmony uh projects that susie's bringing you at nine o'clock i mean look at that jewelry stunning susie and there's that opera motif yeah um so that's at uh, eight o'clock and then nine o'clock and then at ten o'clock jewelry makers there's that beautiful amber strand only available in this size they're absolutely colossal for amber mm -hmm. um, and we have on the nose 100 available opportunities and um, then you can see um, some of the photographs of the lovely pearl jewelry from yeah. the pearl scoop that's coming up at midday also you've got some look the brock pearls in there oh there's see? so many types of pearls in there and i made just i picked out four and made two pairs of just stud earrings love it um you know you sell each of those for like 45 pounds each so there's 90 pounds there yeah. Just, four, Just in, in four, four pearls. Four pearls. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Have we got any more? Is that? 
that's the entire catalogue lovely um so it is going to be incredible but i need to also add don't forget you've got the the burmese spinel i need to also add we've got lots of other luxury oh, yeah. vip editions oh, cool um we've got a whole tea bar full of amazing jade yeah. we've got some of the finest carvings i've not even seen these carvings yeah, beautiful. yet beautiful Honestly, I've bought them. Obviously. I'm not surprised by there that. There you go. <laughs> um, lots of sterling silver components. I think I spot some Akoya pearls in here as well. It is lovely to be back with you, jewelry makers. How I have missed you. It's actually been three weeks. Three Has weeks. It? Yeah. Wow, where's the time gone? Yeah, because well. we flew on the Friday. So, and. I've been back a week, so wow. it's been three weeks week. since I've wow. been here. I'll be a little bit rusty, I reckon. No. So you'll have to help no. me out. <laughs> you'll have to help me out. Um, but we'll have a lot of fun. We will have a lot of fun. Now, if you want to uh, shop ahead, you know the 8 o'clock hour. Time's out at 9 o'clock, so all the W's at jewellerymaker.com. Um, click watch live on the top right hand side of your screen and then scroll down scrolly scrolly there's the b caps they will be going lower that already amazing price tag there's those acquire pearls that i mentioned there's the amazing carvings that i've just seen for the first time you've got sterling silver elements in there as well um all chrysoprase always a firm favorite bursa jade gosh i haven't seen that in ages metallic pearls oh they're stunning as well um so loads of goodies on the website as we speak but Remember, you have to check out your baskets. You can always combine your order with one post and packaging. I was watching another shopping channel in my in my illness. Oh, don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. I was literally doing it for uh, research. Yeah, just researching. And I'm sat there, and I was probably like this. I probably have that face. <laughs> and, um, and I was like, ah. It's just post and packaging on each item, isn't it? Yeah. Each item, which soon mounts up, doesn't it? But we still do one post and packaging all day, jewellery makers, all day. So, Wayne, who's got the better tan, do you reckon? Out of it, yeah. <laughs> Mine's going, to be fair. Mine is going. I've never experienced heat like... Yeah. The heat there, the UV there, it's crazy. UV. Wow. You don't think it's hot because it's really windy yeah. as well. Yeah. Um, and it was like, I don't know, about 29, which is hot. But yeah. because you're so close to the sun, the yeah. heat, it's so fierce. I was on factor 50 the whole time. Wow. Yeah. I didn't know there was a thing as factor 90. No. Apparently, <laughs> Ross is saying that's what he needs when he's knocking around Coventry. <laughs> factor 90? I didn't know there was such a thing. Yeah. Well, well, they were selling it on our resort. Whether it worked, I don't know. I don't know. Let's get cracking, shall we, jewelry makers? Do get your messages in. We'd love to hear from you during your JM exclusive uh, VIP weekend. Shop ahead on your early bird. And every opportunity that we have, Joe, to play Wayne's VT, please can we play yes. it? Yes because um, I think we need to save that one to the archives. That's really good. Um, shall we start with, no way, Ross, because I remember. I do remember. Oh, he says, I've done a good one for your return. Oh, uh, hello to Rachel. Welcome back, Elle. Glad you're feeling better. Hope you had a fab holidays. We had a lovely holidays. It's all the turtles. It's all the mummy turtles. It was amazing. Absolutely amazing. Um, yeah, the amazing holiday. Got ill the day I got back. Um, but I'm all good now. Right then. Seriously though, Wayne. I am remembering this right, aren't I? I said Wayne, Ross. I am remembering this right, aren't I? Look at that. Oh, oh it's a, how hang beautiful. on, it's a box. Is it a box clasp? Yes. Wow. It's a box clasp. All that sterling silver with a beautiful iridescent moonstone. We rarely ever see it. Are you ready? No way. <clears throat> Let me just warm up the vocals. I should be really good at this now because I'm still a little bit froggy. Hang on. Ready? Are you ready, Bex? Ready? It's a pants! No! It's a pants! No, that is ridiculous. Pa, 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 pa. Well, get that in your stash box. Get it in your stash! Wow. I'm, yeah. <laughs> you can add on about £40 to your piece of jewellery just by having alone. that. Silver alone! Let alone the beautiful yeah. gemstone. We know that's utter madness. Over 150 wow. have sold out, jewellery makers. Um, I've got to move on. Well done. Well done, well done, well done. Shall we do... Not. No, really? This one. Wow. Beautiful blue zircon um, in your faceted tumbles. 
love zircon um you get amazing wow. amazing fire um let's get straight to it because you know what's happening oh look at that color and it's they're insane says wayne oh uh -huh. no, they're insane says wayne and i remember blue zircon strands 99 pounds oh for a strand yeah blue 100 so we stick with the blues so they'd all go together, oh, wouldn't so they? Pretty. But the moonstone with the zircon with the chalcedony. I love this. It's stone. almost like Ross literally planned it. Oh, look at that blue! That Isn't that is stunning? Beautiful. It's very angelic. Ah. Uh, London, Paula, Natalie, Mike, Michelle. There's loads of you there. Faceted to perfection. You get these wonderful azure blues. It's a bound. I can't believe it's that. a pound. Pounds. Hi, Alison. Uh, great to see you out. Hope you're feeling miles better. I'm loads better, Alison. Honestly, thank you, my lovely. Um, you, uh, yeah, I was a hot mess last week. Oh. <laughs> So believe me, you would have wanted to see me last week, Alison, but I'm loads better now. Um, well done, everybody. Don't forget your early birds as well. Shall we? Flat head pins. Okay. Pack of 10. Sterling silver. Featherweight head pins. Yeah, you are. Let me grab the tweezers so you can see them all. So we sometimes bring you the head pins. Oh, I haven't. Oh, you can see. Um, we sometimes see the head pins with the ball detail, mm. but these have got that flat detail, so when really, you don't want really it to good. spoil, say the spherical Fantastic, shape. Fantastic um, for making earrings, like I've got on now. Put a head pin through, you can't see that little yeah. blob. Sometimes you don't want that little bobble at the bottom. There you go. Really, Can you really see that? Fun. And it gives you that lovely mirror-like luster. Yeah. Um, 30 mil, perfect, perfect. So you're not going to be yeah. cutting anything off. No. They're great if you want to make earrings or something like that. There's no waste in this. You can still do a wrap loop. If you're doing an eight mil, you can do your wrap loop. If you've got a 10 or a 12, you just do a normal round loop. Mm -hmm. No wastage. Sometimes. Perfect. Absolutely do, perfect. Do you know what these would be ideal with, Susie? Both of your projects. Yes, they They'd really would. They'd be perfect with your nine o'clock uh, nine and perfect with your 12 o'clock yeah. as well. Perfect with your deal of the day. Perfect with just the Burmese spinel. You're always going to need head pins. You need head pins. Yeah. Absolutely. They're, they're a must-have for any jewellery maker. Sterling silver, um, £34.99. pence. How about, says Ross, Two pounds per sterling silver element. Yay. Yeah. Two pounds. He is crazy, Joe. Completely crazy. He brings all the deals. How about then, Joe, if you think that's good, how about a pound each? Yeah, I know. No way. Sorry, it just sounds like something's taken off above me all of a sudden. Um, are we happy at a pound Fantastic. each? Fantastic always popular at jewelry maker because they're a must-have you can't really make jewelry without featherweight head you're pins. always going to need them always always going to need them 30 second clock we're going even lower how many have we got in the vault but then roscoe 47 available that's not going to be enough is it we've done we've done quantity auctions of like 500 with featherweight head pins and they've sold out so 47 is going to last us a nanosecond yeah isn't I mean, it really? if you're doing like a bubble necklace, you're going to need like 10 packs. Yeah, yeah. And you're not so, going to be cutting things yeah. off because of the shorter lengths. Exactly, they're perfect. Less waste. Um, tons of you there. Well done. Not leaving anything to chance. Guaranteeing your place, but also this amazing deal. Um, well done, Susan, Judith, Lynn, Maker, Elaine, Liz, Sharon, Hello to Teresa and Paula. Oh, that's good, isn't it? 4 99 how I've missed the jewellery maker deals. I did tune in on a couple of occasions. Do you notice I messaged you the first day of holidays? I was like, hi, we're here tuned in. See, I was missing you already. Um, hello to you, Mariska. Hiya, happy birthday. Thank you. Missed you during your uh, birthday show. And we've got a lovely tan from your holidays. Thank you very much. I, I missed a bit of the birthday show. Like I said, it was, I felt really bad. But honestly, there was no way I'd have been able to come on air. Um, no, I wouldn't have done that to you. Um, so, <laughs> so I'm sorry I missed it. Thank you, Mariska. I've missed you all. Did you have fun? Did you have cake? A cake appeared and didn't get handed out. Oh, okay. So I don't think we want to eat it now, though, do we? Maybe, maybe, maybe not. 
Alan bought in a cake and I wasn't here. Bless Alan. Um, so I'm sorry I missed two, but I know you had lovely Roscoe, so you were in very capable hands. Um, $4.99. These are looking like they're on the verge of selling out. Um, as this auction goes on, I'm holding these e even less and less and less beautifully. <laughs> just look at that. It's just like, there you go, some head pins. <laughs> I mean, I don't know how I'm supposed to display head pins any better, to be frank. Um, there we go. That's better. Thanks, Joe. Thank you. The further the auction goes on, the more they kind of spread themselves out. <laughs> well done. Marion's got two. Stocking up her stash. Well done to Angela getting two. Buckinghamshire's got two. Teresa's got three. Um, in fact, looking down, probably about, I don't know, 90% of you seem to be multi-buying because we know that we're going to need them. You're going to need your featherweight head pins. Make sure you check out your baskets. For example, I wonder if I can do it now. Are my hands steady enough to do this? You know your early bird that's coming up? Do it that way. So if, if you took one of the pearls, say, from Susie's Pearl Scoop or one of your ambers as your deal of the day, and you could just, oh, I haven't got steady enough hands, but you could just put one of your bee caps on the bottom and a gemstone, and away you go. And away you go. You're making lovely jewellery. Wrap loop techniques, which is probably one of the first techniques that we master um, as jewellery makers. Would you agree, Susie? Absolutely. And one that you're going to use even? You just need head pins. You need all findings. I've uh, found that over the years, um, you buy all your gemstones, but you can't make jewellery that looks good if you don't have the, the other components. And the, then you yeah. go on a sort of a finding frenzy. That's yeah, what I do. You do. So and I'm buying everything. And there's nothing worse than having that piece of jewellery in your mind and not being able to make it yeah. because you haven't got the actual yeah, the right. uh, findings to yeah. do that. Um, it's like a baker not having flour. Yeah. We've said that Absol before. Yeah, exactly. Or butter. Something along those lines. Or an oven even you know it, 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 your hands are tied um, well done everybody there are so many of you getting involved congratulations don't forget coming up at the top of the hour you've got the most amazing brand new um, bee caps we've got them in the gold plated sterling silver and we've got them in the yellow there's a lovely sort of floral detail quite geometric floral um, patterning on the surface um, they just can transform just one round gemstone so um, definitely do recommend uh, shopping ahead on those because whilst we've got 100 or 150 um, that's not actually a huge quantity especially yeah. for a big weekend no. like this shall we do some spacers yeah gold plated spacer beads and I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to borrow this bead board. I'm going to tip them out there because then you can see them with the bead caps in the background. Yeah. See what I did? See what I did there? Um, and these are faceted too. Can you see all that beautiful, beautiful. luster on the surface? Like a disco faceting. Oh, they're amazing, aren't they? Bring you lovely sparkle even without the addition of any diamond. Um, $34.99 doesn't seem bad to me when you've got a pack of 20 of them. Um, in your classic th three mil, look at that. I love a space, I love a space of bead. I've got boxes of space of beads. I've got bo uh, a huge box just of what I call plain spaces in different sizes. And I've got another box of what I call sort of fancy space yeah. beads, including these. And I always say, these are in say a pack of 20. I always think you need about a hundred. Yeah just so that you've got them in stock so if you're making jewelry and you're using them as spaces you want enough you don't want to sort of get to the end and think oh i'm uh -huh. one short so yeah. i would say a minimum of three yeah that gives you 60. 60 doesn't go that far no not really. if you're well not if you're doing like gem spacer yeah. gem spacer so, gem spacer they soon yeah. get, they soon get used yeah. up don't they and they do transform your jewelry yeah. as we've said already multiple times um we're at 34 pounds and 99 pence again great addition alongside your early bird great addition you think about the burmese black spinel that we've got yeah. coming up imagine just one of these beautiful every, uh, between every seven or yeah. eight and just put it just <sighs> pops beautiful well here we go i've got the, I, ha yeah. I have said strands yeah and yeah. you know what we've got we've got the projects coming up and i we've done them in silver here but i just think malachite and gold yeah love so it. you could do these uh projects buy those and do it in the, the gold yeah they'd be stunning together yeah. well in whatever gemstone um so you get a pack of 20 three mil faceted to perfection um, I think we can all agree that the spacer bead is one of those trusty pack of 20 mm. um, trusty components it's a bead it's a decorative bead mm. forget one pound each says Ross 
How about 50p? Wow. 50p? That is amazing. This is sterling silver as well. Yeah, precious metal. It kind of really hits home, and obviously I'm going to be so sort of relating the... Uh, like, if you wanted a packet of crisps mm. on the resort, a packet, a normal-sized packet of crisps I need to put, on the resort that I was just at, three euros. Wow. Three, three euros. I went for a packet of crisps. The amount of times... The amount of times my kids were like, and bear in mind, we were on an all-inclusive, so we just usually just had breakfast where they had literally a whole dining room of food. Yeah. You want fruit? You can have fruit. You want cake? You want anything hot? You can have that. And they get to the pool, can I have some crisps? These are three euros. Each. <laughs> Six euros for the pair of them. Oh. Yeah, it's crazy, isn't it? And here we are bringing you sterling yeah. silver. Here, sterling silver, faceted sterling silver as well, for £7.99. It really elevates your jewellery. And when you're using sterling silver findings as opposed to a sort of base metal, um, if I'm sort of thinking up designs, I'll use base metal. And then when I transfer it to uh, the actual design that's coming out and I transfer it all over to sterling silver, you, you sort of take a deep breath and you think, now I'm... It's, you know, it's it just, you have a reverence for the piece of jewellery. That's it's what sterling silver does to your jewellery. It's VIP jewellery. Yeah, it is. You know, which exactly. is what this weekend's all about. Exactly. Seven ninety nine for a pack of 20, uh, 20 faceted three millimeter spacer mm. beads. But guess what, jewellery makers? How many do we have, Ross? Only twenty six left. So lots of you have shopped ahead on this one. There's a purple clock. We're going even lower. Well done, Pamela, getting wow. that pack of three that you suggested. Yeah. Five's done the same. Conway's multi-ball, Elaine yeah. and Jay Marie. Hello to you and Carol and Jill and Penny uh, <coughs> and Natalie. Hello to you, Natalie. Hello to you, Pamela. Hello to you, Tina and Angela. It's lovely to be mm. with you all. Back, we're reunited once, finally. Yes. Three weeks later. <laughs> three <laughs> weeks is a long time, isn't it? Yeah. Um, <coughs> but we're going even lower. Going even lower. That's amazing. Only 26 though, so I wouldn't recommend keeping them in your basket without checking them out. Unbelievable. Six pounds and 99 pence only. Yeah, I mean, Susie, I think you've really almost uh, um, influenced me really to think, right, findings, findings, yeah. elements, elements, because they do Yeah, and use different ones, jewelry. and this is why I say get the findings. So get these, but if we have other findings, different sizes, get those as well and just mix it into the same piece of jewellery. Yeah. Don't think, oh, I'm making this, so I'm going to use a three mil and I'm going to use a, um, a disco ball. So I'll use it throughout the pattern. I won't use anything else. Mix it up and that's what makes your jewellery fantastic. And this is why I'm such a big um, proponent of get those findings in your yeah. stash because that's what set you apart it makes jewelry making far more enjoyable as Absol well i agree i totally agree um well done i think they've sold out congratulations well done, everybody. everybody um ooh, we've got something very exclusive it's that exclusive that frankly if your name's not down you're not coming in yeah. Handsome in that he VT. Does, he I've, I've just said that his wife needs to have a copy of that. He looks very dapper yeah. in that VT. Yeah. Loving that Wayne. I and feel plus very I like special. I've been allowed with, in with your clipboard <laughs> and everything. Um, okay, so what is this extra exclusive offer? There are three available. Now, which Roscoe? Uh, I, <laughs> I must admit, I had a little sneaky peek. Yeah. Three in the world, that's it. That's all yeah. we've got available. They are nothing short of breathtaking. I know that you've got two ladies here who will, who will shout from yeah. the, the rooftops. Who own them. Yes, <laughs> yes, yeah. Um, the quality of jewellery maker pearls, I genuinely yeah. believe, are second to none. And I, I am blatantly saying, yeah, our style do amazing pearls. Um, Yoga of London do amazing pearls, as do places like your Van Cleef. 
However, so did jewelry maker. The only difference, the only difference in the pearl is the price tag. There are three available in the world. These I did look this morning. Yes, so did I. Oh you my goodness to. me, Susie. The box Susie. itself is lovely. Yeah, well, you know you've got something yeah. special there, don't yeah. you? You know immediately. And it's that whole reveal. You know, to say that you are the custodian of pearls of this quality, you know, is, is, is something that we should never lose sight yeah. of. You know, there are jewellery houses in London, Paris, Milan, any of those places that will have pearls like this framed in 18 karat gold. And this is why I've been pitching for so many years that we should have 18 karat gold yeah, here at Jewellery Maker. Definitely. You imagine an 18 karat gold clasp on these, knotted with silk yeah. in the traditional way. You are talking most likely probably tens of thousands of pounds in other establishment. Look at the quality. Now, again, I, I know we've only got three, so you will need to be quick, but remember your five virtues. We talk size. These are enormous, absolutely, especially for freshwater pearls. Then we talk about shape. Spherical pearls are still the most expensive pearl in the world, and that's still what the pearl harvesters will aim to achieve. Look how mathematically precise that's, those spherical yeah. shapes are. Then we start talking about colour. Now, you can dye a pearl, and there's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, However, natural. these are totally natural. Colour then, matched. Perfectly colour matched. Wow, well, I was going to come to that oh, bit. Oh, sorry. Uh, no, no, you're all good. <laughs> then we were talking about nacre. Nacre is that rare, precious material that brings the luster. Yeah. Now, in my opinion, Susie, and I'm sure you agree with this, if you don't have luster, you don't have a lovely exactly. pearl. Exactly. So important. So luster important. Is what makes, is, but yeah. Susie just mentioned something there about matching. Matching size, colour, shape. Exactly. Nacre but, and luster. I, you have to do that. Yeah. You all go through those thousands factors. to get that one strand. Yeah. They don't all come out the same shape, no. same size, same colour. No. Yeah. So this would have been most likely harvesting thousands upon yeah. thousands of pearls to achieve this one, yeah. this one strand. Um, that really, again, is another virtue that mm. you add to the, the, well, it's actually more than five virtues, yeah. but um, matching how perfectly matched they are. This is something that I would strongly recommend jewelry makers. If you're lucky enough to own, you at some point, and I do appreciate it costs money, get it valued and get it insured. Yeah, definitely. Because it's irreplaceable even at the price, uh, definitely the price that we're going to bring it to you today, move forward, absolutely. So definitely something that I would suggest doing. The quality is second to none. I mean, look, we've got three available. We're under magnification here, look which if that. you were look at it, looking at a pearl necklace in, I don't know, um, Bond Street, for example, you're not looking at it under a microscope like you would do no. a diamond, but you are, through this camera, basically looking at if a pearl's going to look bad, it's going to look bad under our cameras. But look at the quality. Look at the quality of these, even through the TV screens. Now, you get everything. You get the, the amazing, perfectly matched pearls. You get the beautiful box, the presentation box, as you'd imagine, with pearls of this grade. The only issue, jewelry makers, is that there are three available in the world. We are custodians of pearls yeah. like this. With a sterling silver class, that's £3,500. I bet. Just uh, you put a gold one on, and you'll probably pay another hundred pounds, you know, yeah, for the gold to buy it. Yeah, but you're going to add another thousand, aren't you? Easily, that, easily. You pop to Yoko of Yoko of London, yeah. pearls, where they sell freshwater pearls like this, this, this exactly. colour, this size, and you are talking twenty-two and a half thousand pounds. pounds. Yeah, you know. Yeah. So it's not three and a half thousand pounds is actually a fantastic, fantastic price. price. Absolutely. Remember, we've had jewel, we've had customers who have bought jewellery maker pearls, they've taken them then into another jeweller's uh -huh. and said, oh, I want to buy a class. Yeah. And they, the, the actual jewellery owner, proprietor yeah. has said, I'll give you two and a half grand for yeah. them. And they've said, no, thank you. Yeah. No, thank you, I'll keep these. And they were right to return down that yeah. price tag because these are the kind of prices that you can find elsewhere. 22 and a half thousand pounds. Look at how perfectly formed these are. Mm. I'm going to wish you all the very best of luck because there's three available. This auction is live, even at £1,999. And believe me, I'm not sitting here saying that's a small amount of money, it's not. No. But for what we're getting, it is. It actually is a great price. Yeah. You know, that's like, you don't go into, you don't go into, um, I don't know, a supercar establishment. You don't go into Ferrari and say, I want a Ferrari, but I've only got, I don't know, your sort of average 
family car yeah. budget. You don't expect those things, but that's expect effectively what we're doing it's right now. Wholesale. We're buying the Ferrari yeah. of Pearls with a much more affordable price tag. And can I say, the um, the necklace there, the Novus Freshwater Pearls, now you might think, oh, but that one's a long line necklace and that one sort of looks yeah. like it go around you. That has probably got the same amount of pearls, but what they've done is, is what I do very often to lengthen my, make my strands go further, is I add on, and they've probably put little seed pearls and knotted either side, and you, that length, I have made um, a long line necklace with that amount do of pearls. Do you think that is knotted? Because I, I can never quite they tell. They probably haven't, they've probably put like a, 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 a they've, it looks like there's bead yeah yeah bead in between yeah maybe a bead in between or maybe some more 18 karat gold yeah. but that's minimal it's yeah. minimal yeah. It, the, the bulk of the value will be in the, oh, pearls. In the pearls absolutely you know here we are sat with 1999 pounds yeah. on our screens and we're blatantly showing it alongside yeah. a 22 and a half thousand yeah. pound necklace now there's three available jewelry makers these are absolutely breathtaking oh <gasps> no goodness, way a, a i tell you what the like literally. earrings alone i was going to say always oh. make a pair of earrings because when you put the clasp on and if you're knotting it lengthens it quite a lot so you i'd probably end up taking like four or five pearls out um so Three hundred pounds for a pair of earrings. There. Oh you think, my goodness! That's like double. I've got to put them up to the neckline. Yeah. Let's be honest. Remember, it's the only opportunity I'm going to get. These are on a temporary strand. Oh, but look aren't at they those. Beautiful? Oh, they're absolute perfection, aren't they? And they've sold out. Well done. Well done. I'm not surprised. I'm so jealous. Of uh, that, I have to say, oh, I have these. Now I want some more. Yeah, I have to say that's uh, even by jewellery maker. That's yeah. way less than I was that's expecting these to go to. Just silly price. You pay hundred pounds for the box. Yeah. Wouldn't just you? Silly price. A pair of earrings. You've double. You've already yeah. doubled your money. Amazing. Um, wish list it though, jewellery makers. If you've missed out. Now there's a couple of items that Ross has scheduled he says so that um i get the opportunity to see it before it goes out the building yeah because i'll have missed a big chunk i'm not i it ah oh, i've already eyed this up yeah this is amazing and susie said she's bought oh, this now one of the rarest colors of jade is yellow um i have to say though my main focus on this opportunity the first thing that struck me was actually the artistry Beautiful. um this is absolutely incredible now genuinely says ross in my ear what do i think this goes to for that level of detail as well yeah 299 299 yeah. because look at that detailing is that what you thought is that what yeah. price you thought the carving is exceptional it's exquisite isn't it We've got five available. Yeah. That's incredible. That's one of the best carvings I've seen. Yeah. The first price crash, says Ross. Now, he says, I launched it with Dave. And he generally thought this was going to close here. Yeah, yeah. 299. That was my price that I had in my head. Yeah. Um, I've got no idea what you took this to. He says, L, I'll drop the price. Yeah. And you're going to be absolutely stunned, okay? Shocking how low this goes. Yeah. Really? Okay. Are we ready? There's a minute at this next price. There's five available, and I've already oh, got I'd people say, on the web. Just get it. Yellow Jade. It's. <gasps> on it, I fell in love with it when I saw it. No. I bought it because I don't have yellow. Yeah. No way. I know. I. As soon as I got it home, as soon as I got it, I thought I need to make myself a necklace with it. I'll so you're not it. selling that? No, that's for me. No, I wouldn't sell no, it either. I bought it for me. Yeah, I love unbelievable. It. Absolutely. Oh my goodness! Right, that's a UV torch, not that one. This one. Oh my goodness. This is quite a strong. It's probably the torch is a bit too bright. Oh my goodness! Look at that. It's, it, it, look out. Look how translucent those buildings are. And that's me holding, by the way, the torch a good foot away because the light source yeah. is that strong. Oh my goodness, that detailing. We have got five available. That is, you're right, Ross, that is one of the most unbelievable prices. Yeah. One of the best deals I think we've ever done on your Jadeite for that level of artistry. We are over allocated, so you've got 20 minutes um, on, um, on this hour 
and I've only got five, so make sure you are checking them out. There is Joanne, Christine, Greater London, Glasgow, uh, new customer, anonymous maker getting involved, and also Norfolk and Devon. So make sure you check out. We only have five available opportunities on that. And then, oh my goodness me. Let me get it. Let me get the torch back. Is that, is that the right one? Have I got the UV? These torches, you'd think, uh, eh, there we go. Okay. Right, ready? I literally can't see properly. Look at that, it's so beautiful. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Oh my goodness me, look at that. The detailing, the every sort of gnarly branch, mm. the twist and turn, look at the bridge. Mm. All carved out of one amazing, rare, beautiful, genuine gemstone. So if you prefer the red uh, color of your jade, I, we know that yellow and red comes under the same, same umbrella, color. doesn't it, effectively, and only forms if the boulder oxidizes. How many do you have of this, Ross? Six. Wow out of 100 they almost look like weeping willows don't they those trees can you put it up to your decolletage sure. to show that actually it's a beautiful size to wear wow because quite often we look at the carvings that they look lovely to display but i actually think that these are so beautiful they they're very very wearable i've, I've yeah. made a necklace myself and, and it's a beautiful size and drilled as well so yeah. you can very easily put knot these as well yeah. yeah it's a perfect size to it's, wear it's really lovely to wear look at that detailing it tells a story yeah. an amazing gemstone yeah. i only have six good luck jewelry makers again the detailing the level of artistry unbelievably oh, i can't like how how a jewelry maker yeah how are we able to bring you one of the world's rarest gemstones probably even more so now than but ever the intricacy of the carving is, is mind-blowing yeah it's just Amazing. It goes to the same price, jewellery makers, yeah. believe it or not. It's the figure that walks across yeah. the bridge. It's so clear, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Um, for the collectors out there, then 100% Jadeite will already be on your radar, won't yeah. it? Um, already on your radar. This is an opportunity. Grab it by the horns because these also these opportunities will pass. We at Jewellery Makers, remember when the mine is closed, it yeah. closed back in 2020. So the fact that four years on, we're still able to bring you this beautiful gemstone is a miracle. Mm. But able to bring it to you at affordable prices as well blows my mind. Um, good luck. What you need to do is I've got six, secure it at this unbelievable price. Wow and then forget that price. I've got one left of the yellow type A jade. I've got six left of the red, and it's a really yeah. beautiful, like kind of, a, um, almost like a terracotta red. Yeah. And you get different variations. So yours might come sort of a bit more red. It might be the same as that. Wow. Absolutely. No two carvings are ever gonna be the same. I mean, I don't know how close Becky can actually get to the detailing on this. Beautiful. Every single tile. Well, the money coins just at the bottom there, the steps, the waterfall, the bagode, is it, would you call them, yeah, bagodas going up the terrain as well, it's, it's a story, literally a story. Um, 20 seconds and we have to move on, you've got your five-way five split pay, yeah. well you know it's too low if you've got five-way split pay, <clears throat> you know it should have got 20 quid, as if you can get this home for 20 quid today, madness, absolute madness. Ordered a few coffees, didn't I, and your obligatory Pringles on the plane? Fairly sure I've got paid more than 20 quid for those. But I you don't know, think the popped up Pringles. The overhead at all. Um, can you oh, see Oh, yes, there's, yeah, there's can, Susie's beautiful jewellery. Yeah, and uh, it, the carving is so exquisite. I mean, I, as soon as I got it, I just had to make something. You know, I had to make myself, and this is for me. I just love it and you've got you can actually see on this as well how clear the carving is you've got little money coins as well wow for abundance love it i have one left of the yellow and we've got four left of the red jewelry makers so again make sure you do check those out wow don't forget your early birds as well your bead caps they are coming up you've got them in the gold and then silver it's a lovely quite a geometric flower on the top little elements like that alongside your carvings would be absolutely amazing should we do a bundle no <laughs> oh. 
this part this parcel of ruby is impeccable oh, as well i remember yes. launching this um so type a grade jade eye in i love these cuts um almost like the morse code yeah um, it's a lovely saturation of colour as well. But we've bundled it incredibly with none other than natural ruby. ruby. Beautiful. I mean, look at those together. You can see the quality yeah. of the gems, can't you? Again, I absolutely adore the sort of the micro gems that we yeah, have me on too. Maker. I use them as spaces in my pals and all my jewellery. Instead of, um, we started out, as we all do, using little sort of spacer beads. And I always recommended if you're going to use spacer beads, then use the, the Mayuki C beads because the galvanizer are brilliant. But then, you know, to elevate the jewellery, just use the a genuine gemstone. gemstone. They've got lovely draw holes. They're like a 0.6 Do you know, you, you'd be proud of me, Susie. Before we went on holiday, and I didn't actually get the chance to finish it, but I actually made my first, what, was it my first? Yeah, my first tassel. <laughs> In natural ruby. Yay! I mean, the fact that oh, I was literally... Me, I when will it's when it's finished, yeah. I promise. It needs more tasselage yeah. to it. Yeah. But was, I, yeah. And, does and you it, find it therapeutic? It's so I, therapeutic. I Sat there on the kitchen tassels. table. This is before I went on holiday. Yeah. Glass of wine. Literally, yeah. yeah, making... It was lovely. It was very yeah, nice. Kids were in bed. Happy days. Yeah. It was peaceful. It was lovely and peaceful. Yeah. Um, but I didn't get the chance to finish it before the holidays. Anyway, but I'm sure it's from this parcel. The, the majority of the world's ruby is actually treated, either diffused, heat treated, yeah. fissure filled, nothing wrong with that. However, um, when you've got quality color like this and it's natural, that's something yeah. to um, to get excited about. Yeah. Now, it shows how, yeah, that's a good point, Ross. Ross is just saying it shows how good the, the, the ruby is, that we're actually talking it over the jade eye, yeah. you know? Um, <laughs> Because you, you want your ruby, and if you remember, these are only two mil. You so need it to have color. that quality of saturation, that quality of colour. And um, they do go hand in oh, hand with do. one another, don't they? Um, we talk about red cord with jade yeah, quite a lot. Yeah. So instead of cord, how about some ruby, folks? Now, there's bundle. people already getting involved. And when we're talking about exclusives, um, well, here's two gemstones that you know, need no introduction, really, do they? No, you know, it's, it, it would be that. It would be Wayne literally yeah. opening the door for the celebrities, yeah. your jade outs and your rubies to walk on the red carpet. Um, you're getting 10 carats of the ruby, like I said, two millimeters, full 38 centimeter strand. And then you're getting 45 carats of your type A jadeite tubes, but it's not just tubes actually, it's actually the tubes and the lines. Yeah. Um, you could just literally restrand this, couldn't you? Yeah, it's beautiful. I mean, I've got about four of these strands of the Morse code, and I've immediately separated, so they're in like two separate bags. But the little three mil rounds are absolutely perfect. Again, for tassel making. Tassels, These perfect. Are perfect for tassel making. How about introducing some Akoya pearls in oh, there? You know, we're beautiful. talking high end gems yeah, here, aren't this we? This is my kind of jewelry. Oh, album. right. Yeah, it was right at yeah. my street as well, Susie. This. <laughs> yes, please. Um, do we have quantity then, Roscoe? 40. That's way more than I was expecting you to say. Okay. Look at the quality of those gemstones. Beautiful. You've got that lovely kind of soft apple blossom it's green of the jade. Color. And then you've got that rich vibrancy of your natural yeah. ruby. No treatment whatsoever, jewelry makers. I've told you this story before. When my, my um, eldest daughter, Willow, was born, um, I was like, right, I'm going to buy myself a ruby ring, which, I, you know, I work for Gempori. We've got little perks. Mm. That if it, you know, I'm going to get a good deal. Mm. However, I actually fell in love with one that was sold it was a pre-owned ring sold elsewhere and they're only little rubies little marquise rubies um it's in 14 karat gold and it's second hand yeah but i fell in love with it and i was like oh, i'm just gonna i'm gonna buy it i'm gonna treat myself for a special occasion yeah 800 pounds yeah and it's not a massive amount of gold it's the ruby and by the way i will tell you it's treated ruby this wow. is totally natural, natural. and here we are pounds. casually sat at 149 pounds yeah. and um, already we've got collectors getting multiples well done london hello to sorry hello to liz hello to cumbria um don't forget your early bird as well because they go hand in hand first price crash now bear in mind i've got 40. not where we're closing two strands natural rare gems <gasps> no. no i'm sure that strand of jadeite itself was exactly what i was just thinking another one on it without so that's 25 pound each wow for the ruby that's okay wait 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 you know people queue for events like this start queuing now on the web on the phone lines 
because the 40 that we have we're going to give you a minute warning because the next price that you see is the closing price and there is going to be a frenzy a frenzy on the phone lines and on the web so i would get there first get in that queue first two natural high-end rare gemstones the, you're right Susie the strand on its own the jadeite strand on its own should be more than yeah, where we are absolutely. right now the ruby should be more than where yeah. we are right now I was going to say you know what is that a buy, go, uh, buy one get one free no yes, it's way quality. less than a buy one get one free 30 seconds to guarantee your place because 40 is not going to be enough I wish we had 400 of these the deal on this if we had that quantity would 100% be a deal of the day 100% because yeah. the price that Ross has managed to negotiate for you is a massive PR deal. This is what puts Jewelry Maker on the map, quite frankly. You know, the fact that we can bring the rare gems, the uber luxurious gems, the gems that we thought we'd never be able yeah. to own and be able to get them at an affordable price. I don't know if I am ready, but let's do it. Oh, Jewelry Maker, how I've missed you. Ross, I've missed you and your deals. That Ridiculous. is complete insanity. Yeah. Natural ruby. Natural. Natural jadeite. Jadeite. What? That's fifteen pounds per strand. Pounds. That's ridiculous. You weren't wrong, Ross. There is a frenzy on the phone lines. A frenzy on the no. web. Absolutely oh. unbelievable. It's a, yeah, fifteen quid a strand, which is crazy. Wow. For the Burmese, Taipei. I don't I don't even think I don't even think Ross you've bought your ruby the two mil rubies and then you get the jade out free because the ruby should be more yeah should be way more for that quality of ruby you know that is complete yeah it, we can only say it's a PR deal can't we unbelievable we had 40 we don't have 40 now Liz Angela Mirtha hello to you uh, Maker Airship London says give me three give me three I'll have three at that price yeah. Pauline Sonia Elaine's got two Surrey's got two Joe Victoria's got two Cumbria's got three uh, Victoria's got two Robert well done I've got 10 left now jewelry makers that's it so this it is completely pointless it, adding it to your basket and not doing anything with it completely pointless a because it's going to disappear in five minutes b because it's going to sell out before that um there's 88 people with it in their baskets and a two minute wait on the phone lines tap the app is the best way to guarantee your success jewelry makers um but lots of requests for the overlink bracelet oh, wow. yeah sure in yeah. fact they look lovely together Wow. Look at that. Amazing. Well done, Mariska. You got two. Andrew's got two. Pauline, well done. Janet, it's going to sell out. Jewelry makers, this is coming up, yeah? We're going to bring the graphics live for this one. Well done. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Right then. See, that's what. That's why I'm proud to work for Jewelry Maker, you know. That is an amazing price. That is a steal of a deal. It is. Happened. We bring you some of the world's finest quality gemstones and pieces of jewelry at the most affordable yeah. price tags. That's why it's worth tuning in at eight. Mm hmm. Now, how much do you think that would be if you were to look in somewhere like Pandora, which are doing, which are, which are doing um, a lot of uh, link bracelets yeah. at the moment? I could see they're doing like a version of the Tiffany's hardware collection as well. Um, this is quite hardware-esque. Lots of you requested this, so we're just going to go straight down to the best price. Ignore forty nine ninety nine, which we could easily pay that for all that gram weight of precious metal and for such a designer inspired piece of jewellery. You know, how much is something like this in Monica Veneda? <laughs> wow. I, even Joe it's laughing. Just went fourteen ninety nine and just start chuckling to himself in there. Yeah. It is ridiculous, Joe, isn't yeah, it? Just it is silly. Yeah. Where else in the world that's are you a, getting precious metal? That's a base metal price, isn't it? Uh, yeah. In a shop. Yes. In fact, you go to Zara, you're paying double that. Yeah. At least. Yeah. At least. And that's base metal and that is sterling silver. Solid sterling silver. I was telling you about those Zara earrings that I bought to go on holiday. I loved them. They look like, they look like birds of paradise, like wow, really, yeah. really vibrant colours. But they're base metal. Yeah. I paid 30 quid for them. Yeah. I, only, I could only wear them once because they yeah. were itching my ears. Yeah. 
Whereas this solid precious metal, $14.99. I mean, I don't know about you jewelry makers, but I'm well and truly into Christmas shopping mode, especially yes. when I see prices like this. Because who's not gonna love that? Unbelievable. You put one of your pearls on there. Mm. Unbelievable. Have we got quantity, Roscoe? 30, but they're not hanging around. Uh, Mariska, Natalie, hello to you, Maker. Sorry, Robert, Anne, hello to you. Anne's got two, June's got two, Angela's got three, Natalie's got three. Well done. Are you thinking Christmas gifts? I would be. Genoefa, Pauline, Jean, Paula, Cumbria, London, Joanne, new customers. I've got one more deal before I introduce your early bird jewelry makers now. Um, I'm glad you said that because it's been even when I, before I went on holidays it's been a while since I've seen Old Neck Jade Eye mm. is it what oh I thought you said like permanently right it might be though we don't know do yeah. we so more recently the Guatemalan Old Neck Jade Eye mine was announced right everybody down tools step away no mining because we have discovered we have discovered an ancient Mayan mask now we don't know because in my head I'm thinking well it's not just going to be the mask is it mm. if it's an ancient Mayan king's mask uh, there's going to be other things artifacts, artifacts. Yeah. so um, we don't know is it going to start the operation again and it's the only place in the world that actually produces this lovely Olmec blue it's a full strand not a short beautiful. 20 centimeter strand the quality of the Olmec is amazing well done. yeah crystallization is beautiful Remember Stanley said to Dave some, um, I think it was last year, he said it, it, no, it no longer is solely about sort of the Burmese or um, the Khotan. Mm. Now the, China is accepting Guatemalan yeah. as top grade, Feiji grade. Yeah. And, it's, and that's rightfully so, I think. Absolutely. I think with the Chinese, with, uh, with jade, it's always been about provenance. And yeah. it's about where it's from, like the Khotan. If you, you can get other uh, nephrite, but if it's not from Khotan, it puts the price up. And it's like Burmese, they say, unless it's from Burma, they don't want to know. But that I think, like myself, when I saw the quality yeah. of the Guatemalan jade, mm. you can't dismiss it no you have to think actually this is excellent quality and i think that's why now there's a surge and there's such an interest in it we're going to do this in one price crash the mine is closed the only location in the world a full 38 centimeter strand remember that cast your mind back to when we launched guatemala and jade out you were getting like little five you were getting five beads i have four available and we bring it to you today for 149 pounds. That's amazing. Genuinely, when we launched Guatemala and Jade, you'd get five for yeah. that price. Five oh, yeah. beads. Five beads. Five I was beads. Buying them at that price. Yeah, yeah. And, and that's not us saying, oh goodness me, that was you know overly priced. No, at the time that was a great price. Yeah. You know, um, look at that quality. Look at that translucency. Look at that lovely teal blue colour that you only get from this location. Yeah. Thirty-seven pounds and twenty-five pence on your zero percent interest split payment as well, jewelry makers. Um, and again, we can't replace our Guatemalan jade. No. What we've got is what we've got. The mine is closed, um, mm. and and I don't. Well, we don't, nobody knows really if if or when it's going mm. to uh, reopen. Um, so make hay while the sun shines, jewelry makers. And of course, you know the mine opens. Let's say best. Best case scenario, mine reopens. Everyone's like, yes, it's reopened. So there's a surge for a demand on this beautiful gemstone. What happens then? The price per carat goes, it goes through the roof. Um, sorry, maker, Jenna Weaver, maker, Helen in Cheshire, well done. Um, I think it's sold out. Congratulations yeah, to well you all. Done, that with amazing. that yellow jade -like carving would be amazing, oh, wouldn't fantastic. it? With the rubies as well. And with the rubies, yes, wow. absolutely. Now, are you ready? Because it's time for your early bird. And it, it always tickles me. I always think about my brother who um, tuned in the once and he said, so he was literally watched an auction where I was talking about a finding and it was actually a head pin. And he, uh, my, my brother is very sort of deadpan, you know, very chill. And he was like, yeah, I tuned in. You're getting really excited about a pin. <laughs> so yeah, I was. But it's what those findings do, do to your jewelry, jewelry. that makes absolutely. it exciting. And that absolutely applies with your early bird. Good luck, everybody. Your bee caps are up next. Mm. 
now. Um, whilst I'd like to say I've got literally hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of these available, I've got 150 of the silver and I've got 100 of the yellow gold. So um, I would encourage being as quick as you possibly, possibly can. Now, these have got a wonderful geometric patterning to the front of them. And Susie, a bead cap does so much more than just cap a gemstone, doesn't it? It does. It just, it's, it, it's a sort of a, like a focal point for a, a particular bead. You might have a whole um, strand of beads. And like sometimes we might put um, like a little spacer in between them. But if you imagine putting a spacer and then getting a bead and putting a bead cap either side and then a spacer, suddenly that bead is elevated and it becomes a focal point. Well, it goes back to what we were saying about the Novus necklace. Yeah. You know, if it, they'd have just knotted, that's lovely. Yeah. That is lovely. But actually having those, whatever the component is, it, in between that no, those pearls, it's transfer that's made the design, absolutely. hasn't it? And that's how you transform your jewellery. We all use the components in different ways. Yes. And, and that's what makes these components so good. Mm. And bead caps as well, just so important. Yeah. Even on the end, if you're uh, finishing a piece of jewellery um, and you've got your um, crimp bead and crimp cover, put a bead cap just after that on the first bead and it really gives a really professional finish um, to the end of that and it yep. accentuates it. It's a full it. stop, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is. It is a full stop to your design. Um, now, again, get them whilst you can because there's nothing worse than making a piece of jewellery and going, oh, you know what I could do? I could do with one of those and then it's not there. Yeah. Um, these will fly out the door. B caps always do. There was a period yeah. of time actually that um, we didn't have any B caps within our stash. So thank yeah. goodness that they are back. Now, um, lovely design, quite contemporary, I think, quite yeah. modern. Let's half that price and I'm going to tell you we're still not stopping there. Um, Angela, you've already got three. Well done. Thank you for trusting the process, knowing that well, Jewelry Maker's got you back. Look at that. Even there, you get six. You get six of them for fourteen ninety nine. Amazing. That's amazing. Um, I always look at bee caps as well. Can also be tassel toppers. Absolutely, it's a sort of item that is like my spice cupboard. If I'm going around the supermarket, I might see a spice that I haven't got. I'm thinking I'm going to buy it. I don't know what I'm going to use it for, but one day there'll be a recipe. Yeah. It's best to have it than not. Then you you're busy cooking and and you read a recipe and it says all oh, say I yeah. don't know tarragon and you think. Oh, no, I've got no oh, I've got this, I've got this, I've got no tarragon, and I knew, that, you know, and you have to go, yeah. and you have to order them, and then you find you haven't got them. Yeah. Or you have to wait two or three weeks, which is normally what you have to wait if you're ordering supplies from well, other suppliers. Well, you look at how quickly these sell out when we yeah. bring them to air. They're on air, and then they're gone, aren't yeah. they? So we have to wait another three months yeah. for them to, be, to return, and this is a brand new design. Now, we're going to put 30-second clock onto your screen, um, because... Today, jewellery makers, bear in mind this is gold-plated 925 sterling silver Hilda. with that wonderful detailing, mm. all that lovely, like I said, quite geometric, yeah. um, the flower detail. How about two pounds per bead cap? Do you think adding one bead cap mm. is going to elevate your jewellery price tag by two quid? Or is it going to elevate it significantly? Yeah. If you've got a flat head pin, and you put that through, say, one of the pink pearls, put the bead cap on the top, and yeah. then just do a normal round open loop, or whatever you call it. That looks like a peg bail. Absolutely, it's a perfect bail. You know? They're beautiful. So they so do useful. so much more than yeah. just cat beads, don't Absolutely. they? Absolutely. Um, already collectors getting involved, jewellery makers. We're going to do it. Two pounds. And again, if I turn it on the side profile, you can see the investment yeah. of sterling silver that is within um, your bead cap as well. Louise, Manchester, Sharon, Louth. Hello to you. London, sorry. Another Sharon, Linda. Uh, London, sorry. Ayrshire, you're there as well. Eleven pounds and 99 pence only. Yeah. Think about, you know, you could just put one gemstone from your pearl scoop yeah. that's coming up one yeah. pearl so you've got a favorite be cap either side macrame lovely yeah. how beautiful yeah. would that be and is that a, you know an inexpensive piece of jewelry if you were to look elsewhere yeah. no it's going to be it's going to it's going to be quite an investment yeah. i should imagine um but these kind of components do transform your jewelry i think that's what we're wittering on about yeah, a lot exactly. isn't it and Susie? you need them in your stash if you're when you get serious about making jewelry you need all the findings. Yeah. I've got, you think of a finding, 
I have it and I have it in sort of like because when you start off you think oh 10 is great and then you realize actually when you're down to your last two you think oh I want some more of those and then you go and look for them and, and they don't on the have website. them yeah yeah so get them love them they never go out of date it's not like it that there's a shelf life to them no exactly now it's a very special exclusive weekend the first hour of the whole weekend and it's been a, it, yeah, it's been amazing. Look at look at the lineup that we've had. Yeah. Look at what we've got coming up as well. Yeah. Burmese black spinel, yes please, with some space with some oh, B caps. Beautiful. Your amber. Mm. You know what? Thirty seconds. We're going to take these under ten pounds, jewelry makers. How amazing is that? Precious sterling silver. I know. Um, if you buy these individually from elsewhere, you're not going to be paying, what, you're two quid? You're buying them each, by the way, when you're buying oh, them. Oh, really? Yeah, you, you buy them per component. So and I bet they cost more than two pounds. Yeah. I, I just think, bead, well, all findings, I, you know, I sometimes go on a supply first one thinking, right, today I need findings because I'm running low on everything. Um, You'll see me if we're ever, you know, if you ever watch jewellery making, you've got findings, you'll see Susie from Wiltshire. Yeah. Oh, she's got two or three in a basket, you know. Yeah. I've got an embargo that, that, that I'm being told, you know, Susie, you're only allowed to buy X amount. Oh, really? <laughs> That's unfair, because we know that you need findings like this. £9.99 pence only, that gets you a pack of eight. They're solid. You've got, you know, they're not flimsy sterling oh, silver no, either. And design yeah beautiful Absol and the textured as well which i absolutely yeah. love so make sure you do check out your baskets jewelry makers shop ahead on the silver they are always the most popular yeah. color but have you noticed the warmer colors of your precious metals yeah. are becoming really popular, popular. Right now yeah. um well done loads of multi buyers there cumbria's there hillary's there manchester's there uh linda's there cheryl's there wiltshire's there uh genie hello to you helen keep on dialing through let's move on to the silver because we've got much to bring you today on this yeah. uber exclusive jewelry maker uh, weekend first price crash oh look at that they're mirror like yes, aren't they're they gorgeous Some... so lovely he's a tinker joey is a mm. tinker that's his first price crash oh wow that's 30 a seconds Adam. we're going straight to your final price tag john oh isn't it funny like that the same design but just with the difference in the precious I, metal yeah, colors gives you totally different yeah. luster to it love the texturing on these as well john and susan well done angela says give me three london says give me yeah. three harper says That's, give me five yes. you get the general gist yeah. uh angela says no actually i'll have four blouse i want three please Stock up your stashes while you get mm. the opportunity. We had 150 of these um, and they're absolutely flying out the door. Well done, everyone. With your projects wow. that are coming up in the next hour, for yeah. example. 6 99 And they're sterling silver. And we Not all base know metal. It's yeah, it's precious metal. Again. That's crazy. Yeah. I mean, to make them at that price, I, don't think, I think you'd be hard pushed, wouldn't you? Yeah. yeah it, with, with, with sterling silver... I don't know, with a um, sterling silver sheet or something like that, you'd be hard, but it's not worth your effort. No, it's not. I you mean, might as well buy them at that yeah. price. I don't think you can make them cheaper. No. Definitely you can't. No. And that's often the case, actually, yeah. Susie, don't you think, with all yeah. of our findings? Um, tons and tons of you there. Do keep your messages coming in, jewelry makers, as well. We would love to hear from you. Coming up, speaking of luxury sterling silver components, um, we have an amazing project with Susie coming up in the next hour, um, opera inspired, which we'll talk about as well. And um, one of the world's most popular gemstones that is beautiful malachite and it's totally natural. You want an exclusive weekend, it's going to feature malachite for sure. So don't go anywhere. Remember to check out your baskets on everything that we've brought you this hour because it's about to disappear. Jewelry makers and join Susie and I after this. <laughs>
Never miss a show by watching on the go with the Jewelry Maker app. Head over to your app store now and search Jewelry Maker and simply download to your smartphone or tablet. You can watch the shows live and see your favorite presenters and guests. Click on the Today button to shop all of the products that are featured on today's show. Want to know what's hot? Then click here to see today's best sellers and highlights. Have you missed a show or want to watch one back? Then click on the schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days. Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches and much more by clicking for our social media pages. Never miss a show by watching On The Go with Jewelry Maker. Have you purchased one of our projects and want to download the instructions? Then simply log into your account at jewelrymaker.com. Go to your order history, find your order and click on download content. From there you can save to your computer or print off a copy. Please note that your project sheets will be available once your order has been dispatched. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Did you know that you can shop for pre-show deals on Jewelry Maker? Head over to jewelrymaker.com every day between 7 a.m. and 8 a.m. Click on Watch Live. Scroll down for brilliant products, last of stock items and amazing deals. But these deals are only available for one hour and once they're gone, they're gone. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Oh, welcome back, jewellery makers. Wow, you are absolutely invited um, to the exclusive weekend. And I tell you what, this next project that Susie and the jewellery that Susie has put together is exactly that. You know, it's, it's jewellery that I would fully expect to see on the red carpet. Yeah, no. In fact, you, you know you have seen on the red carpet. The jewellery is very easy. Um, and it is a result of the fabulous project kit. You All I've done is string beads together. Well, so I, see, if you look at places like Bucalati or yeah. Van Cleef, whichever it is, their jewellery, because as jewellery makers think about the construction, yeah. it's not hard. No. The most expensive jewellery shops haven't necessarily got the most advanced jewellery techniques. Yeah. It's just the brand, really, yeah. that we're working with fine components. But the actual construction is not that, that hard. Yeah. So um, I want to show you, because just the project is called the Opera. And I want to explain to those of you that don't know what the Opera is. Um, because we yeah. might look at it and go, oh, it's very Van Cleef and Arpels, which definitely um, the, the Clovers are. But there's two different projects, by the way, and they differ ever so slightly. But this is actually not the same as the four-leaf clover. Um, now, Bucalati, very high-end, luxurious jewellery, as you can see just by that photograph, can't you? I mean, it looks like it's taken in Rome, in a photo yeah. shoot in Rome. Um, and their opera collection is like the Alhambra is to the Van Cleef. Um, Bucalati's iconic opera collection has taken the Maison's logo and turned it into the main theme in every model. 
the focus of captivating, ever-changing creativity, combining the tradition of ancient goldsmithing techniques with the originality and beauty of its design. In particular, is that tomb decorations um, is one of the distinctive features round, uh, sorry, found in many Bucolati's creations. In the opera collection, the delicate style incorporates coloured stones or enamels to lend an iconic touch to objects, which free from any encasing now become celebrations um, of their own style, sorry, of their own shape-based beauty. Um, the opera collection possesses tremendous personality and unmistakable style, reflecting the prestige, elegance and femininity common to any, every Bucolati piece. I mean, just look at the model there, the necklaces. It, it kind of is a little bit Van Cleef, but there's more. Do you see where I'm coming from? There's like more of a... Uh, um, I don't know how else to describe it, more of a geometric shape, yeah. I suppose. So... That's something that's such a gorgeous photograph. And as you can imagine, with a name like Bucolati, with, with photographs like that, it comes at a pretty price yeah. tag. So oh, we can yes. take a bit more closer inspection on these. They do um, bangles. As they said earlier on, they work with enamel as well as your gemstones. The iconic opera collection lends itself to uh, continuous and extremely amazing interpretations. The logo element uh, becomes uh, a, a true, I always, protagonist, I have to break it down to syllables, that word, um, and is the center of every captivating creativity. The tool decoration, which is one of Bucolati's signatures, brings an iconic touch to the collection. Um, and again, they come at a significant price tag, each and every single one of these. I mean, for example, this necklace, £8,400. And it's not, you know, there's not a huge amount of gemstones yeah. invested into that. It's all about the precious metal itself. Mm -hmm. So um, these pieces obviously are the inspiration behind your projects. Um, they, they do feature enamel, which I'm not... Uh, I would prefer a gemstone mm. to enamel, personally. Yeah. £2,000 for those earrings, um, which feature some tiny diamonds. And then we've added on the back here the Alhambra, because there is real similarities to yeah. both of the designs, I think. So, Susie, if I show the projects, yep. and then, uh, in fact, no, let's look at your jewellery first. Okay. Let's look at the jewellery first, and then I'll show the projects. Now, the first project that I have, Ross, I don't know which one you want to start with. Which one did you want to start with? Okay, is the one which features your bracelet yes. at the front there. Yes. That's stunning, Susie. And such a simple make. You cannot go wrong and you've got everything that you need in the project to make this. Wow. Look at that detailing. Isn't that beautiful? It's just simple. What I love about Jewelry Maker, and everybody that knows me, I do simple beading. I don't do silversmithing. I don't do solder soldering I wouldn't be able to make that and I know we've no. got some fantastic guest designers that probably if you said could you make that mm -hmm. they probably could and yeah. I know that we have some viewers that could do that in silver clay but the beauty that you can buy those components ready-made is sometimes it's not even worth the effort yeah, is it absolutely. because you can buy it yeah why why worry about oh I can't make it and yet you can then make jewelry that really and also have them uh, so uh, set with gemstones yeah, which you exactly. know to actually to create the piece yeah. with the gemstone inside is a challenge in itself um, but again that level of detail and remember yeah. what uh, Bucolati were talking about that tool influence there you've got lots of you know uh, filigree details yeah. that's all lovingly sort of crafted um, and yeah that's what's really put the opera collection on the map is the detailing behind each and every single mm. one of these components so you get that focal connector which I can show you here um, in sterling silver again um, it's it's uh, encrusted again Am I right in saying that this is encrusted with topaz? I think it is. Certainly looks like it, doesn't it? Because look at that luster on the surface stunning. there. Look at that. That's why I'm thinking, oh, it's got to have some yeah. parve setting in there. So you get one of these. Then you get all of your uh, Stardust Spacer beads these? as well. Yeah. So you get a massive... It doesn't specify. So maybe it's wow. not. Maybe it is down to the actual... Might be just, yeah. Um, then you get your sterling silver um, spacers. You get two of your culottes, mm. 
two calottes. Yep. Which Susie can talk you through. Yep. A calotte is just genius. I think they're oh, such a fantastic. genius finding. Um, almost think like a clamshell that closes over the knot yeah. of your piece of jewellery. You get your bolt ring clasp just here as well. You get your cord yep. to knot with. Yep. Which is a lovely silver colour, yeah, complements the precious metal. I've used. And then you have one of the most amazing strands yeah. um, of malachite as well. Now this is graduated five to six millimetre in your beautiful sterling silver. Sorry, in your beautiful mm. smooth round, sorry. Um, so there's a lot here. The and, and I'm curious, Ross, what's this project going to? Because for the element alone, for that one yeah. feature opera inspired element alone. If you used all of the malachite, you would make a beautiful necklace. I've made it into a bracelet yeah. because I made a necklace with the other one. I wanted to show the versatility of what you can do with the designs. And this is what I love about our projects. We're here to inspire you with ideas, yep. but it, I love to see what other people have sort of said, well, I've taken that idea, so you see, but this is what I've done instead. Yeah. Amazing. And, and it's a high-end gemstone no, malachite, exactly. you know? Don't, don't think that malachite is... Um, is a gem that comes at an affordable price tag. No. Quite the contrary, actually. It's, you know, £23,000 if you go to yeah. Van Cleef and our pals and get yeah. one of their Alhambra necklaces. necklaces. Go, go to Dolce & Gabbana, go to Shopard, go to, um, go to Tiffany's & Co. Any of those designer yeah. brands, Dior, they are th it's thousands upon thousands of pounds. Mm -hmm. um, and that's because it's such a beautiful, distinctive gemstone. Um, so the quality of the Malachite, as, as always, jewellery maker, we just excel mm. the, you know because you want those distinctive separations of colors you want the sort of bands of greens you want the peacock eye uh, patterns that that naturally can naturally occur in this gemstone as well but if you think about this component when I'm holding in the tweezers that on its own surely is 30 pounds here at jewelry maker yeah. and that's amazing yeah. easily easily how much would the strand then be mm. Oh, see, now I was going to say, Ross has just said 30 to 40 pounds. I was going to say 69.99. Yeah. Because Malachite is not inexpensive yeah. and it's rare. Mm. So he, here at 99.99, I think, I think that's great value because you're getting all your findings for free. And your, and your findings. No way. Under 50 pounds for the whole project, for a full strand, it's a long strand too, look at that green just from there, that intensity of green, a full strand of natural malachite for the detailing of the opera connector, for the calottes, for the, for the jump rings, for the spaces, for the cord, for the inspiration and the instructions as well from our lovely Susie, and we're not done. How many have we got, Roscoe? 40, okay, so it is a very exclusive project, as we should imagine, mm. um, really. I mean, you're not going to be paying the tens of thousands of pounds or the thousands of pounds that you can do a Bucalati. And it's not enamel, it's a genuine no, gemstone. absolutely. 30 seconds, we're going to take this even lower, jewellery makers. That's already way lower than I was expecting it to be. The strand on its own should be more in my head. Uh, <coughs> high end, I know there's jewellers shopping with us today. I'm not surprised at all that this is, uh, um, this is <laughs> making you check out immediately. I'll be doing exactly the same. Um, you can still get involved, jewellery makers. There's a free phone telephone number, 0800 655. The beauty that is Malachi, which has taken the whole jewellery maker world by complete storm. There's there's no way near enough people on the phone line, says Ross, because there's only 40. So what he's going to do is put another 30 second clock on his screen, giving you a second chance effectively. Mm. And then we will drop that prize, jewelry makers. But if you're not there now, we think you're going to miss out because 40 is a, a very exclusive quantity, isn't it? Mm. We've done projects for like 200, haven't we? 200 available. You could make, if you were making bracelets and you had your own compo um, little connector in there, you could, I mean, each bracelet takes 16 gems. No, there we are. How many have you got in there? So you oh, make easily are. three. Never mind all the findings, the yeah. clots, the, the bolt yeah. ring, just for the strand and this, and this lovely connector. At Jewelry Maker today, how about 20 pounds each? If wow. I was to bring you, let's, yeah, yes, yeah. you're so right, Ross. 
if we were to bring this to you individually, say the yeah. strand of Malachi on its own, and I was like, okay, it's deal of the day. Got Turn the most on. amazing strand of Malachi, and I'd obviously spoken about the beauty and the exclusivity yeah. of the gemstone, etc. And I said, 20 pounds, it would sell out in a nanosecond, wouldn't it? Yeah. In a nanosecond, jewelry makers. We don't get Malachi in this size, um, in that graduation, at under 20 pounds. It's an it's an ultra Beautiful. high end gemstone. Um, Van Cleef and Arpels, 23 grand. We're at 20 quid. One single motif, still gonna cost you three. How about one single bead at Piaget? Two, two grand. Two grand. Happy Hearts and Shopard, 18,300. You're right, all the high end jewelers are, are, are working with it right now. If I was to bring you that motif, 20 quid, be gone in a heartbeat. Um, I tell you what we're gonna do, jewelry makers. Again, I wanna really show you just up close the detailing of this piece, because it's absolutely beautiful quality. Look at that. Look at the quality. That's beautiful. I'd pay, I'd pay 39.99 yeah. for that, Ross. Oh. The quality of the malachite, the detailing of the sterling silver, that opera inspiration, amazing. Um, now, and you get everything else as well. You get the yeah. finest, you get the clots, etc. And you get Susie's instructions. Which Susie, which piece is this? Uh, I've the actually on? shown you how to make the bracelet. Ah! But um, the techniques are the same. Covers it all. For, for the necklace as well. It's the same technique. And I've used the cord in both. Do you know what I find it interesting as well? Your necklace. You've used the reverse. Yes, exactly. You've actually used the back of it. On the other, absolutely. So it, you, it was like a two-way, yeah. and I decided to, to sh showcase. If the I turn it around the other way, you can see, uh, you can get more, oops, sorry, it's the earrings. So you can um, wear it like that. Or wear it like that. You can wear it like that. I'll turn cool. it around. You can wear it like that. You can wear it like that. Isn't that lovely? Gorgeous. It's a reversible right. piece. Yeah. Um, take it away then, Susie. Right, okay. Very easy. Now, it comes with this beautiful cord, very subtle. It's about um, a 0.4 cord or a number four if it was in the silk thread, if any of you are used to using it. And it's nylon, which is brilliant because you can use a thread zapper to bond it as well. First thing to do is when you're using it is to put some clear nail varnish on the end. What that does is it stops it from fraying. If you were to sort of like bond it, what happens is the bonding tends to go a bit thicker. So I just put some um, nail, um, nail varnish on it. And can you see that's now gone rock solid? So leave that for about 10 minutes. So it stops it from fraying and it's like a needle. So that's the first thing. And then for the bracelet or the necklace, it's just an elongated version if you're gonna make a necklace. Um, you're using the same techniques and I'm going to show you two ways of starting and finishing. One using the calotte and one using traditional crimps and crimp covers. So there's two ways of doing that, or crimps. In fact, I'm not going to show you the crimp cover. Um, I always think if you get the opportunity to use calottes, use calottes. It's so much simpler. Saves you a load of hassle. Um, first thing you do is cut a length that you need, and I would always say sort of two and a half times whatever you need, then you're not going to worry about uh, running short. And then what I've done, you know I love my French wire. Um, I've got a little bit of French wire, it's about that long, that I've cut off, and I've, because you've now put the nail varnish on, and that, look, can you see that's quite solid, look. Oh yeah. You can actually thread that through. If you had it, like this end for instance, hasn't can you see look it's it's very flimsy and it you, you you know good luck with trying to get that through it's just not going to happen so thread that through uh, which i've pre-threaded and i'm going to put my glasses on and then all we're going to do is we're going to thread this through and again this makes a bracelet that can be worn either way um, and then you're just literally going to thread that bit of french wire through through that loop and you're just going to tie a knot. That's all you're going to do is you're going to tie um, a knot there and then another overhand knot. Take your time. I'm doing it in the studio so it might, but it'll normally what it'll do is it'll grab your French wire and then you just tighten it like so. So 
so can you see I'm not sure but you can see that's gone into like a little round that has now gone into sort of like a little round what looks like a little round uh, jump ring mm -hmm. and then I'm just going to do one more overhand knot and do a surgeon's knot with this and this is exactly what you would do if you were pearl knotting making a pearl necklace perhaps and then we've got that now and then I would dab a, well I wouldn't you can either dab some nail polish but I, what I find with dabbing nail polish on sometimes with the, the wonderful um, thread like this you can see it dries clear but if you're using a silk thread what happens is it dries darker so two options you can either put some nail polish and glue it in place or if you've got a thread zapper you can take it off and just bond that that knot can you see so I love a thread zapper and it just bonds it can you see and that knot is not going anywhere now because it's bonded and then you've got two options you can either put a, a cover over it a crimp cover or if you've got a spacer that's got a larger hole like I've got here and I've got like a this is why I say if you get the opportunity to buy your findings do because this is why I have such an array because I actually managed to match the wonderful sort of stardust beads I thought oh well, I've got some larger ones there and then all I've done is I've covered it so covered that knot so you can just pull that knot over it and cover it and then you can start the beading and you see I've done one side already and it's as quick as anything with the graduated because I'm using the graduated one for the bracer and I did that in the main one the ones in the middle are, are the largest put them to one side and then just have the others in another pile and what I've done for this particular one is I've used three of the uh, larger beads and you're literally using that now end as a needle and I've just put a spacer bead either side now I've run out uh, of those little stardust I've only got one so I'm just going to use uh, another three mil but this is why I say if you get the opportunity just buy lots and lots so I'm just going to use um, just for the demo um, sterling silver just round spaces and you'll get the effect but you could sort of you know use your own spaces from your own stash save these ones for another project get a different look you might want to choose it in gold and then I went along with three of the bigger ones and again this this design for a bracelet is entirely up to you another space of bead and then I did three then all in one of the little uh, smaller malachites just for a design aesthetic really that's all it was for but as I say if you're making a necklace you can change it completely up use those bead caps would be lovely this is why I say you know bead caps are beautiful um, and then I'm going to use another one there and I think I did this design because it used exactly the right amount of the spacer beads you had and And I did two here. And I'll end it with that one there. And then once you've done that, this is where the joy of a kilot comes in. You get your kilot. This is a different one because I've used the ones from the pack. Um, and they're actually better because what happens is wh when they're flat, you can actually do a better crimp. When they're like this, sometimes it's quite hard to get a decent crimp in there because they're open so I tend to have to open these and you have to be very careful because they might snap but then what you do is you put your crimp in and if you're really good at crimping uh, doing crimps um, I'm fairly used to it you can use your crimp covers but you might be a beginner and this is a big so all you do is you'll get any pair of pliers and all you're going to do is squish that it really doesn't matter and you're going to squish that as hard as you can on the edge because what you're doing is you're trapping that thread inside so you're you're almost making a knot with it and there we go and then what I do is I normally zap it because it sort of melts and forms a little bond a little plastic 
put with it. I love um, using a zapper, and I just bond that, and it's sort of it, that's not going to go anywhere. And then all you do then is you just close it as such, and you just make sure that those two ends meet, and that's your end there. And then all you do to attach it to a clasp. Now, I've got a clasp here, but you might be like me. I find if I'm making a bracelet. I like to have like a magnetic clasp because it's much easier to put on and off. But the choice is absolutely yours. You know, we on the bracelet I made, I used a different clasp altogether. Um, I like to make, if I'm making bracelets, I like the clasp to be part of the feature. And then all you're gonna do is attach that with a jump ring. How easy is that? And then this one, I've used a magnetic clasp. And the joy of this design is that you can wear it one day like this, can you see that? Or yeah. you might want to wear it that way. Yeah. But you've got a two you design. Can, it's almost, it's almost al, uh, Van Cleef. Yeah, Bucalati. it is. Yeah, Van exactly. Cleef, Bucalati. So you've Which one do you want to go with? Two bracelets in one. That's I beautiful, I just absolutely Susie. love it. Just so simple. Well, the actual uh, connector that you saw there in, yeah. um, in Susie's bracelet is in the other kit. Is in the next project. These are yeah. slightly larger, you get two. Yeah. Um, and I've, yeah, yes. they're brand new. These are stunning. They um, are. You have faceted four millimeter round malachite. Again, the quality of the green is absolutely amazing. Um, you get obviously the cord just there. You get two, which I've just sat one of them upwards. So, um, and on the recording, we're showing the reverse. Yeah. So, but the reality is. The reality is, it's beautiful on the back as well, yeah. isn't it? Um, yeah, that is officially the back. That yeah, is officially the it back. It looks beautiful. But it looks lovely front ways. And what uh, I would say ways. is, normally, if you get such a, a, a fancy piece at the front that is sort of showcasing a bit of uh, malachite, you might think, well, the back will be quite ugly. You but think? But this is just as good as the front. 100%. I'm just going to try out here. I'll tell you what, I'll put it on my hand up here so you can actually see them together. Look at that. So there is the uh, is the opera inspiration behind. So you get two of these. Yeah. Um, they are brand new. There's a huge amount of your precious metal as well. Um, invested, wrapping the beautiful malachite. You get the same findings as you saw in the other project where you have the bolt ring class, you get the two clots, and then you get all of your... Uh, spacer beads and you also get Susie's amazing uh, instructions too um, I want to buy this project I really oh, like I these it. components I yeah, love the so strand don't get me wrong I absolutely love the strand yeah. but I'm really smitten yeah. by these components and um, that detailing remember all that lovely filigree work that tool detailing that is um, the Bucalati inspiration behind the opera collection which is huge at the moment now we're at 69.99 again there's a big amount of sterling silver um do i have a quantity of these then ross so, ah okay so it's that word exclusive again isn't it there's 40 available jewelry makers so you will need to be quick a third of the stock's already gone oh okay so you need to be extra quick then look at the quality if i just show you yeah. all the way around look at the quality of all that ah there it is on susie's wrist yeah can you see it put it flat your hand flat there you go can you see that isn't that beautiful it's so that's really stunning and can i just show it on the back side because i don't know which one side i prefer <laughs> look at that it doesn't matter if it flips yeah, over does it it really doesn't isn't that lovely destiny can decide yeah. for you 69.99 was already an amazing price 39.99 surely this should be more because there's a lot of silver in these yeah. And you get the two as well. Which is actually four because it's reversible. Yes. You can wear them this way or that way. Yeah. This way or that way. And they're perfect if you wear them in earrings. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's basically £20 per opera, um, opera Bucalati opera inspired connector. And then you've got everything else for free. Yeah. You've got the strand of faceted malachite. When do we see faceted malachite? Very rarely. Um, all that sterling silver that you're getting here, the bolt ring class, the two, which I've barely, I've re barely showed those or yeah. mentioned them, have I? But you get all those. You get all of your starter spacer beads also. And you get Susie's instructions. Yeah. Um, I was just saying, oh, I want to buy this project, but most likely it's going to sell out. 
Yeah. It certainly looks that way. Um, there was only 40 available. And um, I've used every single component, oh, everything on this is from the project. This is the one thing about this project I will say, you know, uh, just a bit of an extension class because I u even use a bolt ring, but yeah. you could just use um, a, a jump ring. Yeah. But I used um, an extender chain, yeah. but everything is from the kit, apart from a little component, this is what I'm saying, component, 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 buy yeah. them. But you've probably got something in your stash. You might even have a little bit of You don't even need that. You could, yeah. you could just leave it as it yeah. is, cut away yeah. the jump ring. Yeah. Absolutely. Love that, Susie. Absolutely gorgeous. Simple. Um, now, we do have, you know, we were saying how Bucalati, Van Cleef, they're up, they, they have got similarities to them. And yeah. I don't know if the Maisons will actually thank me for saying that, but <laughs> I've said it. I've said it. Now, um, but we do have the Van Cleef. If you know, just, Ross, you know, we showed the first of the Van Cleef pieces in that presentation. Do you notice about this one here? Yeah, lovely. Um, it's the detailing that's slightly different. The one that they're about to set there, can you see it's like a, like a starburst almost? Yeah. You've got that, yeah, a bit concave. You've got almost that play of light across the surface. We have that in the, um, in the, in the Van Cleef inspired piece. Now, are you talking about the one with Malachite? You're talking about the one without Malachite? With Malachite first. There's a couple of details like the pendant, which, oh, loving, absolutely loving those. Um, yes, right. Now, you made these into earrings, yes. Susie. Yes. So. So all I need to do, Susie, am I right in saying, because you get the chain. Yeah. You get the jump rings. Yeah. You get the earring post. Yeah. You get the... This is a beginner again. This is a beginner. Like, does that look like a beginner's? But you have the components ready made. You just literally open a couple of jump rings up, and that's just it. Cut a bit of chain to the length you want, and that's, and it. that's it. Honestly, so you just need a pair of pliers. I mean, I I love my crimping pliers because they double up as pliers. But you just need a couple of pliers. Just open and close a jump ring. And you're making jewellery like that because jewellery maker bring you the components. You don't yeah. have to learn how to make them. So I don't need to buy the chain. No. Nope. I don't need to buy the jump rings. No. Nope. I don't need to there. buy the earring posts. No. Nope. Don't need to buy the butterfly bags. Just, no, no, just have to. Okay, so this one, I beg your pardon, is coming up. The first one. Is oh, no, I've not seen this before. Which one's this one? Okay, you get five motifs. I beg your pardon. Right. I'm going to show you each and every single one because firstly you get these beautiful little connectors. These connectors, um, oh, that's for the necklace. Is that for the? That's for the necklace. Those components make this necklace. Yeah. I must have something different then. Let me have a look. Let me. Yeah, I think I've got Wandering something over. A bit different because mine's got different motifs than yours. Ah, oh, yes, they do. This is um, the Louis Vuitton, which I've had as well. Oh, okay. I Not that one. Right, okay. Right, so let's look at your piece of jewellery then. Right. So you get the connectors, the recording. So you get the pendant and then you get Same the technique. connectors as well. Same technique, open and close and jump rings. That's all it is. And that is inspired by Louis Vuitton. Okay, right, okay. Yeah. Um, now, you get masses in this project. Yeah. So. Um, I'll just read it all out to you. So the sterling silver clover necklace project features 22.7 carats of malachite. Yeah. Which includes two charms. Yeah. Uh, sorry, one charm which is 12 mil, one charm which is 16 mil, two connectors which are malachite as yeah. well with the two loops. Um, sorry, one with two loops. Sorry, two. one with four <laughs> loops that go to yeah, the centre. I'm making a right hash of this one, aren't I? 15 millimetre malachite and then you get the two with the 12. Yeah. Um, just look at the necklace, you get everything there. And Can that you tilt it just ever so slightly towards yeah, Becky? Yeah, absolutely. Thank absolutely. you, there you are. Let me just, is that better, Becky? Now, there is only 19 of these left jewellery makers, so um, literally opening and closing a yeah. chain and... Opening and closing a jump ring, that is all you need to do. And this is directly inspired, obviously, by 
the magic Alhambra this one is, exactly. that asymmetry, True. because the classic Alhambra is where they're all the motifs are the same. same. Magic Alhambra is that kind of twist this, where you have the variation exactly. of motifs. Um, and their newest, yeah. yeah, their newest inspiration. Big, uh, very popular with, of course, the Princess of Wales. Yeah. Um, in 10 seconds, jewelry makers, very exclusive though. We've only got 19 of them left, so you will need to be quick checking out your baskets on this one um, cool. to guarantee a success. And I don't know if we're going to recommission these. No. Let's hope so, because they've been incredibly popular. You think about that, the, the Chopard Happy Hearts, £18,000 necklace, or the £23,000 that it was at Van Cleef and Our Pals. You can make it, take inspiration, save yourself considerable amounts of money. Instead, £49.99. It is solid 925. Everything. Here we go. It's £10 per motif and everything yeah. else for free so uh, there it is there's the magic alhambra you can see that asymmetry Pink. that's the original design exactly the the price is, yeah yes uh, joe's like oh you do get six there i don't think you do no you don't joe five it's exactly the same oh um, it says six motifs maybe one oh, on the back right. but i mean who cares about the one on the back yeah you can't see and it. also that's 11 grand yeah Ours yeah. is 49.99. And this is the beauty, this is why I love Jewelry Maker so much. Um, when you think, when you're starting any new project on any hobby, you normally build up your live sk skill levels mm. and then one day you think, yes, I can make the really sort of top mm. end things. With Jewelry Maker, the joy is they give you the components and you can be a complete novice, never picked up a couple of tools and you can make a replica of a van cleave that's worth eleven and a half thousand pounds and just by a bit of cutting open and close of jump ring you can make a replica of that wow now you can also exactly you can also make the earrings so the earrings yep. that we just spoke about <laughs> there there is only 10 so it's going to be quite a speedy auction jewelry makers again super yeah. simple i love um, these. i bought a pair of our earring projects little mini make yeah. projects like this um before i went on holiday made them in five minutes yeah and i am a novice um, made them in five minutes and i wore them all the time oh, on holiday. exactly all the time yeah. 39 pounds and 99 pence that same beautiful gemstone yeah. that they work with <coughs> excuse me alongside lots of other um uh, high-end jewelry designers would you buy those consider they're not base metal you get two of what's on your screens That's yeah amazing price two of what's on your screens to yeah. make the earrings obviously yeah, yeah. Um, down to the final five opportunities so this might well be the last time you see these on air they are framed in solid sterling silver as well all about the beauty that the uh, natural gemstone actually shows um, as a, we've shown you a picture of uh, Queen Camilla who wears her Malachite yeah. Van Cleef inspired piece very proudly doesn't she now I do have I love this Ross I really I want this quickly say with this we've got a Koi of Pearls there you uh, save that for another project because we're all jewellery designers, and this is what we say, put an Akoya pearl there. Yeah, beautiful. Oh. Ross, beautiful. I want this. Please tell me this quantity. Is there not? I really want, can we just show that photograph right there, the Alhambra craftsmanship? Yeah. It's, it's, see the one that they're holding? Yeah. Wow. I that really want this, it's so beautiful. Wow. We're going to do this in one price crash. Everyone gets that same chance. Oh, I wish I had a phone next to me right now. It's big. That on a gold check. Yeah, and you don't even need to do anything. Look, you've got the bail um, there. That is so Van Cleef. It's isn't gorgeous. It? I really want this, Susie. <laughs> and I'm, I'm kind of, I'm gutted because I'm probably going to miss out, aren't I? Beautiful. Look how beautiful. And yeah. if you could, I could multi buy. I would definitely be multi buying. Yeah. Oh. Look at that. That's why I'm rocking it ever so slightly mm. so you can see that lovely light performance. Yeah. Good luck. Everybody gets that final. Thank you, Becky. She's back <laughs> to her old tricks, you know. It'll make a lovely pendant. Oh. It'll make absolutely beautiful earrings as well. Yeah. No way. No way, 14.99. No. Oh. No, I, 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 no, Joe, our viewers know I blatantly shop on it. <laughs> yeah, like, oh, I, do. Oh, I do. I don't try and disguise it. Why wouldn't I be yeah. getting involved on opportunities like that? I probably. Oh my god! I mean, nobody in their right mind would question no. it not being Van Cleef. No. Would they? Add a basket. Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! 
I know, I get like that. It's beautiful. Check out! I think the necklace with just the single one's about £5,000. Yes. Yeah. And I don't know about you, but I haven't got £5,000. <laughs> if you want. Uh, my basket is not empty. Goodness me. It's because I, we've got, we've got. Yeah. Check out. Beautiful. There you go. Yeah. Check out, check out, check out. Sorry, not all your items are current. Okay. Oh no! I can't. I, I'm in a bo metal box. This is a metal box. Our studio. I might miss out. We got the earrings though as well. Now I know our uh, Lauren had a, a missed out. Mm. Missed out on that. Never mind. I'll wish list it. Well done, everybody. It's it's beautiful. Um, okay, here you go. Here's the earrings. Look at those, aren't they stunning? Aren't they beautiful? Look at those. We need to we need to get the, the team to be buying more of these. A whole selection of these. Couldn't we could have them in rows, we could have them in yellow, we yeah. could have them in silver, we could have them in connectors, pendants, all sorts. But you know I said with this one, put an Akoi Pearl. Yeah. Then you've got this one that you can put on those. Yeah, love it. Absolutely love it. Is there quantity, Ross? There's 50 wow, available. Beautiful. For a pair of beautiful Van Cleef, you could nip that little jump ring away, couldn't you? Yeah. I'm just wearing them as studs. studs. A little file, just get a yeah. little nail file on there. 20 quid! No way! Not stopping there though, jewellery makers. Good luck to That's each amazing. and every single one of you again. Yeah. Make sure you're checking out your baskets. I'd wear these as studs, I think. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Oh, hang on, my hair's in the way. Look at how pretty how they are. How pretty they are, very, very delicate. <coughs> and they absolutely sparkle like a diamond. They do, because of that wonderful diamond cutting. Think, yeah. They're amazing, aren't they? Whether you choose to cut away the actual little stud or whether you yeah. are wearing, you know, to obviously hold yeah. a, a drop earring. 19.99, that's already amazing in my eyes. Oh, I want to buy these two. Fourteen pounds and ninety-nine pence. Again, just put one pearl on the bottom of them. On the bottom, or a lovely, uh, like a ten mil. We had Peruvian. You missed out yesterday. Uh, we had some lovely Peruvian amazonite. Oh. Put one of those on the bottom. Yeah, gorgeous. You could put anything Beautiful. on those, couldn't you? Yeah. Unbelievable. We had how many? Fifty. Fifty available opportunities. Again, make sure you're checking out. Kathleen says I'll have three. Well yeah. done, Kathleen. Robert, sorry, Anna. Andrew's got three. London's got four. Wiltshire, Joanne, Karen, Leslie, Northamptonshire, Oxfordshire, Merthyr, Jacqueline, Joanna. Well done. There was fifty available opportunities. It is components like this that make immediately you know you're making yeah. high-end designer. Exactly. In well, not just not, not even do, I don't want to say designer inspired. You're making. You're making beautifully crafted designer jewellery. Why can't we be designers? No. I have, with uh, my business, I have boxes of different types of earring findings. Yeah. Um, and they start with the basic um, shepherd hooks, which I just don't... I've never sold any with just pure shepherd's hook. Um, and then I do it in varying degrees of price ranges. Um, for the client to choose because we're designing them together. I don't have to make these. The, the beauty of my business is I buy the findings ready-made and my clients don't think, oh my goodness, Susie, I thought you actually were there in the little sweatshop soldering these. I say, no, they're all bought. They're, hot, you know, best quality. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and it just makes it more affordable for the buyer. Absolutely, loving that. These will are very close to selling out jewelry makers, so don't hesitate. Look how gorgeous they are. Beautiful. Again, and if you could do a wrap loop, which is certainly one of the first techniques that we teach you here at Jewelry Maker, wrap looper, yeah. a gemstone of your choice on the bottom, amazing. Yeah. Um, okay, now you know, I was just gutted. I went quiet there, didn't I? Because I was just checking the phone. You were know, like, no, maybe one's fallen back in stock. No, it's all there. Oh. But don't worry because we have got the silver version. Beautiful. Oh, it's stunning. Look wow. at that. And just, you know, just in case you're thinking, oh, that's, that's perfection. Wait a minute. Yeah, it's perfection every single fraction of this piece. Look at that. 
because that is front and reverse. Oh, I love it. And again, that's why I like our findings. They yep. take as much care of the back as they do at the front. <coughs> a minute, Susie. Oh, wonderful. Yes. That is VIP jewelry. Eat your heart out. Yeah, that is beautiful. Do you reckon yeah. he'd let me in, Wayne? Wayne, look at the jewellery. Yeah. Look at the gemstones. Look at the craftsmanship. Are you ready? I've got 50. First price crash. You saw how quickly the yellow gold sterling silver sold out. Ah! Huh? I know, it's amazing. It's Ross, prices. what are you doing? Oh, no. There's 50. You know those earrings that we had earlier on? Literally just attach. Oh my goodness, how lovely are they? Get two of these. Little sterling silver chain. Yep. Move over Van Cleef and Arpels. Yeah. Get three, make the necklace to match this Becca. Yeah, I totally agree. And you're not even paying fourteen ninety nine for them. Look at the look at the quality. We need more of these. Twelve ninety nine. That's absolutely incredible. But if you've got a craft fair coming up at Christmas, yeah, honestly, because well, people recognise yeah, the designs. That, don't we they? we sell the most beautiful uh, boxes. Make it, just add a chain. You know how much yeah. you can get a chain here for sort of under ten pounds. Yeah. Put that in there. Put it in a box. Sixty five pounds. That's a fantastic price. How much was that? How the much was a single motif at Van Cleef and Arpels again? Oh, I think it's nearly five thousand pounds. Yeah, well, this this inspiration. Let's flick through those, Ross, because look, you can get a vintage Alhambra bracelet, and they're only melee diamonds. They're only teeny weeny diamonds. Fourteen and a half grand, twenty nine yeah. and a half thousand pounds for that one. Yeah. Um, you want a ring? Yeah, no problem. Five thousand three hundred and fifty pounds, please. Want a watch? I like that. £21,800. Wow. Yeah, I mean, you've just, you just got, have you got it under your mattress? Seriously, £12.99. It looks identical, doesn't it? Yes. It looks absolutely identical. Amazing. I'm loving these. Absolutely loving these. Well done, everybody. Susan, Pamela, Wiltshire, Pauline, Marilyn, Buckinghamshire, Catherine, uh, hello to you, London, Kent, pretty much everybody has multi bought. I don't blame you. Um, you can get. The earrings and the pendant for less than £30. Wow. That's amazing, isn't it? That's absolutely amazing. But make sure you're checking out jewellery makers. They will go beautifully with lots of the components that we're bringing mm. you today. The Akoya pearls, um, the Burmese spinel, mm. your deal of the day as well. The most amazing amber, brand new amber. It would work with all of those. Um, they're on the verge of selling oh, wow. out jewellery makers, so we're going to have to move on. Congratulations. All around the world getting involved. Hello, Australia. Beautiful. Now another piece says Ross that I have scheduled so that you uh, that I get the chance to see it before it sells out. That's very thoughtful of him, isn't it? We're going to turn it into a star buy. Ah, oh, I was looking at it earlier. It's amazing. Oh yeah. Um, type A, red jadeite. Sorry, the most beautiful cherry tomato red. Mm. A full strand. I was looking at this strand. It's absolutely impeccable. If you imagine red jadeite you know, the pinnacle of quality, the best colour that you could possibly mm. imagine. I bet it looks something like this. Now, a little bit of heat treatment, which yeah. does not does Doesn't not deter the value uh, yeah. of the gemstone. It, the structure of the jade is exactly the same. It doesn't detract. And that's what jade is revered for, that really. Yeah, you're not adding polymer. No. Nope. You're not adding any resin or you're not no. reconstituting. That's what they don't like. like. Exactly. But if it's heat treatment and it's staying, it's the crystal structure staying the same, same as tanzanite. Exactly. 99% you know, of tanzanite is heat treated. Absolutely. So we have how many? 24 available opportunities. It was launched with Dave on, while I was away. Mm. Um, that's very thoughtful. Ross says, I'm scheduling it in today's show just so you can see it before it sells out, Al. Mm -hmm. It's a star buy that's up next. Yeah.
No, wow. I really appreciate, Ross, because the reality is the number of times, exactly, the number of times that I'm likely to see type A red jadeite moving forward, those opportunities are dwindling at a rapid pace. And it's something that, you know, actually Roland Schlussel said, saw years ago. He actually could, could foresee this happening. He was like, red jadeite, he believes, was going to overtake the price tag of your imperial jadeites mm. because it's the rarest colour of all. Um, and also, since that, since that statement, um, big designers have, uh, in the West now have actually sort of jumped on the bandwagon. They're all loving jadeite. Um, but designers like Asprey, Asprey of London, are set to, uh, this is an article that was literally launched, and they are, They've, they've designed their own collection with your jade. Um, one of the most expensive pieces is actually the red jadeite, and it's not even a piece of jewellery. You yeah, know, it's, it's basically a free form. Yeah. Um, and Asbro said, set to leave the luxury jade out market with the launch of exclusive collection, recently acquired by the uh, Mayfair based luxury house, this rough, common. Uh, um, Palace in precious stone circles. A piece of jadeite features many of the hues in which um, the silicate mineral can be blessed with, notably the red and the white. So that, now that is again like pillar box red, isn't it? It's beautiful. The reason why you can see the hints of white in there, that would have started out life as a white jade and you only get the best of the red if you, and all of the colours if you start out with your white jade yeah. you can see there so that is just is look at the brilliant. price 18 million yeah and that's not even with any artistry I know um, I, I referenced earlier all on uh, Roland Schlussel there he is with Jay uh, with Dave um, in um, this was 20 was it yeah, 2022, because it was just literally the other side of the pandemic. Um, and I was actually on this trip, I had a, a huge privilege of actually meeting Roland Schlussel, a very, very wonderful gentleman. And he actually said he's participated and contributed to many a uh, publication. Um, he is obviously a highly qualified gemologist along with his beautiful wife. And he says the price of jadeite is right now at an all time high, particularly difficult for us as the sourcing of the skin. Uh, this is the fancy colors of jade, the lavenders and the reds. These prized colors are so rare because this is the skin of the boulder as it oxidizes. This this is why you never get solid red colour sculptures um, or jewellery. The skin is so thin comparatively to the boulders um, and they're not coming out, um, coming out in the current market. I mean, you look over, over Dave's shoulder there and you can see some of the most incredible jade out pieces that mm. Roland actually had um, on his display. There's no red. There's literally no red. You've got oranges and yellows, but no solid pillar box red. And we spoke to another jade trader um, and he was actually talking about the fact that um, the only time that he gets red jadeite is when basically, say, a family member has passed away, yeah, and right. it's usually the red jade that they've maybe sold decades before, oh. and of course then they will buy it back, welcoming welcome it back, but obviously it's nowhere near the price that they'd sold it for. It's considerably, really considerably more. higher. But Roland goes on to actually say... Um, these colours have turned the industry on its head. The demand and supply is a real issue. And as such, we are seeing some of the highest prices for this material and still dealers are reluctant to sell because it's simply irreplaceable. We are finding it easier to provide Imperial Green to our clients and at a more affordable price tag for the first time. That's huge in the world mm. of Jade because nobody would have ever imagined other colours reaching the same sort of price points that Imperial Jadeite have exactly. done in the past until now. And it's red jadeite, lavender jadeite that is actually achieving those color those prices now. And it is down to the rarity. Now we have 24 available. This was launched in my absence. It's absolutely exceptional. This is not was it really almost a month ago? So this is not I need to mention this is not polymer impregnated. No. This is not dyed. This is not reconstituted. This is certified jadeite, which has just undergone a little bit of heat treatment. Do you know some gem labs don't even quantify that yeah. as a treatment? Because the reality is I can take a tanzanite that's just been unearthed from the ground. I can bury it mm. at the foot of Mount Kilimanjaro under the heat of the sun and it will do the same thing that mm. heat treating 
it just speeds it up the pro speeds yeah. up the process. But look at the end result. Perfect. What I always describe, oh my word, as cherry tomato red, matte to perfection, six millimeter rounds. To say that you own red jade out of this quad, that's that's one of the best strands I've yeah. seen. Because sometimes I love red jade dye. I love it when you know you get this and the blends of the colours as well. Don't get me wrong, but mm. in an ideal world, you want it to be that pillar like box that, red from from start perfect. to finish. Mm. That's why I don't say without hesitation. That's one of the best runs I've ever seen. Most likely, will ever see. As a collector, I can't use the I word, but mm. somebody that buys gemstones with the future mm. in mind, now is the time to be getting involved. Because remember, this mine is closed. It closed in 2020. Yep. So whatever jade I is on is in the market is in the market. Mm. So you're going to be buying it if you're lucky at secondary prices mm. or third or third or fourth. Yeah. At a thousand pounds, Susie. I mean, you know, Susie, you've been there. You've been collecting jade I from from a child as yeah. a child. A thousand pound for a full 38 centimeter strand of, of red jade I. And I think. I think I was on the show when we first bought red jade, and I'd heard about red jade, I'd heard about yellow jade, I'd heard about lavender jade, I'd never seen it. Really? Never seen it. I've seen white jade, and I've seen green jades and shades of green. And if you, when I used to go over to the Far East, that was all they had, because it was so rare. Yeah. It was just unheard of. Um, so to see it here at, in the jewellery maker studio, and I think we had three little pumpkins. Yeah, for I remember 99 those. pounds, and I thought, I'm having it because I'd never seen it and it is so rare and to get a full strand now Matched. we've just got so complacent yeah we've got all the colours we bring yeah, in yeah yeah it's ridiculous I mean I've really. got every single strand that jewellery maker have bought this is exceptional and I absolutely agree with you Elle when you say about heat treatments we talk about treatments and we talk about the ABC this isn't anything to do with that it hasn't got that ABC it's just a little bit of heat heat only encourages the colour to come out yeah, more. Yeah, absolutely. When we start talking about A, B and C, that intrinsically changes the structure of the jade iron. That's mm -hmm. why you have to say A, B or C. And as you rightly said as well, quite often they don't mention the fact that it is heat treated. No. So you can go into a jewellery. You can do it um, with the sun. Yeah. You can literally do it with the sun, but this obviously accelerates that yeah, time. It just, it just enhances the colour, as it, we do with other gemstones. Yeah. Uh, just slightly enhance. It doesn't at all affect the atomic structure or anything. So there is no impact on the price or value on buying. And that's why I've been buying it. I bought the yellow jade. Beautiful and the red. Uh, again, I'm going to say, Susie, that's the best red I've seen. It's so beautiful. That's, so consistent. And that is the red you're looking for. You might see... Um, on some websites all red jade and you see this cherry red it's translucent they're thinking yeah 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 that's not what red jade comes out like it, do it doesn't look like no that. it doesn't it really it's, doesn't. It's, it's quite i think i'm growing tomatoes at the moment yeah yeah it is that that's, cherry tomato that red tomato look because yeah. you've got to remember it's oxidized um in the stone and yeah and, and that brings out the color um it's not a process of a, the, the sort of the chemicals during the, the way it's made up forms that colour. So this is what you're looking for. You're looking for this opaque cherry red colour. You're not Love looking it. for that ruby red. No, not the same gem. Yeah. Are you ready? Because I've got 24 available opportunities. We are not stopping at a thousand pounds. Which, to be honest, is you know, if you were to look elsewhere, if you look at Asprey's, then you'd be you'd be absolutely running for the hills yeah. at that price because it's not a thousand pounds they were talking 18 million when they earlier on 299 pounds it's a full 38 centimeter strand they're beautifully color matched as well and that's yeah. not where we are closing i've got 24 though um you you know what we'll look back fast forward just this is how my brain always works while that clock is ticking fast forward i don't know two years ahead mm. Oh, I How agree. about five years ahead? Yeah. How about 20 years ahead? Yeah. Fast forward, when we look back on opportunities like this and go, do you remember when we used to bring red jade eye on jewellery make and we yeah. used to do it for £299? Yeah. And we'll go, well, that was complete madness. Mm -hmm. We will look back on these historic opportunities and yeah. that's precisely what they are, historic opportunities. Ignore 
<coughs> excuse me, £299. Oh, okay. Wow. Ross, we, didn't we, you said about those pumpkin shapes. A hundred, for three. Three. There were we, eight mil. Yeah. Three, 99 pounds, and I snapped them up. We've got, we've got a full 38 centimetre strand, Susie, for oh. 149 in six mil. I think jewellery maker is crazy, crazy, crazy. I we really are crazy. Do. But it's the buying power. Yeah. Um, but even we will look back. We'll never regret yeah. it. That would be the wrong word to use. But we'll look back and go, yeah, that was ridiculous. Yeah. Why are we doing type A jade out with the rarest colour of all? Yeah. Did we know that it was going to maybe go um, exceed the price yeah. of Imperial Greens? Yeah, we did. We are one of the most qualified yeah. individuals in, um, in, in the jade industry. Tell us that back in 2021. Yeah. And yet we still went ahead and did prices like this. Yeah. Yeah, we knew, but that's the whole ethos of the yeah. company. Susan in Devon, Sally in Sussex, Susan in Norfolk, Maria's well got two, Patricia, Wiltshire, Wendy, well, well done. done. Jean in Glasgow, Cumbria. Um, I've got people on the phone lines there as well. Stop it now. Stop it now. Wow. I've been away for three weeks now. I come back and what has gone on? Because when... When did it become okay for red jade of this quality? And I'm not. Listen, this is this is Dave's baby. He launched it at what? Wow. Not one four nine. Much, much, much lower. There's a minute wait on the phone lines already, Jory. Makes I'm joining you on this. We're about to dip into a break and I'll definitely be adding this to my order. I am, because I, I've just realised the price. Unbelievable. £37 and 25 pence. Definitely getting some of these, Susie. It's just... I'm trying to think of if you had a pink diamond 25 years ago, you dug up a pink diamond, because everybody wanted to clear. Yeah. It was a bit clear. And you thought, oh, it's pink. Who wants pink diamonds? stash it away you know and people were buying pink diamonds now look at the price of pink diamonds honestly you think oh i'm susie. glad i had it and that's the same susie right we don't stop at 149 you can get 100 carats oh of red jadeite <sighs> in your beautiful <sighs> six millimeter rounds yep Do you know, it's this how I almost imagine it. If Roland Schlussel ever tuned in, it'd be like, I thought, well, didn't I tell you? Didn't I tell you, jewellery maker in Gemporia, that red jadeite was going to exceed the price of imperial green? And yet here you are going, oh, thanks for that information. I'm just going to forget it. Mm. And it, we'll not forget it, ignore it. In fact, we'll tell our customers that that's exactly what's happening. Yeah. We're just going to completely ignore it and bring it to air for 99.99 anyway. How amazing. And long may that continue, by the way, jewellery makers. But I think you've hit the nail on the head when you said, fast forward two or three years from now. We'll look back. Because we're, we've got jade in and we're sort of one week it's yellow jade and now it's red jade and we're saying it's really red and you're going, really? Because you keep bringing it to us, you know. But honestly, it really is. Well, when it's it's gone, it was the same. It was the same when Tanzanite. Remember, we used to do Tanzanite Alexandra. weekends. Alexandra. Alexandra. No, but we used to do whole weekends on Tanzanite. Yes, exactly. I to, and, I, and I'll be honest, I love Tanzanite. Love it. I dreaded those shows because it's actually really hard to talk about one gemstone solidly for four hours. Yeah. One gemstone. Um, anyway, but I used to dread those, and everyone used to be like, "Ah, oh, come on now, you're saying it's rare. You're saying but it's going to be." Last week. And then it was you, you're having whole weekends of it. Yeah, yeah. But now, how often do you see? Tonight. Just very, very, um, very rarely. When this is gone, Wayne can't get hold of the lavender now. No. And we were bringing lavender at silly prices, honestly. I, I'm sure we did stupid, like, £10 oh, well, auctions for yeah, lavender, Jade. Just ridiculous. Make hay while the sun yeah. shines, jewellery makers, most definitely. We're, we aren't complacent. We do know fully the value yeah. of red jade eye, um, and we know it's not 99.99 anywhere else. Um, look at the quality and the consistency of that colour. Look at the translucency as well. Um, so, Oh, this yeah. is not polymer impregnated. This is not yeah. reconstituted. Genuine jade, which is jadeite, which has yeah. had a little bit of heat treatment. That does not deter from the actual value. Do you want to know how many we've got left? Five. Yeah. Okay. So if you are 
Maker, Cheryl, Joanne, Sandra, Pauline, I can't see everybody's names. Yeah, you um, need to hurry up. Yeah, you need to be checking out your yeah. baskets. £24.99. Unbelievable. Susie, I can see you yeah. on there as well, all the getting yours. <laughs> I I'd do, be doing I the same. Jade. I just love Jade. I, I make no, well, everybody, you know, surprise you're all going at me at the screen. Surprise you like Jade. I it absolutely is, love it. It's a magical stone. Here's, here's, here's another scenario. So I'm just, uh, Ross. Say you start uh, sit in years to come. You sit talking to your beautiful girls, and they're like, "Okay, Daddy, did you used to, you you know Jane? I love the red colour." And you're like, "Yeah, it's lovely. Yeah, we used to bring it to air all the time on Jewelry Maker." And they'd be like, oh, "Amazing! Really? Yeah. Did you buy any? No. Yeah, I know. No, exactly. I, no, I didn't. No. What, what? How much was it, Daddy? Was it like yeah. millions of pounds? No, no. We used to do it for twenty five pounds on Be split pay. Yourself, but you didn't buy any, Daddy. No. Do you know what I mean? That's it how really I is, my yeah. mind works. And that's how I think. I'm yeah. thinking right. If you want to sell it at that price, I am buying. Well, look at me. I'm a walking look. I've She's got a, a walking look. Jade advert. Everything. I love Jade. Oh, <laughs> love sorry, it. So. Um, down to the final three jewelry makers again. Just take a look. Yeah. You can see the quality of yeah. it, can't you? Um, I've only got three left though. Once they're gone, they're gone. And there's um, collectors on the phone lines, collectors on the web. So good luck to you well all. Done. Now coming up, um, we have the most amazing opportunity. Your deal of the day, it's brand new. Um, it, these colors are only available in this size. I think that's probably down to the fact that um, you need the size to achieve the color, yeah. firstly, which is rare. To, because these are genuine ambers genuine beautiful wow. baltic ambers um we are one of the few gem re if not the only actually yeah because quite often they're exclusive to us here at jewelry maker and um, that can actually achieve these colors for you we work directly with marius as well um we have exactly on the nose 100 available we are going to put these on pre-order for you as, as well. Um, so you can shop during the Wall of Fame jewelry makers. They're absolutely exceptional. We've never had it in purples. No. We've had, never had it in pinks. So you've got colors here that you've never seen before. There's one strand in this deal of the day. Mm. This one, it's coming up immediately after the Wall of Fame on pre-order right now. So good luck. And it's going to the most unbelievable deal of the day price tag as well, jewelry makers. Do not go anywhere. But next up, your fabulous creations in the Wall of Fame. Oh, first wall of fame since I've come back. And it's a nice little wedge here, Susie. It is, it is. Loving Lots that. Shall I start us off? Go on, it's then. very Susie, this piece. Is it? Very oh. beautiful from uh, Sue Mortlock. Hello to you, oh. Sue. Oh, very glam. And she says, hello, lovely jewellery maker team. Please see this week's entry into the Wall of Fame. I used Jan Dwyer's brilliant knotting tool to make this classic knotted pearl necklace with silk. The tool is a game changer. Yeah. The pearls are, are, and sterling silver amethyst clasps are stunning. And all materials, except the earring post, she says, are all from Jewellery Maker. Best wishes to all. Well, Sue, that's absolutely stunning. Loving that. I should give you a number, shouldn't I? Your number 512. Good luck. And 513. This is from Millie B. Oh, very nice. And that's a lovely name, by the way. It says, morning, beautiful JM and crew. Here's another commission, a beautiful tourmaline necklace and bracelet. Very, ple uh, very pleased, loved working uh, with such excellent quality products. And that is beautiful. Stunning. Wow, I love tourmaline. Oh, I've got some lovely earrings here as well from Julia. Hello, Julia. You're number 514. Please see attached a very simple make I made for myself. Uh, before I went out on Saturday night. Oh, I like that. Uh, these earring components are simply the best quality and teamed with um, wrapped um, American Amazonite I bought a couple of weeks ago. Um, I think these are my favorite makes ever. The click is so reassuring. Carol was right. 
Uh, very Monica Veneda, absolutely. All components are from Jewelry Maker. Thank you for the stunning bargains recently. Oh, they are gorgeous. Hope you had a good night on Saturday, Julia. Yeah. Your number, 514. Ross I says know. he thinks they're even more Monica Veneda than Monica Veneda herself. There wow. you go. There you go. I think earrings like that are perfect. Timeless. Timeless, absolutely. So well done. Right, 515 from Anna Winter. Beautiful bracelet. My, cu my cup of tea, exactly. Morning, lovely team. Please find attached this week's Wall of Fame offering. It's an Amazonite bracelet with sterling silver spaces and Alhambra clover. It's for a friend's daughter who aced her GCEs recently. Oh, well done. The floor, four leaf clover is wishing her luck in her further studies. Very Hoping beautiful. For a win. Good luck to all that. It's beautiful. Did you see the Amazonite yesterday, Anna? That was beautiful. Oh, so you're gonna I have to keep it, yeah. you're gonna have to uh, sort of uh, keep me in the loop now. What's gone on? Ooh. What's launched in yeah. my absence? Um, number 516 is from Susan Davis. You've got a lovely collection here, Susan. Um, here is my entry for this week's Wall of Fame. I've been busy making some polymer clay bezel set rings with adjustable wow. shanks. Um, I've added a sprinkle of glitter on some and used foil flakes on others. Love to you all. Susan, they're stunning. Look at all those. Absolutely beautiful. Good luck. You're 516. And 518 is from Jessie Whitehead. She says, hi, Jim. As you can see, I've just loved the flowers and I went a bit doolally and had to hide them in the end. Everything is gem except the clots and shell. Thank you for the great gems brought to us. And can I mention the crew and call centre? Yay, I yes. agree, I agree. Good luck to all. And that is absolutely beautiful. Our unsung heroes, aren't they? Yeah, Unsung they heroes. are, definitely. Uh, number 519, again, beautiful jewellery from Barbara Hewitt. Hello to you, Barbara. Oh, that's lovely. Uh, and Barbara says, hi, all. This is, oh, it's definitely a theme here. This is Amazonite um, oh, yeah. with gold spaces. Also, emerald with gold spaces, casual. Um, and the rounds, all bought from Jewelry Maker. And she says, best wishes to all. Wow, what a collection. Wow, beautiful. Amazing. The Amazon that we've got through recently is beautiful. Incredible, yeah. Absolutely incredible. And the last one for today is from Kerry. And you're number 517. And it says, hi all at Gem. Here's this week's entry to the Wall of Fame. I have three beautiful bracelets that I've made. We've got Morganite and Aquamarine, Tanzanite and Freshwater Pearl, and Tanzanite bracelet. Yeah, I mean, wow. I mean, wow. <laughs> <laughs> just say no more yeah everything's from jewelry maker love all the fantastic bargains and enjoy making good luck to everyone who's entered well they are fantastic these are the sort of makes that i think just are perfect gifts yep. to sell everything well done you 100 percent. what a clever talented yeah. bunch you all are Make sure you're entering into the Wall of Fame jewellery makers. It is super easy to do so. Uh, every week, send your entries to studio at jewellerymaker.com by Tuesday at 12 o'clock for the Wednesday draw. So that's the cutoff. If you miss that cutoff point, by the way, you'll just sort of go into the next Yeah, week. you'll tiptoe over into the next week. Um, enter uh, the Wall of Fame. Winners will be announced every single Wednesday morning. The winner will get £100 credited to their jewellery maker account. And the runner-up will get 50. Can I just point out, this is not done on merit. It's no. literally done through with a tombola. Yeah. So whether it's your first piece of jewellery or, you know, you're fully established, um, we do want to see your creations. Yes. So drop us a message. The only stipulation is that they're jewellery maker products. So you've got to be in it to win it, as Yay. they say. Now, coming up. We have the most amazing, amazing, colourful strand. Um, the first time ever bringing you this beautiful gemstone in purples. Um, we've got pinks, reds, blues. I'm talking, it's absolutely incredible. I'm talking about the stunning gemstone that is amber. It's your deal of the day, Jewelry Makers, and I know you're going to absolutely love it. It's coming up after this.
Not gonna lie, we were just eating cannolis. <laughs> Very kindly de 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 donated by our lovely Becky. Because it's your birthday, is it? 18th of September. Oh, no. But she's not going to be here, so she's bringing in the cannolis oh. now. They're delicious. I'm, I'm a big cannoli fan. Love them. They're delicious, aren't they? The ca oh, I had the caramel. It's delicious. Oh, yum, well done, thank yum, 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 yum. you. Now then, jewelry makers. Um, we spoke about just a few moments ago the fact that do you remember when we used to do whole weekends of of tanzanite do you remember when we used to be able to do whole weekends of pearls yeah do you remember when we used to be able to do whole weekends of amber i remember those and we all used to go crazy because it's one yeah. of our most popular gemstones still to this day is however we just don't have the supply and that's not just us the world doesn't have the same supply of amber mm. that we used to you might also have noticed maybe some amber boutique jewelers and i call them boutiques because they do tend to be quite boutique um if they're offering this beautiful gemstone have you noticed the price of amber has skyrocketed yeah because so little of it is actually coming from the ground um it's a fascinating gemstone and you get it in all different varieties and i want to just quickly share with you because this Firstly, you are seeing colours and there's ways to colour like there is many other gemstones. And we're not talking about necessarily like just literally dipping it in a dye. It's not that mm. simple. Um, you can heat treat, you can diffuse, you can you can do irradiate. all sorts. Irradiate, yes, absolutely. Different gemstones. You can do like if you think about your topazes, for example, that yeah, um, where they bombard it with atoms yeah. over many, many, many years. There's lots of different uh, developments and technologies. But I want to really talk about the gemstone itself. Now, we are, we believe, the only place here in the UK that actually is bringing you these. We're, we're, we're pretty sure. I don't want to guarantee it because obviously it's a big country. Um, but our supplier is saying, and we believe you're the only person in the UK that's actually bringing these colours right now. So, um, and furthermore, that you can only get these colours in this size. Mm. Um, in this size. I might put this on a different colour bust just because you yeah. can't quite see the, the colour saturation. So, maybe a white one? Yeah, maybe a white one. Now, we have never had purple. But they're actually almost like an ametrine. You said that earlier on, Roscoe, didn't you? It's like an ametrine in amber. Yeah. Um, Try that. Oh, do, do you want to put it on a grey? We can, yeah. So, Try to be it. fair, that's what Joe's done. Yeah, so let's do what Joe's done. Here we go. Yeah, okay. No, that's perfect. Yeah, that's fine. That's good. You can see the colours then, beautiful. Oh, my goodness, look oh, at that. Right. Oh, they're beautiful, aren't they? It's a rainbow. Wow. Now it is a full rainbow. Yeah. You liking this, Joe? Yeah, it's amazing. But let's talk about amber, because amber in itself, I think, is fascinating. And it is flying on pre-order, just to give you a heads up. I've got 100 on the nose. And you know, I said earlier on, I used to dread Tanzanite weekends, because yeah. whilst there's a lovely story to it, to actually talk about it for four hours solidly <laughs> is actually quite hard. However, Amber, I never did dread, because there's so much that you can talk about yeah. with Amber. I mean, it is hugely signif significant gemologically. Let's go to the GIA first, that talk about Amber as a gemstone. They say, Amber is nature's time capsule. This fossil tree resin contains remnants of life on Earth millions of years ago. How amazing is that? How incredible is that? Um, and it looks like this. You get these really wonderful inclusions, and the more inclusions in amber, the better, um, that happened and occurred millions of years ago. Do you know we can't actually date amber? Mm. Um, you can, we can put the lowest possible date, which I think is about 60 million years, but we can't put the bench. Yeah. It can, it, who knows, it could be 180 million years, it could be even longer than mm. that. Um, and it's what we call an organic gemstone. What that basically means is it's formed by a living organism. And th these little bubbles, patterns, sort of floral-like inclusions all occur from um, life that existed millions of years ago in that um, on basically that that tree that produced a tree sap and then captured the gemstone mm. itself moving forward 
It says the history, yes, of course, it's got a huge history. Amber is millions of years old um, and glowing with golden warmth. Treasured for its clear beauty and inviting color, amber ranges from pale yellow to a deep orange and occasionally even green, red, or blue. Um, notice the word occasionally. Most often clear, amber contain, uh, can have smoky swirls within it. Some amber also contains insects or bits of flora. Amber with these inclusions is highly desirable. Amber is an organic gemstone made from tree resin, then preserved for millions of years and turned to stone. Most of the world's amber is mined in the region of the coasts of uh, the Baltic and Northern Seas. When mined in those re regions, amber is sometimes called Baltic gold. Amber is also mined in the Dominican Republic. Now, I just wanted to talk about the fact that they say that, okay, so it's amber is an organic gemstone made from tree resin, then preserved for millions of years. Now, I remember having a conversation once upon a time and somebody was saying, um, okay, it's just resin. N no, this, th this gemstone has completely defied Mother Nature. That's why it's as rare as it is. Yes, tr all trees produce a resin in some, form sh uh, some shape or form. Not all trees that actually um, back then, millions of years ago, produced the, the same resin mm. that, uh, that produced this gemstone. Even more than that, it has to defy the natural decaying process. You think, when I pass, I'll return to the earth, mm. won't I? When a tree falls, it will return to the earth. At the animal kingdom, this has actually withstood millions of years, that natural decaying process. So it's incredibly, incredibly rare. Contemporary folklore ascribes to amber the ability to provide wisdom. It's associated with the sacral chakra, that is the root of all sensual pleasure. Amber objects that date back to 3700 BC have been found in Estonia. In the Middle Ages in Europe, it was in high demand as rosary stones. Once upon a time, amber was called the nectar of the, sun, the setting sun. Um, perhaps you are drawn to amber by its history, perhaps its rich colours um, call you, maybe folklore claims its appeal, maybe you simply love the rich colours of the stone, no matter what draws you, your amber is here and it's waiting for you. Now interestingly, they touched on the colours there, you can actually get, I read, over 250 different colours of amber, but they narrow it down to seven just to keep right. things a little bit simple, naturally formed. But as we said earlier on, you can also encourage gemstones in some, uh, through technological developments to actually achieve colors that we could only, only imagine owning. Mm. Surprisingly enough, amber comes in a variety of luxurious colors. This is what I was just saying. Here we go. The most common color um, as, uh, is the same as the name implies, a brownish honey color. But there are, in fact, 256 identified shades of amber. Yeah. 256. Yeah. If you find uh, blue amber, it's most likely to be from the Dominican, uh, but Baltic amber has been treated to have the same deep blue effect. Naturally, as we know this to be a form of resin, we expect the color uh, ranges of yellows, oranges, burnt red, and copper colors, and even sometimes cream or white. Some amber may be green or even violet, depending on the plant material that was originally preserved in the piece. Mm. So for example, I mean, um, let's use the current day as, uh, 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 to talk about this. So if you imagine a tree sap, literally encasing some wisteria. There we go. Mm. It's most likely going to take some of the purple okay. color from the gemstone, mm. uh, from the flower itself. So you get the idea. Um, reading on. Amber is used in jewelry since at least 11,000 BCE. It was polished and carved to make jewelry according to ancient archeological sites in England. Instead of wearing the precious gem, women in Rome rubbed it in their hands. Um, such as someone might use a worry stone today. They believed that the continual contact with amber would promote a youthful appearance in their looks. Uh, because of its healing properties, people in Lithuania still offer beaded amber necklaces to newborn babies. Um, amber amulets were worn to enhance fertility in Rome. Bands of amber rings were used in wedding ceremonies to ensure an eternal bond and represents renewed, inf uh, renewed fidelity um, in marriage today. Wow. It is proven that Baltic amber contains between 3 and 8% of, I can't say that word, 
Yeah. Sucin I don't know, acid, uh, which is widely <laughs> used in contemporary medicine. Um, that believes to improve immunity, thereby strengthening the body. During the Middle Ages, when the plague swept, this is interesting, when the plague swept across towns, killing their inhabitants, amber was used um, as, as a fumigant to prevent the spread of disease. Um, it has been noted that men fumigating with the substance never perished from the disease. Aromatherapy has become popular use for amber as well. You often wow. see amber as a fragrance, it's, don't you, too? Yeah. So interesting that they actually, Very. during the plague, they, uh, the men who were fumigating never perished from it. Scientists have been studying amber for centuries to learn more about extinct species. More than a thousand extinct insect species have been discovered to date through amber. You know, how amazing is that? Amber has been found in ancient Egyptian tombs dating back to 3200 BCE and thought to have been brought over from the Baltic coast. There is much history that we can learn from this gemstone. And I've said this sentence so many times before, amber is not just a significant gemstone mm -hmm. gemologically, it's hugely significant historically, biologically and paleontologically yeah. you know in terms of your sciences this is absolutely mm. enormous but again the quantities of this gemstones in terms of its, of its availability is dwindling mm. another thing that really does bear an impact on the supply of amber and maybe one of the reasons why we don't actually have amber weekends or haven't had an amber weekend or even amber day for a very very long time or even an amber showcase to be truthful mm. um, is because uh, the Baltic region floods quite a lot now to source amber and you can access this yes it's true you can find amber literally washing up onto the sea because it will physically float in salt water um, however that's very very rare mm. they quite often will dig shafts vertical shafts mm. now the problem is when it's flooding they fill up with water, water. so um, in terms of its accessibility it's very very difficult now just going back to how we introduce this and it is very popular on pre-order we have never had the purple colors before um, and I cannot show you a price comparison because there is none. I believe, and when I was looking last night, uh, Roscoe, prepping for today's show, I literally found nothing like mm. this anywhere in the world. Mm. Nothing like this. You might sit have seen, oh, well, I've seen green amber. Yeah, sure, we've brought you green amber. We've brought you, we've brought you the blue amber before. We've brought you yellow amber before. We've brought, pretty, we've brought you a huge variety here at Jewelry Maker, little old Jewelry Maker. But I've never seen anything like this. No. You've never had the purples. This is literally a Jewelry Maker exclusive, but maybe even a global exclusive. Do I have it in the smaller sizes? No. This is literally it. A hundred. Mm. Wow. Look. And also, uh, yeah, the powers that be, aka Wayne, wanted us to ask you a question, jewelry makers, during your deed of the day. If, and it's not a guarantee, if we were able to get whole strands of these colours, wow. which colours would you like? Would you like to see whole strands of the purple? Would you like to see whole strands of the blue? Or of the pinks or the greens so we want your feedback now this has been on pre-order but I want to give you a final 30 seconds to introduce to you today 22 have already confirmed out of the 100 that we had these are not small and and, and again I pre fully appreciate those of you that have confirmed um, believe me when I say we've got your back in terms of the price point on this. It's absolutely incredible. What, do you know one thing we can compare, Ross? Think about the prices of, of your, and this sounds a little bit complacent, but think about the prices of jewellery makers' generic amber strands, what they used to be. Yeah. And they've always been amazing. Yeah. This is unbelievable, though. Yeah. It's a long <clears throat> strand that you're getting. The weight is over. For the colours, which we believe is a global exclusive, 30 of these have gone. 30% of the stock, gone. Before we even introduce a price, Caroline, one of our <laughs> biggest collectors here at Jewelry Maker, has messaged in. Hi, Caroline. Uh, oh, wow, stunning, isn't it, Caroline? It's absolutely beautiful. 
and it's lightweight that's the joy of amber nice. it's nice and lightweight nice. so even though these are bigger stones 10 millimeter you've, you're barely gonna feel, feel it. it no exactly can you imagine I mean I would be quite selective with these if I was lucky enough to be to, 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 to get one of these during the deal of the day occasionally I might add a green in one piece of jewelry mm -hmm. just use them as individual pendants I mean look at that you've got almost paparazzi colors they're ombre they're bicolor aren't they effectively yeah. there's the greens there's the, we've got some of the purples beautiful let's try it yeah but this is a genuine gemstone these look you you'd imagine like artificial glass but there's look, nothing artificial these are millions these, of years old but this is a genuine gemstone absolutely amazing definitely if you're into your ambers it's a must-have purchase isn't it look at that oh, sparkling those there's those millions of years internal inclusions look at the light almost ah oh, yeah joe says like they're filled with water and you've got gold leaf literally floating yeah. around which by the way is how a lot of uh, um People replicate amber. Oh, wow. They, they make synthetic amber by basically putting like a foil effectively oh, right. in the center. Yeah. These are genuine ambers. Look at those colors, really show the saturation. Now, um, we're going to put a price on your screens, but it's no way near what you're paying. No way near what you're paying. Already we've got collectors multi buying. Just amazing. Look at it against the skin, too. Just turn that off. The oranges and yellows, yeah, very paparaccia. Then you've got kind of like your ametrine colours in there also. Look at the greens. Oh. That's stunning, isn't it? I don't think I can love amber any more than I already do, but I it think I do now. Doesn't just bring a smile to your face yeah. as well? It's just a happy gemstone, isn't it? Yeah, it just it's... makes you feel happy and so... looking at it. Where else? Yeah. We, I genuinely could not find anywhere else mm. that will bring you the same colours yeah. that we're bringing you here. Now, 40 out of the 100 that we had have confirmed. Wow. 42 to be exact. That is nowhere near your price, jewellery makers. Nowhere near. It is not available in 8 mil. It is not available in 6 mil. And I should imagine um, that that's down to the fact that you can't, achieve the same visual mm. beauty with those sizes or I do know it takes a long time to achieve this I remember speaking to Marius when the first when we first introduced like the blue colors of Baltic yeah. amber and he was saying it's very expensive to actually mm. do this process um, and if you remember they, they were quite considered mm. even by jewelry maker prices um, but he also said it takes so long so that's why they're that higher higher price you've got a mixture of colors we're at £499, but it is not your deal of the day price today. Look at that. Let's introduce another price point that you're also not paying. But also about six or seven years ago when we were bringing Amber, they were sort of about your five, six mil. Yeah, well. not 10 small. mil. You didn't often see 10 mil. Yeah, very rarely saw that 10 mil in the size. True, true. If this was your classic cognac colour, yeah. it still it'd be in 10 mil would yeah. be... But the six mil, I think, was the standard size. Another price point that you're not going to be paying today. Not going to be paying today. Imagine this for a second. If you are one of the successful collectors who've already secured theirs, you are one of 100 people. Possibly, certainly, certainly, we believe in the UK possibly mm. globally that actually have this mm. have these colors how many times have you seen genuine amber and i'm not talk talking yeah. synthetic genuine amber with colors like this mm. it it's very costly very costly time wise as well to actually transform your amber to achieve these beautiful palettes we've never seen the purple before we've never seen the greens over half the stock has gone and in 60 seconds, jewelry makers, we're going to be taking it even lower again. So exclusive. We couldn't do a jewelry maker exclusive weekend. 
This could quite possibly be one of the most exclusive deals that we bring you for the whole weekend, in actual fact. We mm. could easily stop here. Even if it was your classic cognac colour and your 10 millimetre rounds at 199, I think that's absolutely amazing. I remember when we used to do <coughs> excuse me amber showcases amber weekends and you were ambers were 199 mm. you know not all granted yeah. but you but it was definitely a price that i've done yes yeah, um for ambers 10 millimeters most definitely would have been three figures and we've never had these colors previously before so i'm going to wish you all the very best of luck jewelry makers there are literally 100 of these personally i would be quite frugal with yeah, these so would I. i'd I be would. using maybe one in a, yeah. in a in a in a pearl necklace or and uh, maybe i might push the push the boat out and say okay i'm gonna put two and make a most amazing pair of earrings or you might go now you know what al i'm going all in all those colors in one fabulous long line wow. necklace how amazing would that be Good luck, jewelry makers. Your deal of the day today, the first time ever, could be the last time, I don't know, bringing you some of these colors in your beautiful Baltic amber at 129 pounds. We've got collectors who said, you know what, I'll have multiples of those, Al. Um, Hazel's got two, Essex has got three, Anna's got three, Nottinghamshire's got two, um, Andrum's got two, and you do disappear off the bottom of the screen, jewelry makers, so I can't see all of your names. Um, if you wish, 0% interest, you can get it on split payment there as well. Um, break it down to bite-sized chunks. Yeah. When, when are we going to be able to bring an opportunity like this again? Never say never, of course, because yeah. we've got a great relation with Marius as well, um, who uh, brings us all of our amber pieces. You know, he's been on our shows previously before. But I know if we picked up the phone and said, hi, Marius, we absolutely love that deal of the day. Any chance you could do some more? He'll probably go, um, yeah, maybe, I don't know. And, and this is me guessing. Yeah, yeah, come back to me in two years. Because it takes a long time to actually achieve those colours too. Wiltshire, you've got yours. Susan, you've got two. Well done to you, Cumbria, Patricia, uh, Virginia, Susan, Alison, Kevin, Maria, Nottinghamshire, Jan, well done, Lynn, uh, Gerda and Saltburn on sea, Jean, Maurice, Kathy, Mrs. Carol, Mary, Leicestershire, Catherine, Heather, amazing. A vision of colour. I tell you what I would be doing with those. In the 12 o'clock, I've done seed beads with the Pearl Scoop, but you can buy our two or three mil gemstones, yeah. micro-faceted. Get a whole, sort of like four different strands of different colours, like Appetite, Garnet, Ruby oh, maybe, wow. uh, Citrine. Bundle them all together and mix them up, and then just do little strands of about an inch and a half of your multifaceted, if you want that really sort of colour play and sort of accentuate the colour play. But beautiful, look at that. You see, they go with everything, don't I they? Love, I love amber and pearls. I think yeah. there's something so gorgeous about yeah. amber and pearls together. They do, and it's got, separating them, those colours are going to light up even more, yeah. aren't they? Um, now, jewellery makers, we have 40 left. Less than, I beg your pardon, 33. So exactly two thirds of the stock is gone. We actually have one more price crash. Wow. This was never your deal of the day price. And you might be thinking, oh, come on now. Just go straight down to that price. What are you dilly-dallying for? If we'd have done that, we'd have melted the phone lines and we'd have crashed the system. So jewellery makers, the launch and quite possibly yeah, it's true. Yeah. Quite possibly the only opportunity that we're going to get to own these colours. But also the first deal of the day of your Jewellery Maker exclusive weekend. We're going to make sure it's an absolute cracker. We go even lower. Oh. 60 seconds and we go even lower. They are only available. This is it. I don't have an 8 mil. I don't have a 6 mil. Mm. I don't have cabochons. This is it. Mm. This is all we have. Couldn't get much more exclusive, mm. could it? We go even lower, jewelry makers. There are precisely 100 of these, or rather there were. I have about 30 right now. Um, there's still an opportunity for you to get involved. I genuinely don't know where you would actually find a strand like this, colors of amber mm. like this, and it'd be genuine amber, not synthetic, not resin, not created, genuine amber 
with these wonderful bicolors in purples and greens and almost paparazzi saturations. If you even did find something like this, is it going to be anywhere near 129? It's also not going to be 129 this morning, jewelry makers. So good luck. Well done to those of you multi buying. The launch price and the launch of the whole exclusive weekend features something we have never brought to you before. Yeah. Over that threshold, straight into double figures. So wait, simple mass, that's 25 pounds on split pay, Susie. You ain't finding a, no. a, an amber necklace like this anywhere near double figures. One bead yeah. on a head pin, yeah. put one of those bead caps on the top, yeah. and make that into a pendant. There you go. There's your, there's your money back. There's your money back. And, and you know what, as customers as well, customers who are like, oh, what's this? Oh, it's amber. That's amber. Yeah. And you yeah. could say, yeah, did you Such know? It's a rare colour. It's, you know, did you know there's actually over 256 different colours of amber? We narrow it down to seven. But there's also methods and technologies that actually yeah. can transform a genuine amber and bring these beautiful colours through. Colours However, it takes a long time to do mm. so, and it's usually very, very expensive. So tell the story to your audience yeah. or your recipients. I'm, I'm, a, I'm not assuming mm. everybody sells their jewellery, of course. Um, seriously, yeah, I agree. I agree with what Susie was saying. I think you could get your money back just on one, one of these because they are so unique. They are unique and they're big. The ten mil, yeah, massive. ten mil on a in an amber is huge, huge, absolutely huge. You know, um, Ross, on the back of that PowerPoint, there's a couple of pieces, isn't there? It doesn't matter necessarily what they are, but yeah. just to see the price tag, and that's you know, that's Baltic amber, general sort of. The, the, what it said in that article, didn't it? It was saying actually the most uh, um, frequent colour is actually the classic amber colour itself. But just so you can see some of the prices, some of the prices that it can fetch, amber boutique jewellers don't tend to go below three figures, do they? Don't tend to. Here you go. Pear cut, Baltic amber, bee pendant necklace and sterling silver. Um, it's nice. It's £179. Yeah, and it's a colour that you sort of remember. It's not something that's... It's not, rare. oh my goodness, that's different. Yeah. That's unusual. I've not yeah. seen it before. £189. They're nice. Yeah, £189. You know, it's, it's, it's whereas this, I'm like, wow. Yeah. This is completely, completely different. Um, yeah, you can look at the honeycomb pendant, £149. You get my point. Doesn't, it doesn't mm. often, I'm never going to say never, doesn't often tiptoe below the three figures. Yeah. The phone lines, the web have gone crazy. Okay. London's Lots got two, points. Hazel's got two, Essex has got three, Anna's got three, Nottingham's got two, Fiona's got two. You do disappear off the bottom of the screens, jewelry makers. Well done to you, Buckinghamshire, Tracy, Christine, Fiona, Sharon, Myra, um, Leicestershire. Well done to you, Sandra, Catherine, Janet, Lorraine, Jalanta, and Sharon. Uh, oh, Wendy well Lynn, congratulations. Uh, hello, Virginia in Hampshire saying hi, team. Absolutely stunning. I love the blues and reds, but these are something, something else. else. They, are. they are. And you will do a happy dance when you get them home. They're even they better are, in person. They are. They're very uh, vibrant. You almost forget the scale of these. If yeah. I put my hand next to them, look at the size of them. They're absolutely, absolutely enormous. Huge. Yeah. There's, there's the purples. Yeah. yeah, they're absolutely amazing. Beautiful. Loving that. Well done, everybody. To Virginia and everybody that's mm. successful. Um, if you love those pearls, by the way, they're coming up. And don't forget as well, in the we've also got Burmese. I've been teasing these pearls, haven't I? Should we do them now? Let's do them, Ross. Yeah, let's go crazy. Why not? Akoya pearls, anyone? Ah, they are Akoyas. Uh, I learned the sad news about Akoyas just before I went away. What's that? They're dying. Akoya pills Is that are because literally of the dying out. seas are becoming polluted or the climate, was it climate change? What's well, affecting it? So I don't know if you've got that article because I wasn't aware of this. No, I wasn't. So when we're talking about pills and freshwater pills as well, not yeah. just salt, be salt sea, salt water, freshwater okay. pills as well. Um, there's lots that influences the pearl, a pearl's production. You know, yeah. things like, for example, the pandemic, we know that. Yeah. We, you can't just walk away from a harvest. Yeah. These are, each oyster or mollusk is literally 
mm. cared for. Mm. The barnacles chipped away, of course, the, the temperatures of the water, the quality of the water as well is all, is all uh, um, assessed on a daily basis to make sure those oysters, mm. happy oysters, happy pearls, hopefully. Mm. That's the end, uh, um, the aim. However, and we actually did see it on in Kasumi pearls. Do you remember? Kasumi pearls, which were harvested alongside the Kasumi River, it's a very built up location, and that was catastrophic mm. for Kasumi pearl production, so much so that they actually died. They, mm. they just died from the pollution. So then, you know, fast forward to today, they have actually done a huge environmental investment back into the Kasumi River and they're now harvesting those pearls once yeah. more. But they don't know what it is that That's is good. actually killing the Akoya pearl oh, no. oysters. So this is, I, I've literally just learned this, wow, Susie. I didn't know so that. here's an article that Dave shared with me. It was like the death of Akoya oysters in Japan and what it means to you. How sad is that? Yeah. And and what's worse is well not worse, but it's actually whatever this is, yeah, is attacking the the um, juveniles. So the older oysters are surviving, but, but the juveniles ones. are dying. So you've got that generation. Yeah. Because they they form in nurseries, don't they? And it's massive numbers yeah. as well. So let's read on from this because it's really important. I think when we're talking about akoya mm. pearls are one of the most expensive pearls in the world. But what exactly is happening? A mysterious phenomenon of unknown origin is affecting the Okoya pearl oysters here in Japan. Um, life of the pink tartar oyster, as they uh, are known in the scientific community, begins after fertilization. Afterwards, in larvae form, they gain the ability to swim until setting down into their spat or juvenile form. Mm. The entire process takes around two to two and a half weeks in total. Uh, for reasons currently unknown in Japan, an illness is affecting the oysters and causing them to die in droves. Deaths are being reported of oysters in the larvae, juvenile, spat and mature stage. Um, where in Japan is this happening? Um, if you are wearing an Akoya pearl, chances are that it came from one of three places. Mm -hmm. The um, Ago Bay, um, or the Amura Bay, or, and I can't pronounce that last one, Susie. I can't see it. You won I can't see Jima it. City. Um, these are the three top areas of pearl production that provide the world 95% mm -hmm. of the world's Akoyas. In order of production, um, numbers first, while well, second, third, they're held respectively by those locations. So this is where it's happening. Wow. 95% of the world's Akoya pearls coming from these locations, mm. and this is where it's... Now, this is frightening. So uh, 252 companies were surveyed, with 120 reporting substantial losses in the area of 20%, some fear that the deaths may be much higher since only 48% have responded. Around 70% or 1.7 of the one year oyster juveniles have died. 23% or 300,000 of the second year juvenile oysters have died. 25% of the three year old oysters dying wow. out. So this is all quite I, I, it's, it's very worrying it's for the very pearl market, but it's also worrying just generally. I mean, it could it be globally that we're finding that the climate change is affecting it? Because we, we know that pearls are actually moving further to, because they need quite cold water. Yes. Um, but they don't need it too cold. It, it's just like the... That balance. That balance. Is it the food that's being infected? Is it pollution? Is there chemicals that have leached out? Who knows? It's making headlines. Yeah. Japanese pearl industry rocked by 20 million, million oyster mm. die off. It is definitely, if you are a, uh, an oyster, um, yeah. an Akoya pearl lover, now is the time to get yeah. it. Because it could be, a, it could be like um, a virus, yeah. couldn't it? Like with the bees. And then when we were in Jap uh, Japan at the beginning of the year, or rather the team were, Remember, Dave had a communicate, uh, had a conversation with one of the world's biggest and most respected pearl suppliers, mm. uh, and he was he literally had a strand of a coit pearls that were slightly blue, granted, forty eight thousand dollars. 
You know, we are talk Akoyas are the most expensive in the world yeah. now. Probably even more so now after this recent outbreak. I don't mm. know how else to describe mm. it. I have nine available. I've been teasing mm. you with this strand. You know, this Beautiful. is for me in the world of pearls, a koya is the ultimate legacy. Yeah. The ultimate. It's it's the um the birth of the culture yeah, pearl, exactly. isn't it? The Mickey Moto. Yeah, exactly. It was the oyster that, that began has really all. spawned the whole of the industry. Uh -huh. And they form naturally much smaller because of the cold waters. And it, it uh, the fricata, uh, pincata fricata, is only the size of your hand Pinkata. there. Two and a half inches, yeah. isn't it, in diameter. So um, it's yeah, really small. Literally two and a half inches. And it'll be one pearl per oyster yeah. as well. And these are big because originally when Mikimoto eventually did manage to harvest them, they were about three or four mil big. Six mil was a big one. That's why we say with um, pearls, anything over six, seven mil uh, goes up in value. Now, with, with techniques, we can get them to this size. Yeah, it's And you amazing. get a strand. That would have taken years yeah, to get a amazing. strand that looked like that. Well, we say now, can we then? Yeah. Because we've got this, this unfortunate yeah. story that's rocking the industry. Yeah. We've got nine available opportunities. Again, I I've shown you in the past, you go to Blue Nile and look at their Akoya Pearl mm. necklaces. You're talking thousands upon thousands yeah. of pounds. Um, you you look at Asile, you're talking thousands of pounds mm. for an Akoya Pearl necklace. Yeah. Um, they are, and yeah, okay, they've got the clasp, but you can pick up a clasp for, yeah. you know, next to nothing, really. Um, yes, they're knotted, but we can teach you those amazing techniques. Mm. Um, you look at the uh, in the royal family. You know it's a coir pearls that mm. they're wearing, the classic pearl pearls. necklace that the queen used they're to be photographed in. All a coir pearls. There are nine available in the world. I actually shared. In the, I remember joining Dave on a show where he shared this article. And I was like, "What? Oh my goodness me!" He was like, "I thought well, you I didn't knew." Know. Yeah, I, and I was like, know. "No, no, no! I've never heard this. I didn't know anything about wow. this." So. It was, it was, it, we were learning literally as, and he was like, oh, I'm sorry, I thought you knew this information. Oh, wow. I was like, no, no. Um, and then they sold out, do you remember? And I went home and spoke to my husband who, listen, he's not jewelry, he's not Jemmy massively, but I was like, oh my goodness, me, put, uh, Akoya Pearls are dying out. And he was like, oh, did you buy any then? I was like, I can't, they sold out. And he's like, oh. Even he the, the, mm. was like, okay, you need to get hold of them then if you get the mm. opportunity. I have nine in the world. Mm. That's how many we've got available right now. You want a pair of Akoi pearl earrings from Pragnells, by the way? £2,425. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You've got a full strand. They have the highest luster of all the pearls. Um, they have that mirror. When you sometimes <coughs> talk about a mirror-like um, luster <coughs> to your pearls, it's the Akoi. Yeah, and shell pearls there. are based on Akoi's. Yeah. She's gone. She's got, <coughs> she's got a frog. Frog in the It's down <coughs> to those cool water temperatures that produce yeah. the most mirror light lustre. Mm. 10,000 pounds, not unrealistic when you just saw, yeah, two and a half thousand mm. pounds. Yeah, there's a little tiny stud on top of them. Let's match that price for the whole 38 centimeter strand. I'm gonna say it again, and the team upstairs are probably, oh, she's back already. She's on it already, but we need to be selling 18 karat gold class when mm. we've got a pot of Koya pearl yeah. strands. We do, don't we? Because look, there's nothing wrong with silver, no. don't get me wrong, <clears throat> but if I was getting this, it's on an 18 karat gold class. If you if you want to compete in the marketplace uh, that sell a Koyas and South Sea and Titans, you need to put on a gold. gold. And the thing is, with the, the difference in price with gold and silver, yeah, there is a jump in price, but nothing, nothing like the jump in price that of the you value. charge of the value totally. of the finished piece. So a clasp in silver might cost you twenty pounds, a clasp in gold might cost you two hundred pounds, but you're adding on probably another two thousand. One hundred percent. On to the no, price. I, I just bought. For a clasp. I bought <laughs> my um, my uh, mother-in-law some pearls um, from Ross. You know this story, don't you? Not Koyas, by the way. They aren't Koya pearls, mm. I wish. Um, I bought some amazing pearls from Jewelry Maker. And I went on to uh, Cookson, there you go, a competitor of ours, amazing mm. competitors as well. Mm. And I bought a very simple um, 18 karat gold clasp. I'll tell you how much it cost. It cost 80 pounds or something mm. like that. It might mm. have been a bit, a bit less. 
But I can tell you, adding that eighty pounds to that piece of jewellery did significant, significantly Absolutely. more to the value of that piece. Yeah. Now imagine doing that on a coir pearl strand. Mm. We're at two thousand four hundred and ninety-nine. The world of acquires has been completely rocked by what we don't even know what it yeah. is. We don't know. It, it's not pollution, mm. or do we don't believe so? Yeah. It sounds be, like some it's kind quite of worrying illness because effectively for me being you know that's my business <clears throat> how is that going to affect say the, the uh, tahitian pearl yeah south sea and also fresh water yeah. is it a sort of a, a disease yeah that we have with the bees and what have you so it's quite worrying jean you've done it well done i have maker maker and i've got cumbria there and i've got people mm. on the web should we do something Oh, I can't believe we're saying this, Ross, but let's do something outrageous on a coil of pills. I mean, that is outrageous. This is also not your price. We're not talking about a short strand here. First ever a coil of pill that I bought myself, and I remember it was, I'm going back, gosh, pre-kids, here at Jewelry Maker, um, one single coir pearl pendant framed in a little gold mm. from, gem, from gems that I was presenting and I literally bought it on air. Mm. Um, one, and it's probably five mil. Mm. I paid not far off the price that's on your screens yeah. years ago. Yeah. Yeah, and it's one pearl. Not a huge amount of gold. It's, like, I gotta say, le less than half a gram mm. of gold. And I paid not far off that price. You're, I can't believe we're doing this. We're going even lower on a full 38 centimetre strand. I, I, I almost sound a little bit, it is one for the collectors 100%, but also it's to somebody for people that want to make profit. You know, if you want to buy this, you're not going to be selling it at 4 99 or I should hope not anyway. Can I? What um, would you sell this for oh, thank you. on 18 karat gold, yeah. Susie? Well, I'll just give you a comparison. Um, a six mil strand starting from 350 pounds, that's fresh water. Yeah. The equivalent, this is what I say to my clients, the equivalent, if you want coir, because a lot ask for a coir pearl, it's going to be about two and a half to three thousand pounds. That's uh -huh. on sterling silver. Okay. If I were then to add a class, well, I'd be adding another thousand pounds onto that. So you're talking about three and yeah, a half thousand pounds. Yeah, because I'm saying. Which is, which is in line, I think, with Blue Nile. Yeah. Great. Because that I'm, seems right. Because I would say, you know, that's what they are in the high street. There's a pair of studs here on Pragnall yeah. for two and a half yeah. thousand pounds. Yeah. We're at three hundred and ninety-nine pounds for a full thirty-eight centimetre strand. Can I tell you why as well? You pay yeah, more for on. a coir because some people might think, well, because I, I will say to my clients as well on some freshwater pearls, the lustre is fantastic. Mm, you know, you're looking at it, but why am I charging you for this strand? Because the average person that comes to me to look at pearls doesn't really understand freshwater. They'll have heard of a coir. Uh, th yeah, exactly. And they're yeah. thinking, what? So I'll show them, right, we can get, give you seven mil here, fresh water, I'm going to charge you this, or you can get a coir that you've asked for. Here we go. And then I explain fresh water, bigger mollusk, they produce 50 at a time, get lo lots more. If one of those mollusks goes wrong or it doesn't work out, they don't come out very well, you've got lots of other mollusks. Each of the Fukata um, oysters are individually placed. You've got to get a specialist that has to actually insert that bead into yeah. one, one oyster. Uh, one oyster, and that oyster is doing its best to spit it out. It says, "Oh my pee! I don't need this in my in in, in my sort of the, the sack that they put it into." And it's trying to spit it out all the time. And this is why the pearl, uh, pearl farmers spend so much time nurturing them. They go, "No." Keep, keep it going round until they're turning it, they're feeding it, keeping it happy, thinking, okay, I'll produce it. Only 5% of the um, oysters that are produced produce a pearl. Yeah. 95% yeah, are rejected. discarded. Yeah, rejected. So to get a strand takes so much effort, and this is what you're paying for, and this is what I have to explain to my customers. That's why a koi is so much more expensive than freshwater pearls. And you can see the difference and you in can them see. as well. You know, so they are literally, let me just move are, that out of the way, mirror-like, aren't yeah. they?
Um, and it is down to those really cool water temperatures. That's why a coir yeah, pearl. That. And look at the oh. mirror shine. It looks like, you know, that this is what a shell pearl is based on. Yeah. The, the what they aspire to be. Again, you, it's, it's entirely up to you, but it, I've been knotting it on silk, and that'll yeah. be on an 18 karat gold clasp. And that would be something I'd be looking at insuring, yeah. not at three hundred and ninety nine pounds at a zero more accurately. Yeah. Pair you know? earrings. Yeah, unbelievable. Take two off, make a pair of earrings, you get your money back, you've got that strand. If if you if your budget allows, do it. I've got two left jewellery makers, I'm very tempted on these. <laughs> um, because and again, we don't tell you the information about sort of you know, the information, the updates on the coir pearls to scare anybody. But at the same time, we do need to know that information. Yeah, absolutely. Um, because if we don't, and then they're like, oh, okay, all the Akoya pearls have died out, or the oysters themselves have actually died out, I can't get hold of Akoya pearls anymore. Yeah. What's going to happen to the price of strands yeah. like this? They're going to go through the roof. They're already at yeah. the highest. They're, they're, Akoya pearls are more expensive than any other pearl in the, in the industry mm. now. £48,000, like I said, we saw yeah. um, at the beginning of the well year. Well done, everybody. Well done. Now, coming up, after the break jewelry makers and I've also been teasing you with this beautiful strand none other one one of the finest most legendary locations in the world for producing gemstones is Burma they produce some of the finest rubies without shadow of a doubt certainly some of the finest sapphires without shadow of a doubt um, but the same applies when it comes to your beautiful spinel and they form alongside one another it's another reason really why prior to gem uh, gemology um, Red spinel was often actually misinterpreted for a ruby. Um, so, incredibly durable gemstone. You can see the difference in Burmese, uh, Burmese black spinel. They're mirror like with their luster. Also, oh, <coughs> wow. I've got 30 available. Have, have you? They're beautiful. They're almost bi color. They're beautiful. I'm going to have a look in the break. <laughs> Where did these come from? Oh, I've got to have a look. Oh, wow. Oh. What you get some tassels. <laughs> okay. I mean, I'm not using the tassels with these no. pearls. I've got to be honest. No. Can I have Those are for another... Okay. Yeah, come on over, Susie. Oh, wow. <gasps> these are on pre-order. I've got oh. 30 available opportunities. They're beautiful. Metallic. Metallic. Super, super, super metallic. Okay, super jewelry makers, metallic. do shop ahead on those. Um, the Burmese Black Spinel is coming your way just after the break, jewelry makers. What a show! An exclusive yeah. show, some might say. Don't go anywhere, we'll see you after this. <laughs> Never miss a show by watching on the go with the Jewelry Maker app. Head over to your app store now and search Jewelry Maker and simply download to your smartphone or tablet. You can watch the shows live and see your favorite presenters and guests. Click on the Today button to shop all of the products that are featured on today's show. Want to know what's hot? Then click here to see today's bestsellers and highlights. Have you missed a show or want to watch one back? Then click on the schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days. Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches and much more by clicking for our social media pages. Never miss a show by watching On The Go with Jewelry Maker.
Have you purchased one of our projects and want to download the instructions? Then simply log into your account at jewelrymaker.com. Go to your order history, find your order and click on download content. From there, you can save to your computer or print off a copy. Please note that your project sheets will be available once your order has been dispatched. Jewelry Maker. Create. Wear. Share. Did you know that you can shop for pre-show deals on Jewelry Maker? Head over to jewelrymaker.com every day between 7am and 8am, click on Watch Live, scroll down for brilliant products, last of stock items and amazing deals. But these deals are only available for one hour and once they're gone, they're gone. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. Back jewelry makers, I just love that VT. He pulls, he pulls it off, doesn't he? The bodyguard kind of expression. No, he's very good. He does, yeah, he does. Move over, Kevin Costner. <laughs> Wayne's going to be the new bodyguard. If ever, <laughs> if what? If there was, if there was a jewelry maker film, who would play Wayne? Oh. I don't know. Text in, because I might get myself in trouble. Dwayne <laughs> Who? Dwayne. Dwayne Johnson, The Rock. Yeah. <laughs> Very good. Very good. We could open this up, though, as well. Who would play us? <laughs> Who would play no. us? Don't. <laughs> God help me. Yeah, that's just opening to be uh, asking to be insulted, isn't it? <laughs> <It's> no. <laughs> Uh, no. Be nice. No, right then. Nice right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Talk about um, a VIP weekend, and it really, really is. I don't think there is many uh, celebrity event, which there's been a few recently, yeah. haven't there? Oh, yeah. Which doesn't feature Black Spinel. Mm. Because if you think about it, these celebrities plan their outfits and their 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 appearances down to the dresses i'm not saying they buy them they don't they get no, donated them, don't they? Um, um they plan it sort of months in, in advance or rather their team do but there is certainly a gemstone that responds incredibly well so if you think about you know the paparazzi flash mm. as we always describe in fact i only ever say paparazzi flash when i'm talking about black spinel because each and every single one of those facets literally acts like a camera flash it, it really does so sparkly yeah it's so incredible sparkly. now there is different degrees spinel forms much like sa uh, sapphire does and ruby does forms um, in lots of different locations around the world it is incredibly rare um it is very closely i don't want to say related because they're not in the same gemstone family but they form alongside one another which why as i just touched on previously why gemologically spinel was often misinterpreted for either rubies or sapphires depending on the color variety um but right back in 2023 right back it's only a few years ago, it was only last year. Um, there was an article that actually was published featuring this beautiful gemstone. They said there's five trends that um, will really shine in 2023. Black spinel most definitely being one of them. Jewelry has the power to be uh, the one little thing that makes you feel unique. So said Elizabeth Taylor, mm -hmm. a woman who understood the power um, of a good bauble better than perhaps anyone. Mm. Admittedly, the jewelry obsessive was less about the little things and more about the stonking six-figure ones. Yeah. Um, but the rest of the world 
Um, and all her jewellery still rings true. Um, indeed, it's been a bumper couple of years for jewellery creativity since the pandemic, with hope-filled talismans, um, colours, advancements, traceability and circular circularity um, that point to the bright gem-studded futures. Um, Miranda Preston talks about, um, I love texture, molten looks and amigo rings and each one is different the trends fresh and take on organic textures yeah we'll flick through this because it's uh it's quite wordy this one um pearls too remain a popular choice as well so mm. i mean that's absolutely yeah, the case in 2024 beautiful. but another one of those five is beads go to the dark side we're seeing a lot of darker stones in beading from labradorite to spinels and garnet it's less playful than before and can sit amongst other jewelry or uh, more easily Easily, says uh, fine matters uh, says fine matters Preston so you can see there literally naming the fact labradorite spinels and garnets are hugely popular at the mm. moment and there is something very seducing I think about black gemstones oh, I love them very seductive they complement absolutely everything, everything. Um, the jewelry editor featured a few uh, black spinel pieces so this is not something that is just you know black spinel gone are the days of black spinel being really affordable yeah um yeah. it's quite pricey as you can see here twenty thousand pounds for those comet earrings which i love um it's basically a tassel it is a tassel basically a tassel in a pair of earrings um i can also show you this piece which was on love first that. dibs love that one thousand one hundred and sixty one pounds just a few chrysocola dotted in between could you create that jewelry makers easily i think you could in fact i think you could do it better because we've got put much nicer faceting in the all strands yeah. um again i like this 1330 pounds and 89 pence but the, i'm going to say it the spinel is not as good as the quality that you're about to see no. and I just i just want you to hold that thought in fact joe are you able to do a 50 50. yeah because I'll say it again. Yeah, they were a bit This is the scary. difference between Burmese spinel and other locations. Yeah. Look at the quality of your spinel in comparison. Yeah. I'm literally comparing alongside a, a four-figure yeah. piece of jewelry. These are much better faceted, aren't they? Far better. They don't look so brilliant. Far, far better. Should we show a few more? Liberty? Nice. 625 pounds, they're nice, yeah, aren't they? Nice. Nice. How about the ring? 440 pounds? Lovely. Nice. How about this? Harvey Nicks? 285 pounds. Not you so nice. I'm, I don't like that. Mm. Easy to make. Yeah, I'd much prefer to make it out of this bracelet. Wolf and Badger? In yeah. fact, they're more expensive now, aren't they, Roscoe? Not 135 pounds anymore. I think they're about 155 pounds now, so they've gone Easy up in to price. Make again. Again? Monica Veneda. Like it. Um, it's nice and simple. Simple, but I think I prefer this. Yeah. And save myself the £125. How about the mini nugget gemstone breeded bracelet? £125. Easy to make. Very, very easy to make. The quality of... Yeah, they're teeny weeny, aren't they? And the quality of ours is much better, more consistent. We could show you... Yeah, you can do it in drops. Look at yeah. the prices once again, £249, £195. They're not bad prices, actually. Not too bad at all. Now, jewellery makers, celebrities, as we said, along the red carpet. Sandra Bullock, big fan of Black Spinel. Um, Michelle Obama uh, loves her Black Spinel with pearls. I love this piece of jewellery. Mm. This was actually at the premiere, oh, at Cannes Festival, wasn't it? Film Festival. So this is Michelle Yeoh, and she's wearing black spinel and a beautiful yeah. um, black opal. I love that piece. You could take inspiration from that mm. design. And again, I'm going to say, it might just be the photography, but you don't see that same luster. Uh, Maisie Williams actually wearing Gemporia jewellery there. Um, she's actually wearing a black spinel ring. Right. Um, on the red carpet there, which we actually gifted to her. Um, you have Nicole Scherzwinger wearing her black spinel there, you can see in that studded ring. You can steal that look, definitely. Mm. Angelina Jolie, again, a, a very po uh, um, an another celebrity who's absolutely loving spinel. And that's her jewellery, by the way, which she later then auctioned for charity. 
Um, it's set in 18 karat gold, black spinel. That was on the premiere of Salt. Now, um, jewelry makers, we have, is it total three strands, Roscoe? We've got a few, yeah. okay. Burmese. So if you think about it, and I said this at the very beginning of the show, it's quite widely publicised now that Burmese ruby is most likely only going to less less than five years. Mm. They estimate mm. of mining. That's that's centuries of mining done and dusted. That tells me because ruby, Burmese ruby, Burmese sapphire form alongside one another, so mostly likely going to be the same story for the mm. Burmese sapphire. Another gemstone that forms alongside Burmese ruby is the spinel. There's an article just here about Burmese spinel that says Burma, also known as Myanmar, has a long history of mining and producing high quality gemstones, including spinel. Burmese spinel is known for its rich red and pink hues, as well as its high transparency and excellent clarity. Burmese spinel is typically found in marble deposits and is mined, exactly what we've just been saying, is mined in the Mogok region. Mm. Uh, the mines in this area have been producing high quality spinel for centuries and the gemstones from this region are considered to be some of the finest in the world. Burmese spinel is also found in other places in the country like the Mongsu. Um, it is known for its red and pink spinel but also for their large size. So that article, the reason why I'm saying that is literally, this is mm. Mogok spinel. Yeah. Like we say Mogok ruby or, or um, it's also known as Ruby Valley, isn't it? Yeah. But what you've got in Myanmar is you've got a big tectonic plate and it's very chromium rich. So yes. that's why you get the fantastic... The rubies, the ruby, etc. You know, yeah. This is mined alongside that. Black diamonds are not as perfect as white diamonds. Mm. I think that's in the eye of the beholder and quite a bold statement but natural black diamonds are made from inclusions when carbon undergoes extreme pressures and heat thus creating its opaque color black diamonds are color enhanced to give them an even darker coloring this enhancement can affect the hardness of the gem and make it weaker black diamonds are also known for their metallic appearance and high luster on the contrary mm. they're making a comparison here on the contrary a black spinel stone sparkles and shines with a glass like luster this black gem does not have the metallic tone that other gemstones uh, boast of. But I actually think that's a positive. Yes, yeah, so I. Do actually I. prefer the fact that it's much more glass. you've got that metal effect Yeah, it's, on it's it. almost matte. It makes yeah. it, I, I prefer a black spinel to a, to yeah, a black so diamond. Um, but in some cases, when they do have some, it results in a mesmerizing star effect that gives the stone a classy touch. Black spinel is more reflective compared to a black sapphire mm. and ruby. The gem is also identifiable by its octahedral crystal structure. Mm. It is that paparazzi flash. Yeah. One thing though, before we introduce this amazing showcase is because when we're talking about any gemstone actually for that matter but gemstones that need faceting what is the most important of the four c's i've asked you this question previously before is it the carrot weight is it the color is it the clarity or is it the cut it is the latter cut is the most important because you can have the finest quality diamond with the most amazing clarity and the most amazing color but if it's not cut well um, and po not polished well it's not the most amazing diamond anymore Faceting spinel is so, so, so important because you're not even getting the fire, the brilliance mm. internally. It's all external. So the cutting has to be crucial. And on that note, you know, as I literally yeah. have these three strands literally draped over the back of my hand, as I rock it back and forth, that is the quality of faceting mm. that I aspire to. But that's where our expectation should be for Burmese spinel. It is the best location in the world to source your black spinel from. But again, now is the time. Mm. And it's not been documented anywhere. I've looked elsewhere, the GIA, the mm. Swiss labs. But if black spinel, uh, if black ruby is likely to only have five years, then most likely black spinel and black, mm. uh, sorry, black Burmese spinel and Burmese yeah. sapphire will too. We have the graphics on your screen. I'm starting with what? I didn't even realize these are a different cut. Oh, I love these. You've got me shopping today, Ross. This is 
Yeah, I don't I don't get why it's as affordable as it is. It doesn't make sense, does it? Black no, is totally agree. natural. It looks so expensive, doesn't, doesn't it? it? As a gemstone, I absolutely adore black spinel. I don't actually understand why it's... Yeah. it's it, I think black spinel should command a higher price tag than black diamonds. Yeah, I definitely agree. Just that, ju just put a clasp on that, it just looks a million dollars, doesn't yeah. it? If you were to walk out in that, you think, wow. Well, you look at, like, Sandra Bullock's jewellery, yeah. how simple it was. Yeah. You know, or, there we go. No, 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 let's go to, let's go to Jen Franston. Hers was super simple. Yeah. Rosary linked. Yeah. It's all about the spinel. I have to say, yours is better. Yeah. The po the cutting, the polishing, mm. the precision is better than Jennifer Aniston. There's 20 beads. beads on that necklace. Yeah. That's it. We're at 49 pounds and 99 pence. But there's only 20 available. The lantern bead is like a Chinese lantern. You've got those Beautiful. wonderful chamfered edges. Um, well done to all of you getting involved. Alison in West Midland, Sheila in Hampshire, you're there. London, congratulations. Natural Burmese Black Spinel. Um, 35 carats of, oh, I'll definitely be joining you on That's opportunities like this. Twenty-four ninety-nine. I mean, how much would this be if it's Black Diamonds? And I think they're more beautiful than yeah. black diamonds. I think if it was on you, you wouldn't notice. You know, you could if you had somebody with a black diamond necklace and a black spinel, you wouldn't tell the difference. You really yeah. wouldn't. Only these probably produce more lust light. Yeah. They probably, they probably produce more sparkle. You'd probably think they were the black diamonds because they're more sparkly. Yeah, absolutely. I've got twenty available off look at that. Look at that. Yeah. I love this cut. Mm. And our lighting isn't the best in this studio, no. quite to be quite honest. If you were looking at these in a in, in a high end jewellers, you would be have you know little spotlights that are gonna just gonna pick up every single facet. Whereas here we've got quite literally floodlights above us. Yeah. Um, look at the recording. You can see that wonderful dance um, yeah. of cutting. That's what it looks like. Where I'm sitting, looking at you with that, that's what I'm seeing. Yeah. So yeah, I think our cameras aren't doing them the justice. Good luck, everybody. Now, 30 seconds, we're gonna go even lower. <coughs> Never been lower than the price that is on your screens right now, jewelry makers. Never been any lower. Look at that. Today, to launch the selection of Black Bur uh, Burmese Black Spinel, so I'll get that right, eventually. <laughs> eventually. But again, um, look, I have not got any factual evidence to say yeah Burmese black spinel that's likely to run out mm. but it makes sense doesn't it mm. does make sense and even if it isn't how long is it going to stay 1999 for something as beautiful as this yeah. something as rare as this oh I love it absolutely love it 19 pounds and 99 pence has a brand new low for you all jewelry makers virginia allison why don't you elaine jacqueline london new customers sally and sheila is it any wonder all these big beautiful big beautiful celebrities i don't think they'd like me to describe like that would they i'll sign again um <laughs> the bigger celebrities there you go yeah. with beautiful jewelry are choosing black spinel <laughs> Is it any wonder? The likes of Michelle Yeoh and... But black is one of those colours that just goes with every piece, yeah. every outfit. I mean, I wear jewellery, obviously, to match my outfits, but that just goes with everything. You put that on and just go. Imagine this with those acquires. Yeah. Oh, beautiful. Imagine, Imagine the, this... With the, the malachite. With the malachite. Yeah. Imagine this with your pearl scoop coming yeah, up. Yeah, <laughs> Fantastic. Imagine this with those pearls coming up as well yeah those amazing metallic pearls do you know what i mean i've used oh i love that susie but right on the end this is why i love black spinel sorry they're a slightly different size but i'll just show you this is i've used black spinel here just on the end of my tassels you probably can't see it do you want to try it the other way yeah. No, no, all good, stay there. But you can see, I, I just a lover of black spinel. So I've used those as accent points, and then on there, can you see, just, sorry. <laughs> but look, I, you know, these are smaller ones, but you imagine bigger ones. I, just oh. as accent, just two, like little. I just love black spinel. 
it's just one of those gemstones. You can do so much with it. You can do so much with them. Yeah, you don't you have really to can. use it all in a necklace. I've got every single size in yeah. Spinel. Yeah, well, stock up while you can. Mandy in Hartlepool saying uh, the Burmese Spinel is lovely. Lucky to have a few strands already. It yeah. is. There's something you can you can spot it though, Mandy, yeah. can't you? You know, like I said, Spinel forms in different locations around the world, but you can, there's something really distinguishable about Burmese Spinel. Yeah. I think it is down to the fact that it has got such a, a, a sort of almost like a. It's sparkly. It's darker. It yeah, feels it's darker. Very black. And much deeper than any other yeah. colours. Um, let's do jewelry makers the three mil round. Yeah. So if you want yeah. to use it in the same way, way. Yeah. Um, that Susie has done, then this would be perfect. Yeah, now there is only are. twenty available. Beautiful. Originally we had one hundred and fifty, yeah. so that tells you the popularity of these. Look, you've got more than enough to make a full two yeah. full bracelets. All of them have a, a really decent drill hole, at least a yeah. 0.4, so you don't need extra fine thread to go through them. But I, one tip I would say, learn from my experience, is if you are deciding to make a necklace with the black spinel, feed it on from the strand. Don't yes, do, I've done that. Yeah. <laughs> because it's so black, you can't see the see drill the hole. hole. No. You, can't, yeah, you literally yeah, have yeah. to pick it up yeah. and, and look for it. So I would say work off the strand. Yeah, totally. I would have done exactly the same with that. <laughs> um, amazing. Now, we only have, do you say 20? 20 out of 150 opportunities. We're going to go straight down to that price tag for you, Jura Makers. Don't forget those amazing metallic pearls um, are coming up. Not ninety nine ninety nine. Mm. Imagine a Burmese spinel tassel, like like oh, Susie's just my there. Word, yeah, beautiful. Oh, I've actually goodness. made um, a whole black spinel multi-stranded oh. necklace with a tassel, very dark. It's just with silver. Was that a commission? Yeah, I bet that flew. Yeah, but yeah. I bet that flew because it's going to go like you could go. Oh, do you want it in gold? Oh. I don't know. Do you want no, it silver? silver. Oh, silver. yeah, it, it looks, looks lovely, amazing with all of silver, them. Silver, it just works. It's wow, beautiful. well done, everybody. You can really indulge with black spinel, and I think that's why I love Michelle Yeoh's necklace so much because it's literally multiple carats mm. worth draped across her very elegant shoulders. Mm. Um, Nineteen yeah. pounds and ninety-nine pence. Well done, everybody. Make sure you check it out your basket. I only had twenty. Did you say? Okay. But again, they're flying out the door. London's got two, Elaine, Virginia, Sheila. Fabiola in Cornwall, congratulations. Gone straight down to your price tag. Um, beautiful, beautiful. You might not be great at knotting, for example. Yeah. I, I mean, it doesn't do the same thing, but you could use a black spinel in between um, a gemstone. Perfect size visually. for your um, pearls. Yeah. That would be the perfect size to use. So the three mil. Yeah, perfect Tr size. Amazing. Look at that. Well done, everybody. Oh, I love this strand. Lovely. I love this strand. How many? How many? Such a lovely size. How many? Not many. 50 available. Not enough. It's not enough. It's brand new and there's five mil. Oh, these are going to sell like they hot cakes. They are absolutely beautiful. Oh, I was going to say I wanted this strand, but if there's 50, oh. they're not going to be... I th do you know, I, I think I'd just take a couple of our spacer beads and just re-strand it like this. Yeah. <gasps> As a, it looks absolutely fantastic like that. I'm using my black spinel as sort of, especially that size, makes a lovely accent bead as well. It really packs a punch. Look how classy that is. It's beautiful. There is something very, very, very elegant yeah. of black spinel. And in particular, the Burmese variety. Yeah. Like Mandy said, there's something just extra special do about it. Do half and half with that. Oh, half, that would be beautiful. You know, do half. You could do it with um, pearls, but if you wanted to do it with like onyx, what bank mm. onyx? You know, like a yin and yang. Yang. Yeah. That would be amazing. Now I've got 50 available opportunities, jewelry makers. Again, make sure you're checking out nice and. Oh my goodness. Put this on with spacer beads. I love that idea. 50-50 to create like a yin and yang design. Um, again, totally and utterly natural. It is brand new, jewellery makers. We have never had this strand previously before. 
and it is rare for us to see Burmese spinel full stop it's rare for us to actually see it in five mil the graphics are live already collectors are getting involved with this as well now I'm going to show you the should be but we're not going to stop here do you agree any red carpet deserves Burmese black spinel absolutely little black dress that, oh. that's all you need nothing else yeah simple we're going to go lower today because it's a launch i actually think this is going to tiptoe it into the one show wonders i don't yeah. think we're going to see another this on our on our show again yeah. to what did i just see you tap tap in <laughs> We're going to take this under £20 today. There you go. Done it. Said it. Large price. One off deal. I don't think it's going to see another no. show. I don't know why. Well, they're five millimetres, so they definitely should should be commanding a higher price, price. point. Yeah. You know, I love that idea, Susie. Yeah. Literally 50-50. That would be gorgeous. Really With some Baroque nice. pills yeah. or something like that. Just really elegant. Just really, really elegant. And that is the perfect size to do it as well. Yeah. Love it absolutely love it do you remember you know on the i think it's the malachite showcase where we actually at powerpoint where i actually show you that wolf and badger piece which has got 50 percent brock pearls and 50 percent malachite oh wow, and yeah. i love and a tassel yeah. at the bottom and i love that it's about 500 yeah. pounds or something like that now imagine it instead of malachite with black spinel burmese yeah. black spinel no yeah. less as well 1999 sally you were one of the first ones there london elaine jeans multi bought ye may hello to you Susan and Tracy and Sheila and sorry multi buying there's tons of you getting involved I had 50 I don't think that's gonna be anywhere near enough Roscoe I mean how many people have we got on the phone lines and on the web ah oh, we're super over allocated yeah I'm not surprised Sandra Rupel maker Julie Elizabeth London Susan Diane Janice Margaret Jeanette Maureen Maker, Christine Cheryl, Sheila, and those are names I can see. Um, and also, let's not forget, that's not factoring people that are actually going to choose to multi-buy on this, because yeah. I would. Yeah. Oh, definitely. I mean, I, I have got a drawer full of just black spinel in yeah. every single size, because I absolutely adore it. It goes with everything. Well, it's like everybody tends to have at least one black yeah. dress, or at least one pair of black shoes, just, exactly. or black trousers. Exactly. You do, don't yeah. you? It, th this is our equivalent in the gemstone yeah. world. You need black spinel. But black goes, whatever colour you're wearing, it, even if you're in sort of like pale pink, yeah. put black on if you're in Love grey, it. put black on if you're in green, put black on. There's not a colour that just a simple black necklace won't go with. Totally agree. Yeah. Totally Love agree. It. And it transforms it. You said about pale pink, it turns yeah. it into Two. kind of like a feminine but rocky, yeah, rock exactly. chicky edge, doesn't yeah. it? Um, you, you can actually use it to just to transform the whole design oh, aspect exactly. of it yeah if and you had article was talking about gems going to the darker side yeah well if you had a white outfit I, I've, I've been put i've ruined the dress but i had a white lacy dress that was great for the summer yeah uh just put black with that it just love it takes it to a different dimension love it love it love it look at that we really ever see five mil as well sandra buckinghamshire wilch has got two cynthia rupal maureen elizabeth susan diane margaret um well done uh sheila i can't keep up with you um well done cynthia root i can't yeah every time i say a name it the, the, the call screen jumps jumps down um we had 50 of them julie if you want those five in time and where i would strongly recommend Check out. checking out sooner rather than later because they are they are absolutely flying out yeah. the door you can still get involved but over half the stock cross oh in fact no way more than that there's less than 10. whoever's put the five in the basket make a multi-stranded bracelet with that how wonderful is we've that? got single figure quantities though susie yeah. so if you've got five in your basket i can't guarantee that right yeah. now well wow. they're going that they're, they're flying yeah. out the door single figure quantities we knew it was going to be the case yeah. let's be honest a it's five millimeter yeah. spinel um b it's faster to perfection and also it's burmese yeah as you know, a bracelet that is beautiful. you said the word earlier on provenance oh absolutely and and we you just know that if gemstones come from myanmar that's why your magok rubies yeah. are the best because they're chromium rich that's why the burmese jade is the best because it has chromium yeah 
the spinel is the best because it ha it's just Has that so mineral rich, yeah. like nowhere else on the planet. Love it, absolutely love it. Congratulations, every single one of you. Um, okay. I have got the two oh, mil rounds. You're gonna love this, Susie. Oh, this is what I've used in my necklace. You think, wow, Oh, so these are the ones that you they have They are the necklace. exact ones. So thank you so much for bringing them on. They are absolutely wonderful. I say what, now these I took off, they're in a little plastic bag. And so it takes, you know, to do this took me like five times as long. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but if you keep them on the strand, literally bead off the strand. Can you see? But look how yeah. black they are. Look how black they are. And they're two mil, but don't they pack a punch? Do you know, this is the thing, two millimetre, you almost think, oh no, they're far too small, no. I won't see them. You do. No. You do, especially yeah, with that intensity of colour. Um, yeah. How many have we got? 75 wow. available. Look at that. Look at that. That's why I love using them. I use this size such a lot. They're tiny. Use them as spaces in between your pearls, in between any gemstones that you have. You know, I've absolutely transformed your jewellery. It's funny, isn't it? You think the smaller the size of the gemstone, probably you, you would imagine it'd be harder to see the luster, but actually yeah, in no. Burmese black it spinel, it does pops. the opposite, doesn't it? It absolutely pops. And look at that. It travels. Those, yeah. It's like the light travels from end yeah. to end. We've got 75 available opportunities at £19.99 pence only. But we are not stopping there. We're going even lower. Yeah. Brand new, never been on your screens previously before, Ross is saying in my yeah. ear. Amazing. Amazing. Use them in your tassels, use them as alternatives to your knots, yeah. use them as spacers. Yeah. What? I know, it's... it's £9.99? Am I going even lower? I mean, hang on a minute, we've still got to source the Burmese for now. We've still got to fast it and drill it and polish it. Still got to strand it, which isn't easy with a sand <laughs> that have we? But if you're using those um, as spacers, you think, right, it's this gemstone and spinel. Puts mm -hmm. the price up, doesn't it? You totally. It's, you know, you, it's like saying sterling silver spaces, but actually with the gemstone, it's actually more valuable because it's a gemstone. It's a genuine gemstone. So And it's a birthstone, don't yeah. forget, as well. Seriously though, where 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 are you buying no. natural Burmese no. spinel for a quid yeah. for a carrot? And you know, just on a metaphysical side, for those that believe in it, not everybody does, I often recommend black spinel, or I might add black spinel because it prevents burnout. Sometimes, you know, when you 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 have too much to do, overwhelmed and overwhelmed, it it actually gives you that energy mm. back. So it uh, it's really good for burnout if you're feeling sort of run down and what have you. This is brings you back up. Yeah, <laughs> amazing. Do you know what's funny? We were talking about this. Yeah. It's easily done, yeah, that, you isn't need it? To wear some black spinel. Maybe I need to wear some black spinel, spinel. a bit more often. Yeah, um, yeah unbelievable. Seven ninety nine, Ross. Lowest price Burmese That's black amazing. spinel we've ever done. We believe. Yeah, probably, most likely. Well, it's a, a stab in the dark. That's I'd say. That's a fairly confident bet. Um, Make a simple bracelet with that oh i like that becky's saying they'd look nice with the nine o'clock kits yes they would. yes they would they would look they perfect would. as spaces with that malachite oh they'd be beautiful they would be perfect they'd be lovely with the See, pearl scoop okay. that's coming up you in the 12 o'clock hour there. wouldn't it <laughs> they'd be amazing they'd be yeah. amazing alongside these oh, beautiful yeah. metallic pearls that are coming up in a few moments that would time give it a really contemporary edge wouldn't it yeah one more auction. Yeah. Oh, oh I love I that. I love that with that. Perfect. One auction's time until we bring this to you. But just before we do, jewellery makers, I have something. This is Mogok, isn't it? Yeah. This next opportunity, Roscoe. Yeah. It is. And I funny, I follow... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Now, now, I follow Toby on his Instagram, and I know Toby's been on his travels. Toby Cavill, who's been on his travels recently, um, 
he was in Florence, I think it was at one point, and he yeah. was somewhere else. And one of the posts that he recently put up was actually a Jedi red spinel. Oh wow! Now, red spinel. You don't. You don't have to take my word for it. If you go to the GIA, that's the Gemological Institute of America. Just put GIA. Color quality factors of spinel. Their words. They will say. Two of the, the two rarest colours of spinel are cobalt blue mm. and red. And that article that we spoke about earlier on, just a few moments ago, I don't know if you can find the paragraph, Roscoe, says from this location, from the Burmese location, it is known and celebrated for its fine saturation and its amazing translucency, but they are rare. Also remember that red spinel was often confused for the finest quality rubies Ruby, think about our imperial crown mm. that's that it wasn't until actually quite recently that yeah. we established oh it's not a ruby it's actually a spinel yeah. it's a burmese red spinel mm. i'm about to bring you burmese red spinel in the jedi red here we go so even with the gem species in which lively colours are expected, one variety of spinel is leaving collectors speechless. Field gemologist Vincent Pardue, and he's been here in the studios, hasn't he, Vincent, has written about the rare neon pink slash red spinel he saw in the early 2000s. How did these specimens get their name? I learned that the typical downfall of an otherwise fine spinel was a dark tone or a dark side within the gem, explained Pardieu in 2014 article of Gems and Gemology. At the time, the Hollywood blockbuster Star Wars Episode Two: Attack of the Clones was in the theatres. Thus, we took the calling uh, to calling these glowing hot pink gems mm. Jedi Spinels as they were untouched by the dark side. <laughs> Jedi Spinel is known for its scarcity as well as its electrifying colour um, and its, what's that, Monica, Monica um, has become a reference to its quality and value. Uh, okay, it's tied to you. Uh, Jedi was adopted by the gemstone dealers as a trade name over the years and has become widely known in the Asian market, especially in China. So again, going back to Toby put a post up, it was on his story, I believe, on Instagram, and it's just literally, it says one of the finest Jedi red spinel pieces that he's ever actually witnessed, ever actually seen. Now, don't get me wrong, this was five figures. Mm. It was astonishingly expensive, but it is a colour unlike any other, mm. in my opinion, any other mm. red gemstone that yeah. you can imagine. Would you consider, or did we ever imagine, that little old jewellery maker would be able to bring you the rarest colour of mm. all? That's exactly what we have right now, and so much so, actually, I'm going to get my phone torch. Because I really want you to see those pinks. Yeah, beautiful, isn't it? Yeah. This is totally and utterly natural. Mm -hmm. And I have 26 available opportunities. Extremely, extremely limited. To say that you own not just red spinel, but to say that you own Jedi red spinel. Mm. 26 available in the world. You are an immediate collector. And it wasn't until the early 2000s that big names in the gem world, like Vincent Pardieu, actually started documenting and talking about red spinel, but a, 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 a particular variety that is Jedi. See the pinks? Yeah, there you go. Look at that. Rare neon pink stroke red spinel. First started getting noticed really in the year 2000. There we go. Named after Star Wars. Episode 2, Attack of the Clones. 
<laughs> glowing hot pink gems, Jedi spinels that were untouched by the dark side. We're going to do this in one price crash. We have the pearls coming your way, jewelry makers. Not just any old pearls as well. This is one for the collectors. I've got less than 20 of these remaining. Um, London, straight away, you've got yours. Again, I would be really selective with these because yeah. we're talking about real rare gemstones here. Yeah. Not something that you need to put the whole strand in one piece. No. Do you know what I mean? And, and yeah, actual fact, can I also just say, we've put spaces with these, and I actually think those spaces are detrimental to us being able to appreciate yeah. appreciate the quality. That's why I wanted to show you with a torch behind yeah. jewelry makers because no, they're yeah, actually right. making them look dark. This is that same strand that you saw a few moments ago. You know, um, when you take those, well, they're not even silver, are they? I don't think, but they take those spaces away. Um, or are they silver? I don't know. When you take them away, you're actually going to be able to see all the light behind. I've got 20 available. We're going to do it in one price crash. London, Kent, you're there. Susan in Devon, Northamptonshire, Jean, Pauline and Angela. I've got new customers getting involved as well, which is incredible. What? The Literally cobalt blue, Jedi red. They are the two rarest colours of spinel in the world. And you've just got hold of it for 50 quid. Wow. You imagine with that a koi apple necklace. Oh. Just put about seven at the front. Yeah. So, not, so only seven of those. That How becomes a you, flagship piece then. Yeah, it does. It? And, and you're going to add on three, four hundred pounds to that, aren't you? Yeah. And you've only used a fraction of it. And, and, and do educate. Educate your recipients or, and, and customers. You know, okay, so why is this one a little bit more expensive? Oh, okay, well, this isn't just any spin out. Yeah. Firstly, this is Mogok. Mm. So this is Burmese. Secondly, it's Jedi Red, mm. one of the rarest colours of all. Yeah, um, yeah 100%. Do share all yeah. that information and be frugal with the carrot weights. Well, about, I certainly would. About two or three hundred years ago, all red stones were called rubies yeah. because ruby just means red stone. Yeah. So spinels were considered rubies. And I think nowadays, especially now, I think everybody realises just how wonderful spinels are and the price of spinels is really And they're durable too. Yeah. They're right up there with yeah. their durability. The so it's definitely a gemstone that you can wear on a regular basis. I mean, Amazing. Down to the final nine. Sorry, seven left. Um, so I'm going to leave that with you, jewellery makers, because we have got another big auction to bring for, bring to you before we tiptoe into the masterclass, which is all about your pearl scoop, um, but very, very, very different. Um, two very different pearl opportunities. I yeah. love that about it. So I think you can get your very traditional pearls, can't you? You know, your classic, Fun. like the Akoyas that we yeah. had earlier on. Um, then you could go to something like, okay, okay, your Baroque pearls, where they're quite original with their um, with their shapes and formations we're about to bring you one of the rarest varieties of pearl of all and there's lots of different varieties for, uh, and lots of different reasons for their rarity metallic pearls are like a needle in a haystack and we're going to talk some more about that in a few seconds now this is a star by opportunity um, how many did you say Russ 30 available in the world um, it is most definitely part of your exclusive weekend funny we were just talking about Wayne Smolder there <laughs> it's like off off tangled isn't it what's his name off tangled when he gives the smolder anyway I digress <laughs> okay your star by opportunity is all about the most incredible beautiful quality metallic pearls um, and as I mentioned just a few moments ago metallic and, and I really want to share this presentation with you because, do you have it, Roscoe? Um, okay, so why metallic in particular is as rare as it is. Now we know that 
and we've been discussing already that you can source amazing pearls from the salt water regions you can get your akoyas you can yeah. get your tahitian pearls you can get your uh, south sea pearls as well you've got your edison pearls which are fresh water i think my talk back's just gone as well um but oh no no it's okay yeah. <laughs> um and then you have Miki Moto who developed uh sort of the amazing ability to culture your pearls as well um and then you've got your freshwater variety which is fantastic so there's lots and lots and lots of ways of well I say lots lots of ways of bringing this pearl to the market far more than when you used to have to free dive for them but there's different traits you can actually have the virtues you've got size you've got shape you've got color you've got nacre and you've got luster they are it, there is more than that technically but yeah. i always narrow it down to yeah. the final five now the two latter nacre and luster are arguably the most important because i've said this many times before you can have a, a, a very generous size pearl mm -hmm. let's say double digit millimeters yeah. Um, which is exciting and you can have the most let's say rounds because it's quite simple mm. to describe you've got the most perfectly s symmetrical mm. pearl as well amazing and then you've got the most incredible natural color absolutely amazing nacre which is that rare precious material that brings you the color and also brings you a luster mm. um, but luster is the most important and luster really is where um, the metallic lies now I read, and this is why I was asking for it earlier on, no problem, um, asking for it earlier on. If you don't, you, if you don't have luster in a pearl, then I think your pearl loses all its life it and energy, very, doesn't it? It becomes very chalky. Chalky and just meh. Dull. Yeah. Also, have you ever seen a pearl which has been, had perfume sprayed on it multiple times? Yeah. Just, it's sad. It's just, really, it, it really, really it sad. Just, just literally just almost dissolves. looks like, yeah, the soul of the gemstone, gemstone. disappears. Yeah. Um, now metallic is even more than that. A metallic pearl will literally have a mirror-like luster to the surface. And I used to say, to find a metallic pearl is like, you have to harvest 10,000 pearls to get less than 10. Mm -hmm. I recently found out that that statistic is inc incorrect. It's actually 0.01% of each harvest will actually have um, a metallic beauty yeah that's one harvest now consider you have to match that metallic beauty with the luster with the size with the shape etc it's so yeah. difficult and yeah. we overlook this don't we yeah we do we, we actually Matching. overlook that really important take a moment jewelry makers to take a look at this in fact there we go. Take a moment to look at this. Um, Susie, can I hand this over to you just for one second? Yeah. Yeah. No. Because you've been a pearl, a pearl, it pearls your business Absolutely. and has been for a while. We start here with the, the fact that it's pink. With your South Seas, with your sort of salt waters, you can't get shades of pink. And this is why on the fresh water, they were saying, well, we might not be as good as you, but we can get the colors that everybody is after. And um, the way they have now produced these fresh water pearls in this pink, technology has moved forward. So we can get sort of pearls that really match in the fresh water world, match the South Sea. So the, the, the difference in the quality of South Sea um, salt water and fresh water is really leveling yeah, off. Yeah, yeah. And the one thing, as we've known with all gemstones, it's a, a jewelry predominantly is worn by women. And women tend to like the more feminine colors. And this is why you'll get the pinks and the purples that have just absolutely taken off. And you can get the purple and the pink, but when you get that extra nacre, um, and it's only by having extra naked that you get the orient showing through. And what that does is it's like 3D effect and it produces this sort of metallic effect. It can only be done with the best possible process of just maturity in those pearls because mm. one sort of season or one or three or four layers will, chew, uh, will produce quite a chalky looking 
um, pearl. So it needs a long time to develop this um, metallic luster, and that's why they're so expensive. Now, now you say, well, if they're so expensive, why don't all the pearl producers just leave all the pearls in there for that extra? Because it'll take an extra 18 months. It's, it's a gamble. They can think, well, I can take my pearls out now. They're pink. They look nice. I can get X amount. If I left them in there for another 18 months, I can get that. A lot more profit, not much harder work because I don't have to start again from scratch. But what the danger is, is that you could get a sort of a storm happening and you can lose the whole lot. So it's a big gamble. So when they decide to produce these and they actually achieve them, this is why the price is up there because you're talking about the sort of the gamble that the, the pearl farmers have made to achieve this. And they don't bother very often because you imagine you're a pearl farmer and you, you think, right, I've harvested them now, um, this is how much I'm gonna get. And then, you know, Somebody says, oh, let's try for the, the metallic because we can earn so much more. And we go along with that. And then you lose everything. You've got nothing. How yeah, do I feed, nothing them? To show How do I feed the family? We've got to start again. So they're sort of reticent about doing that. But when they do, boy, oh, boy, do you get some lovely pearls. And that's why some do persevere now and again. And then you've then got to size match and color match. Uh, size match, color match. Yeah, all of the above. Yeah metallic match exactly remember that oh, number naught point naught one percent there you go yeah and we're talking individual pearls, pearls let alone a full strand of them exactly. as well it is a high risk and, uh, and Susie I was just listening on then Susie said there you know there's lots of things that can impact it um, the environment right. massively exactly. can impact it as well. You know, we've just seen what we've just yeah. seen with the Akoya pearls hot. as well. Yeah. It gets too hot and then literally they die. Yeah. So um, it is a huge, huge risk. We've actually had, um, and I learned this from, uh, from Dave a few weeks back, and he was actually saying, look, we've had some of the highest, high, most prestigious jewellery houses in the UK have actually reached out to us mm. as a partnership mm. and said, look, where are you getting your metallic pearls from? Yeah. Because we're really struggling to replace what we've made yeah. it, made amazing jewellery with. Um, and probably selling for like the five figures that we see on reference quite often. Where are you getting them from? Oh, okay. Oh, well, they're, you know, they're not able to get, because we can't replace these right now. No. We literally can't replace these. Um, so we got them from there. However, however, um, they're not available now. Okay, well, do you want to sell us yours? Now, we could do if you wanted to make a quick buck. Yeah. However, that means we're not, a, a, we're not able to bring you all, all yeah. opportunities like yeah. this. And remember, the whole ethos of the company is not about how much can we get. No. Um, we know we can get more. We know yeah. that. We've mm. never made any secret of that. It's can we bring, in this case, 30 strands to our amazing audience and bring them to, the, uh, yeah. to our audience at an achievable price? Thank you. Thank you, Ross, for your perseverance. So I wanted to show this article because, and I believe me, it is worth it. It talks about the rarity of your metallic pearls. Mm. So luster, we touched on that. So never mind your five virtues, I'm going to focus on the real key parts. Um, when it comes to determining how beautiful or valuable a pearl is, one characteristic to consider is its luster. This refers to how well the gem reflects light. Fine pearls have a wonderful shine that uh, that's almost like looking into a mirror. When light hits them, it sparkles and shimmers enchantingly. Pearls like this are worth more money than those without such luster, which again, we've spoken about. Let's go to the bottom. It also says the allure and prize, uh, uh, price of pearls are influenced by their shape and size. Mm. Round pills are rare. They are highly sought after because they're symmetrically attractive. Um, but most importantly, larger pills can band a premium price. And the reason why I wanted to introduce that is because these are huge, oh. huge metallic mm. pearls. Um, read it on. Matching. Um, and we've kind of touched on this as well today. When crafting pearl jewellery, it's not enough to simply gather pearls. They must also be sorted by their luster, colour, size and shape. This careful practice guarantees that the gemstones are complementary in every way. Pearls that have been well matched command a higher price because the effort and skill involved to mm. assemble them. Environmental factors. Yeah. 
When it comes to the health of oysters and the quality of pearls they produce, quality, water quality and environmental key factors are, uh, factors are key. Water temperature, salinity and the cleanliness can all affect the nacre production. And pearl farmers often have no control over no, these. This is what Susie was yeah. just saying. Unexpected weather change or changes in the water conditions could mean entire high harvests mm. are lost. Which can you imagine? You've invested so many so years. Much time, yeah. And then it's like, oh my goodness, I've yeah. just lost the whole harvest. Yeah. Um, reading on, market demand. Pearls have been long held uh, in high esteem in the world jewellery, representing both class and eternal beauty. Recently, their popularity um, uh, has kept rising. This is thanks to modern taste, their status yeah. as a wise investment and cultural importance. I think that's very obvious, the market yeah. demand for pearls. Um, now, look at these. Yeah. I didn't think this was a bad price, firstly. Yeah. Edison pearl pair, I know they're round, but it doesn't really matter. It's the metallic that yeah. gives them that price. Right. Absolutely, 100%. The classic, 22 and a half thousand pounds. Now, if you think that pair of Edison pearls, and it doesn't matter where they were from, yeah. was 428 pounds. And bear in mind that number, 0.01% of each harvest produced a metallic pearl. Yeah. What price do you think should go on this strand? Yeah, exactly. We almost overlook it. We do yeah. become complacent, we Susie. Do. We do. We, be we become very complacent. And when we're looking at a strand, you think, oh, yeah, they just pick them out. It oh look, it's another sp it's no. another metallic. Yeah, yeah, no, no, it doesn't happen like that. They pay it's like people, a lottery ticket, isn't they it? They pay people to match pearl strands. Yeah. So you you think in the industry how much you're going to pay somebody? That's their job, day in day out, just to match. And they might have, say, with uh, Tahitia, because of the color variation, it can take two years to get a perfectly matched strand. Mm -hmm. Like this. Now, I say Tahitian because Tahitian are revered as all, oh, you know, really expensive. And if you tell anybody Tahitian, think, oh wow, it's a coloured pearl, it's not white, really expensive. Edison's and these type of metallics are now, the price of them are going up there. The exclusivity of them is as rare, and the demand for them. I would have these over um, Tahitian because I, mean, I love Because they're more silver. Yeah. Far more beautiful. silver, far more metallic in yeah. their actual appearances. Now, jewellery makers, sorry, I, th I think we've been talking about this long enough. Yeah. We've got 30 <laughs> available opportunities. The graphics are live. Officially, the auction is open. These are Edison pearls. They come beautifully displayed in this amazing, like, teal yeah. box. Look at that. I mean, look, you can literally see well, what is metallic, by the way. If you think about it, it's your silver colours, your golds, your coppers, those kind of colours yeah. um, on the surface of the actual pearls. I mean, look at this. Yeah. You've got golds, coppers, silvers, right the way from end to yeah. end with the actual strand. But never lose sight of the fact that a pearl is rare anyway we know that we can culture pearls we're farming mm. them effectively but it's not a guarantee any no. pearl has had a lot of time invested into them whether they're potato pearls or whether they're the finest yeah. pearls like this time is invested and it's not right okay little oyster i want you to produce i want you to produce the most amazing 11 millimeter 11 mil millimeter drop pearl yeah. or baroque pearl yeah. or whatever and i want you to be naturally purple and i want you to have natural metallic beauty yeah. you know it just doesn't happen that way right. it's that winning lottery ticket in the pearl harvest um, and they take years to actually form full 38 centimeter strands now we have 30 available yeah natural metallic beauty oh goes back to our conversation put that on the 18 karat gold class oh, yeah it's beautiful we're not messing around you've gone no. straight down to 499 pounds these are so expensive i think dave had um a, a slide or not a slide a presentation where he was talking to a supplier 
and she had a strand of metallic pearls and he said oh well can I buy yeah ten? I've only got the one yeah 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 we've shown that video yeah. where she's actually in Hong Kong yeah. and it's like 18 grand yeah she's like, and he was like okay how how long to get some more well, and he was like uh, could be years 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 she was like yeah. years Many, many years, she was saying, because it's metallic. Yeah, it's metallic. Like, yeah, and she kind of looked at Dave as if like, to go, don't be so ridiculous. Stupid? They don't just pop up. They're like, <laughs> yeah, yeah point not one percent That's exactly. how rare it is. And here we go. So to, I mean, we're casually sat here and going, yeah, there's 30. No, there's 30. That's insane. It is that insane. That pair for £428, you can see the metallic. It's not the shape that we're comparing. Yeah, Look at the metallic beauty. In fact... Go on, Joe, do your thing. Yeah, look at that. Metallic beauty. And you're looking at two. Let's beat that price. Wow, that's amazing. For the whole strand, £399 and box like so. I want to put this on a rose gold, I think. Yeah. Yes, I love making oh. jewelry with rose gold. This is, Debbie's epitomise this, this is buying jewellery or having jewellery that you cannot afford to buy in the shop. 100%. You, wear, you could not, you can make yourself, let's not be a business now, make this for yourself, be a million dollars because that's what it is, that is a one in a million piece. Try and go to Bond Street or anywhere because you won't get that in the high street. You'd have to go to a really high Oh, it's going to have to be, yeah, your high-end jewellers or Harrods or somewhere and like that. see how much they're charging and you're thinking, you'll be skipping back home, thinking, yes, thank you, jewellery maker. I've got that piece of jewellery. Yeah. In 30 seconds. <gasps> oh, my goodness. God. Really? That is a fantastic price. That's a stupid price already. We're going to half it. I oh, know. This is jewellery Okay, this maker. is first come, first serve jewellery yes. makers. Honestly. Wait, 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 Ross. Wait, because I've just looked up at the call screens and I think maybe, maybe, I, maybe we've been wittering on a little bit too long on this one. And that's because I wanted to show you that PowerPoint. I wanted to show you how yeah. vital and how important the metallic beauty actually is to it. Okay, now here you are. What I am going to do though, because we are literally, yeah. I'm going to say it again, we're going to half that price. Even if well, there was a hundred pounds going off that price, that's madness. Yeah. Even if you were staying here or more, yeah. that's amazing. It's a full 38 centimetre strand, all metallic. Not one, they're all metallic, metallic. which is years of investment. A pair of earrings, that price, two pearls. Yes. Two pearls, well, and I'm talking sterling silver. They, those, those pairs yeah. that we saw, all right, they're a millimetre or two below, but they're Edison pearls. They're metallic Edison pearls at £428. They're, they're not on anything. Yeah. They're not on gold or anything. Those um, earrings we had, the clover earrings yeah, we had lovely. this morning, two of those, £400. £400 for those earrings. If you bought those earlier and you just want to sort of make a pair of earrings Ooh. to justify having them for yourself you just pay for this is a crazy those. if you're doing what you say you're doing yeah. roscoe then that's one they're of the best huge. deals you've done of they're the day huge, huge, huge. do you agree for what you're getting this is one yeah. of the best well like you've just read my mind i'm going to count them two four six eight ten twelve fourteen 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36, 37, makes 37. So, so, well, oh, it's five pounds, no, 37 oh. pence per natural metallic pearl. Right. I'm, go I'm, go I'm joining you on this, that's ridiculous. Oh my word. The traditional graduated pearl necklace, um, the, the Queen used to wear a triple strand. Um, they were probably um, a coir, but they start at four mil and they go up to the one in the middle at eight mil. That was your quintessential graduated pearl necklace. Four mil mainly, few six mil and an eight mil. We have all of them at nine to 11 mil ridiculous yeah wow. let's let, let's just take sorry i was like can we get close yeah look look copper beautiful Ev silver see the blues there yeah. rose colors gold look, overtones beautiful. here look how look at how beautifully look metallic, metallic each and every single one of these are look at that oh look at those beautiful 
absolutely amazing. Don't worry that they're not perfect rounds. There no, is no, this no, bit that's in the business the that oh, you look get at that perfect one. rounds. It's like a 24 karat gold. Yeah. No, no, no. Yeah, this is like that. That's one of the joys yeah. of pearls oh. is you have these gorgeous yeah. organic shapes. Look at that one. Unbelievable. Wow. As if not one of these should be but 199. Not one. Not point nor one percent of each harvest yeah. will actually have natural metallic beauty. Well done, everybody. Now, if you well love your done. pearls, um, do not go yeah. anywhere because your masterclass is all ready um, on pre-order, um, and it's been absolutely ages. I've got two hundred and fifty. Um, oh, it's on pre-order as we speak right now. How about a bead scoop? How about not just any bead scoop? A pearl scoop yeah. coming up in your masterclass after this. Yeah. Never miss a show by watching on the go with the Jewelry Maker app. Head over to your app store now and search Jewelry Maker and simply download to your smartphone or tablet. You can watch the shows live and see your favorite presenters and guests. Click on the Today button to shop all of the products that are featured on today's show. Want to know what's hot? Then click here to see today's best sellers and highlights. Have you missed a show or want to watch one back? Then click on the schedule button and you can go back seven days to watch and shop and you can also see what's coming up over the next seven days. Want to say hello or ask a question to our guests? Then send a message to the studio. You can also keep in touch with all the latest news, events, product launches and much more by clicking for our social media pages. Never miss a show by watching On The Go with Jewelry Maker. Purchase one of our projects and want to download the instructions? Then simply log into your account at jewelrymaker.com. Go to your order history, find your order, and click on download content. From there, you can save to your computer or print off a copy. Please note that your project sheets will be available once your order has been dispatched. Jewelry Maker, create, wear, share. Did you know that you can shop for pre-show deals on Jewelry Maker? Head over to jewelrymaker.com every day between 7 a.m. and 8 a.m., click on Watch Live, scroll down for brilliant products, last of stock items, and amazing deals. But these deals are only available for one hour, and once they're gone, they're gone. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker.
I want to ask you a question. October the 4th, 2020. Where were you? 4th of October, 2020. Where were you? Do anyone know? Ross can tell you exactly where I was. And Wayne. At 11.16, on the 4th of October, 2020, I was on your screens, and we brought to you and sold over 300 of a mixed freshwater cultured pearl scoop. Without instructions, by the way, because we didn't do them then. And I'll be honest, not, not as nice a colour selection as what you've got right now. Now, you know, I'm thinking, Elle, why are you talking about what best part of four years ago? Well, a lot has happened in four years, firstly. The whole pearl industry, you know, it's gone, turned on its head. You know, we've had the pandemic. We saw, we predicted it. We predicted it happening, didn't we? We predicted the supply of pills becoming um, restricted. We didn't predict um, necessarily the popularity of pills. We saw that on that supply and demand slide earlier on, going as crazy globally, internationally as they have right now. But... Um, and we didn't see the price increase going, uh, uh, foresee that. That's the last time, 4th of October, 2020, that's the last time you had a pearl scoop on it. A brand new launch of a pearl scoop. Best part of four years, Susie? I know, amazing. I'm so pleased I got to get to play with them. You was a very lucky girl. Yes, I love them. And you get masses. Oh. It's fun jewellery and you've got pearls. Who doesn't love pearls? Who doesn't love pearls? Susie, we're going to put a clock on the screens yeah. and then we're going to remind us of your lovely jewellery because yeah. you could just sit here and go, oh, there's a pair. Yeah. Oh, I could do yeah. this, I could do that. 60 seconds to launch the first mixed bead scoop that we yeah. have brought you, that we have launched in four years. Four years! Where does time go? Sorry, honestly, I don't know where time goes. You know? Four years! That's like in the middle of the pandemic, wasn't it? In the middle of the pandemic. Look at, look how beautiful jewellery that you can make out of these. And I like the fact that it literally uh, kind of forces you to be a little bit flamboyant. Yeah, it allows you to have fun. Um, this is just literally beading on a whole strand of multicolored, not even thinking about what ones they were. So that is really, really pearl heavy. I love it. I love those earrings too. Those earrings, just two that I picked out, similar yeah. looking, just glued them onto the back of a, um, a stud earring finding. Yeah. And I would charge forty pounds for those. Yeah, definitely. They're big, aren't they? Yeah, they're lovely. Sort of like the baroque style that we talk about. You know, they're not perfect rounds, and really. So that's just two from your bead scoop. I actually made two pairs. Yeah. Seriously, you yeah. won't believe the price that we're going yeah, to then, jewelry well. makers. Now. Yeah. How, yeah, yeah. Well, this is well, what Susie was just yeah, saying. I'm just saying for fun. So wait, yeah. wait, wait a minute now, because what four years ago we had over. 300 of these sell and they went in less than 10 minutes by the way i don't have 300 today i've got 250. Mm. do you want to see just how much you get yeah becky if i was just bringing those earrings to air do you know, how much do you think they would be on jewelry maker let's say and they're big they are they're big pearls they're, they're sort of because like, you're getting baroque mm. drops everything's yeah, in here they're, they're 10 mil Okay, so we'll just say, let's say £20 for those earrings. Yeah, I'm going to say 40 because the, the lust is lovely. Yeah, obviously, I meant here yeah. at Jewelry Maker, oh, you sell them at yours, yeah, 100%. Yeah, just for fun. And you're not even... Wait. I mean, that's how much I've got left. It's a whole bag still. Still a whole bag. Ready? This is, uh, this is fun, this is. Ready? They're going to go everywhere. Oh, this loads. Wait, wait, wait. Hold up, everybody. There's still another one. 
because you still have all these. Yeah. yeah. Honestly, there is masses. There is loads. I've got, I've got half drilled pearls. Yeah. I've got button pearls. pearls. I've got purple, blues, greens, cashies, silver. I like such variety. Yeah. Oh, you're going to have so much fun with these jewelry makers. Yeah. But whenever we bring you a scoop, in particular a pearl scoop, the f the phone lines and the web goes nuts. Yeah. It's been four years. Yeah. Four years. Oh, it's brilliant. I've had a child since then. Yeah. You too, Ross. Yeah, you've been busy. You have been busy. Oh, my goodness me. Look at these. Look yeah. at the amount, the sheer volume that you get. Okay, you're going to need to be quick on these jewellery makers. 250 might seem like... Look, straight away, can I just say I found a pair. I'll try, yeah. and, try and hold these. In the grand scheme of absolutely everything that has happened in the pearl industry, um, and there has been a lot that's happened in the pearl industry, let's be honest, that's not an unreasonable price, is it? £149. Wow. Yeah. It's not actually an unreasonable price. Let's not forget, we are pills are not the same price as they were four years ago. No. There's very little that is the same price as what was four years ago, to be truthful, but pearls in particular. In particular. It's amazing. You just spend hours playing with them. Yeah. I've started something now in the gallery. They're talking about, I remember when this used yeah. to be a pound. Having the, look, yeah, yeah, pearls. I've never been anywhere near that price tag here at Jewelry Maker. We'd specialise in bringing them to you at the most amazing price. But we, do, we, do we all agree? 149 Yeah. would be awesome. You've got lovely forest greens. You've got, look at these, lovely, I like that one. Nice purple colour. Ooh, 100 pounds, back into your pocket. Not what you're paying. A minute clock on your screens. Um, it has been four years. Fourth of all, uh, October, sorry. Fourth of October in the 11 o'clock hour was the last time we launched a pearl scoop. And yeah. you get as well the downloadable instructions by our lovely Susie, which is on what, Susie? Yes, it is on. Oh. <laughs> 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 oh, it's on, on paper. <laughs> it is no. <laughs> she just had a little moment. All right. I thought it, it happens to us all, Susie. No. Don't worry. How to make this? Okay. Which is really good fun. Okay. <laughs> Amazing. Sorry. That's all right. It's all good. It's okay. I, I think I just got you Take when you were mid head, head Actually, into I've the pearl scoop. There we go. Look. Yeah. There we are. There you go. Sorry, everyone. Don't be daft. We've got had 250 of these. I would strongly encourage checking out soon rather than later on these. Over 300 sold um, back four years ago. And a lot's happened since then, hasn't it? Text in what's happened in four years. This is amazing. Ross has gained two children. You were what? You were still at uni, says Becky. Oh. 39.99. Oh, we go again. We go oh, again. Right, those earrings have just paid for your whole thing. There you too. go, it's the whole scoop. Take two, just randomly take two and see how much that diminishes that big part. Nothing. Two? Yeah. Okay, it, I'll even hunt, Susie. Yeah, just pick for up two, two the same. Yeah. And that one? Yep. Yeah. And that one, right. let's say. And if they fell on the floor and got lost, you yeah. wouldn't really miss them, but you've got forty pounds there. That's maybe right, there's my forty pounds right there. That's your forty pounds, and it's not even stopping there. No, I got yeah, no, I barely barely scratched the surface. Yeah, you get this loads of these little teeny pearls too. I, I mean, it was a matter of when do I stop? Yeah, that's the thing. You got to put a curfew on yourself. Yeah, I think like okay, enough now. Look at all those. I they're some of the rarest cut sizes yeah. to actually see in pearls actually. Yeah. Um, the sort small, what we call seed pills. Yeah. Look at those. You're not paying forty yeah. pounds, jewelry makers. We're going even lower. Yeah. We know what's happened in the pearl industry. We know the price has gone through the roof, and yet twenty nine ninety nine. Wow. This. I agree. Yeah. Ross has just no. said I think a generally a fair price for your multicolored mixed piece. 
pill scoop. $49.99 is more than reasonable at Jewelry Maker. Yeah, I think we all agree. Mad. Absolutely mad. Oh, we're 20 quid lower and there's still a purple clock ticking away. Um, okay, from 250, where are we at, Roscoe? Over 100 have gone. There's a little bit of a queue building on the phone lines. There's more than 100 of you with any basket. I think these will be another on-screen uh, on-air sellout today. I mean, there's pretty much every colour that you can think yeah. of. I can see, like, a candy floss pink. I can see... Oh, stay there. I can see a lovely orange. I can see blues. I can see greens. I can see a lovely crimson red. Oh, think about Christmas makes and stuff as well. I'm just being really generous now. Sell that necklace there for £100. I mean, it, that's a really good price. Yeah. You, you think anywhere else that could be £800 for coloured pearls. Yeah. So I'm being generous. That's £100. That's £140 for two bits. I've still got all of this left. Yeah. You know, if, if you want a little business, here's get your, your business. Get your pearl scoop. Yeah, get straight away. Get your pearl away. scoop. Never mind $49.99. We've halved that price for you today. £24.99. Wow, yeah. uh, hiya, Jane. Silly not to multiply at that price. Um, a cold, wet day yeah. of sorting pearls. Yeah. Bliss. Oh, yeah. You do. You when the you, rain's coming down sideways. You do find that you start sorting them. And I wanted, when I was making the jewellery, to be random because I just like the idea of going random. So I was having to stop myself. Yeah. Oh, my goodness me. There's right, I tell so you what, jewellery makers, um, four years in the waiting. Yeah. Four so years. So much jewellery you can make. I've made all of that jewellery, and, I, you know, I've probably used about a quarter yeah. of them. Well, I'll tell you what. Being generous. Whilst you're... Look at that. You've even got these. Look at this one. Look at that one. Can you see? He's almost stripey. Yeah. How cool that is. Yeah. Fabulous. Now, everybody, we're going to dive into the demonstrations. Any questions that you have for our lovely Susie, do text in. I'll keep you updated on the quantity. You do get downloadable instructions as well with our lovely Susie. Remember, I only had 250. And I say only. It's not... I think we've done a thousand quantity of a pearl scoop before. Yeah. Or certainly a bead scoop before. Um, and they still sell out. So it's a, it is a lot of fun. I think you said it perfectly there. It's a lovely introduction into the world of pearls yeah. and the colours. Yeah. And, and affordable too. Fun, yeah. And just to have fun with them. Exactly. Sometimes Did people think pearls are very serious. But sometimes it's good fun to have pearls. Didn't people. someone thread them once? I think a that pearl was scoop. Hannah. Did Hannah not do like this? I feel this, like she did. Like this huge long strand. And they sort of held it from one Across end of the, the room. Across the studio. Yeah. yeah. And like they literally threaded the pearl scoop. Yeah. Um, take it away, Susie. Yeah. Sorry. No. We're also, I've asked Katie and she came up with the most amazing little scoop of sea beads. So you might like sea beads and you love to do your Well, you can magic put them together, them. can't you? Yeah. There's a lovely selection that complements your pearls. And what I did with those, I literally emptied them all into a plastic bag and then I tipped them into um, a bead spinner. Oh, I love this. This is what I'm saying about fun jewellery. So I tipped them in and I actually tipped in a few uh, gold beads as well. Mm. You don't have to, but I just thought... it Because if you've got a spinner, Anything, as long as it's got sort of like a 0.6 drill hole, will, this will pick it up. So you need a needle to match it. And then I've pre I showed you it in the earlier demonstration. So um, in the break, what I did was I pre uh, I sort of put oh, a collot on, on the Susie. end. Sorry. Well done. Thank you, Elle. Let me bring that down. Right. I threaded on a collot and got the, the thread, put a collot on. I actually then attached my um, uh, clasp mm -hmm. and then I've just put a bead on. That actually acts as a weight as well. So it means that I've got, I don't have to put a bead stopper because I've finished that bit. Really easy. I showed you how to do it in the early bit. So then you just get a length of thread, try not to knot it. Um, to the length, it can be any length you want. Um, make it longer than you need because uh, thread is really inexpensive and then to make this these necklaces this is how you do it I'm going to put it very quick really quick you imagine having to seed bead those on you think oh it took me forever now 
you just literally, I don't know, you might have to go, yeah. And you literally spin it and then you hold the needle. It's so cool. And this. then you stop and then just scoop it up. See how much I've picked up already. And then you just literally just push it down. And they're all seed beads, so they will go over this needle. These are little 15 O's as well, I think. Really, really small. And then you just carry on like this. Now, this is when you can either stop there and add on a pearl, which I've done on some of them, or what I'm going to do is show you the one where I just added one pearl. So I just want to show you the technique. It's just thread on these. See how quickly we're, we're doing that? All good fun. And these, as I say, 15 O's. And you know when I was talking about the black spinel, how long it took <laughs> to just bead one on? Yeah. And these are a very similar size. And you just keep doing this. And it's really good fun. If you're a beginning and um, you like to make jewelry, this is very lightweight, fun jewelry. Um, and I think sometimes we need a bit of fun with our jewelry. You know, it's not all about being serious. I make very serious jewellery for my clients. And sometimes I just need a sort of an outlet to make, you know what? Jewellery's to be worn, jewellery's yeah. to be enjoyed. Um, if you're making it for friends, you know, this is really good. If they stick like that, just give it a good old yank, you're in charge. Some of them like to sort of say, no, I don't want to go on, but they will. And so I'm going to do it one more time. Look how much I've done already. So, so quick. So I'm going to do one more. And then I'm just going to really satisfying to oh, watch I love this. doing this yeah you just Whee! do that and then you just stop scoop it all up and then take it down so I'm going to stop there because I think that's probably enough for a half a necklace then what you have to do I mean I'm going to now just add an accent to both sides of one pearl so these can go on and then I'm just going to undo it because unfortunately the needle won't go through the pearl picked a pearl I've picked white quite a big one you'll have these in your one then I'll put that one on as well and then I'm going to re-thread now you think oh no that is difficult but these have got quite nice um, holes to go through so this is the most difficult part about it and normally these will go through really really quickly but I'm going to persevere because when I was making them I was taking off the thread on and off, on and off, every time I did it, see? There we go. And so that now is the middle of my necklace. Can you see how pretty that is with these? these? And then I'll just continue. So now I just continue and I carry on. And you can load up as many or as few as you like. As I say, these do want to come through. And can you see, you just angle it. Don't worry if, it, sometimes they fall off do not worry but as I say when you stop just stop the bowl and then just lift them up and then push them down like that and carry it up and you can see you can make lots of necklaces very quickly or make a really long line necklace very very quickly but as I say if you're adding on a pearl you would tend to stop and unthread it and this is where you get the sort of the equal length because I, I managed normally I was picking up about that much at a time so those lengths are really sort of one pass through. But can you see already? Yeah, and I just, just celebrating one pearl. Just so, yeah, exactly. And you imagine you, how many of these you could make. Yeah. So and I so just if you get if you get the sea beads and you've got certainly enough to make lots of these absolutely. necklaces. Absolutely. Or if you've got sea beads, I just love the ones that uh, Katie picked for me. Um, I think or sea bead specialists will know. They're the these sort of. Um, hexagonal ones they're the hex ones mm. so they they, they sort of um, faceted so yeah. they add extra sparkle so I really like them but can you see that is almost completed and you would just continue I'll do one more pass because that's it and you can see how quickly this necklace you can make this necklace so I'm just going to oops they might pop out a bit doesn't matter do for a little tidy up sometimes you don't pick up many and I'll do it one more time, and there'll probably be too many, but you get the idea. You can all easy to pull them off. Sometimes they go really. There we go. Just doing that last one. And you can see, 
and then all you do is finish that off but let's just say that that is probably look at that how quick was that necklace oh gorgeous how quickly was that necklace love that and it's just fun to wear really lightweight and if you don't like it tomorrow you can just undo it all again and yeah exactly because exactly. it's taken five it's minutes to do five it's really good great if you've got kids as well yeah yeah and I, I just think they look that. really sparkly I love the sparkle that they give but you know another, just an, another thing you know we're talking about $24.99 I mean you can go into pretty much any big supermarkets and you know the toy aisle yeah if you were to buy a plastic or, or acrylic jewelry making bead toy you know that you can get yeah. Um, that are huge at the moment. They're going to cost you more than twenty four ninety nine, yeah. or there or thereabouts anyway. Um, you're getting genuine pearls. Yeah, genuine pearls. We've brought the big eye needles previously before. Just literally yeah. go with those. Yeah, exactly. You can actually make your own um, with the big eye needles. You can, if you have um, a point four wire, just yeah. bend it and just then just just glue the um, thread onto it. The, the, the selection of pearls that you get here and you're basically looking at okay so this is probably about I'm going to say four inches deep four inches yeah and it's by well, how do you reckon that is I don't know eight inches maybe in terms of its actual length yeah. and they're piled up so you get masses absolutely masses I don't think it's difficult to appreciate it's really difficult to actually sort of tell you how, how much you get. Yeah, because there's not loads. Standard, but there is loads and loads and loads. I mean, I could count them, but I reckon it's going to take me probably over the remainder time of the show to actually do that. Yeah. Because there's hundreds there. There's got to be hundreds there. Now, we had, what, 250, did you say? Less than 50 remain. So actually, if we look at our call screen right now, if your name is on um, the side of the line, which basically tells me that you're not confirmed, you stand a chance of missing out on this, and it's been four years. I, I don't know about you, but four years is a long time. Yeah. It is a long time. And who knows? Who knows? One thing waiting three months for something or six months for something to be sort of reordered, but four years... Goodness me. Make beautiful jewels. We've got Christmas coming up. Oh my God, I'll be 50 by then. Four years. That's yeah. young. <laughs> yeah. 50. Time goes like that, it does. doesn't it? It goes like that. Yeah. Oh my goodness me. So if you see your name on this side of the list, Georgina, check out your basket, lovely. Kate, Jennifer, Joanne, Kay, Elaine, Fife. Uh, Georgia, Janet, Maker, uh, London, London, Anne, Hazel. I think that's another Anne I can't quite see, but you disappear off the bottom of the screens as well. I've only got 50 of them left, and there is people on the phone list that I can't always see all of your names, so well done. There's nothing stopping. We say we've got 50 available. That could be 25 people mm. multi-buying, couldn't it? Yeah. And at 24.99, why wouldn't we? Why wouldn't we? Lots of people asking about the bead spinner. I wish I'd bought in a bracelet I made for myself um, out of coloured beads, and this is the perfect one to do it. I yeah. had um, sterling silver, the 5 mil gold, and I made a bracelet, and then every five gold beads I put on a different colour pearl. Yeah, lovely. Oh, I gorgeous. love it. You could do this um, with this. I apologise, we haven't got the bead spinner in stock. No. So sorry for those of you messaging in about that, but we will. I should imagine it's already on. It, on it's being it's yeah gonna be it's, on, it's, it's gonna fun. be on the radar because yeah it. it's very yeah. satisfying it to is. do as well it's and it's just like a, you just spin it basically yeah. and they jump on yeah um so we don't have any available right now but it's but uh, it's, it's on the on the radar um if you want those beautiful hex beads the sea bead uh, bundle let me just scooch that over there and they're beautiful sea beads yeah they're, they're lovely so this is what susie was talking about they are almost faceted to a certain degree can you see yeah. that um, you see that the edges yeah. that you get you get lots of lovely sparkle and to they the are surface. very sparkly so if you want to recreate uh, Susie's amazing technique yeah. also we don't see CB bundles very no. often do we um, then make sure you're dialing through as soon yeah. as you possibly can how many do we have Roscoe yeah 
four to, oh, not many. Just get them. If you love your seed beading, you need these. I think they're 15 O's, aren't they? They're tiny. Um, they? 11 O's. 11 O's, all oh, right. 11 O's, they hex tiny. beads. You've got the amber, dark green, lime yeah. blue, red, and silver. And mixed so, together, they just look so magical. Some lovely festive Rich. colours yeah, in is, here, too. Yeah. Loving that. Now, I've only got 40, so you need to be super speedy. Super, super, super speedy. It's funny because they actually do perfectly complement uh, complement as well the bead scoop. Yeah, they do. Perfectly complement the bead scoop. So much so I'm going to put the bead scoop behind it. Yeah. No. Um, I think uh, Katie did really well with that. She did. She did a good job there. There you go. Can you see? See how they match? I've only got 40 though. How about per tube, five pound? 50 pounds, you can get absolutely everything. everything. Uh, and it goes so far. How much, you know that necklace that you demonstrated there, Susie? I know there's one on the bus there. How much would you sell that for? I would probably sell that for about 45 pounds. Yeah. Even though, because it's just such a lightweight material. Yeah. And it, it does look like a material once yeah. you've made it. And it's beautiful. What about the single? The single one, again, the one I made, probably about, I'm going to be generous because I'd uh, probably thirty pounds. Yeah, you can go into the some bracelet probably the same price. But well, you, you could get water. costume jewelry for yeah, those exactly. prices. This isn't costume jewelry. Um, this is freshwater pearl. A genuine freshwater yeah. pearl. Um, loads you there. Plus, we really see hex beads to be yeah. honest. So, um, yeah, they really bring a lovely facet to your jewelry. Uh, hello to Janice, Angela, Jeannie. Oh, uh, sorry, Jenny, Sheila, Elaine, Soraya, Hazel, Georgina. Cumbria's got two, Sonia's got two, yeah. Wiltshire, well done. There's loads of you there. I wish I had more. I wish I had equivalent quantity of the yeah. beads, uh, of the pearl scoop. But stop saying bead scoop. It's not just beads, this is no, pearls. No, it's pearl. pearls. Four years. Yeah. 4th of October, 2020. That was the last yeah. time we launched a pearl scoop here at Jewelry Maker. Just make one into a charm. Put it on, yeah. you know, have it as a charm. Yeah. What a lovely gift that would be for Christmas. Gorgeous. Yeah. Make little angels with them. We're coming up to Christmas, something of all ideas that you can make with them. <laughs> stretchy bracelets, you can't yeah. go wrong with a pearl stretchy, stretchy bracelet. bracelet. Yeah, like I've just stranded that. How many pearls I've used, yeah. and yeah, it didn't really have any Rosary effect. Rosary linking? Yes. God, Finding you, pairs, uh, making multiple earrings. Got all the different collect yeah. uh, selections of colours. Um, oh my goodness, the cause greens. I've only got 40. Buckinghamshire, Fife, Wiltshire, Angela, Sonia, well done. I've got Surrey there. There's how many? 14 left. That's it. Yeah. Oh, they're, they're going to sell out today, yeah. aren't they? Um, absolutely amazing, especially, by the way, Maker Who's got six. If you want that quantity, I only had yeah. 40. You can bet your bottom dollar there's more than 40 people watching today. It's been a busy show from start mm. to finish. Yeah. Um, amazing, amazing. Shall we just do a little quick, uh, quick recap on how many people have checked out in the previous Pearl Scoop? 36 left. Okay, out of the 250. I don't know about you, I'm not the most patient of people. <laughs> no, I'm really not. That's a load to be, Joe, you've got it in one there. I'm really not a patient person. That's why I, I, could, I really admire seed beading, because I couldn't do that. <laughs> I haven't got the patience No, at but all. With, with the old, you could. We, I spinner. think we're very similar on our patience levels. Like, like <laughs> I couldn't do it with a needle. I'd be. Have you seen that that meme where there's there, there's like a, kid, a little girl and she's trying to get a straw it back into like a, you know, a drinks bottle. And oh, she's right. only little. She's oh. only about one. And you can see her going. Yeah. And then goes. Yeah. That's no, me. That's, that's totally me. Too. That's why totally I admire me. Monica so much. She spends. You know when she was Hours. doing those. But she's very zen. Yeah. I'm not zen. No. Um, we have, and I can't even remember why we actually said about yeah. that, but why we went into patience. But make sure you check that. Oh, I get it. Four years. You'd have to wait four years yeah. for this no. auction to happen again. You, got you wait so four many years, back. Nah. There's so many things you can do with that pearl scoop. Fantastic. And it's not like the price has gone up either. Yeah. No. You know, twenty four ninety nine still seems like an amazing yeah. price tag, doesn't it? Yeah. You know, you'd, you'd expect it to be a bit more than that. It just move brings those a smile to my face having a pearl scoop. It was yes. just so nice to work with multicoloured pearls and thinking, oh, I could just have some fun with this. Yeah. 
everything goes. It's like a little price. carnival, isn't it? Yeah. It's like a lovely little carnival of pearls. Make one pair of earrings, you've got your money back, and the rest is just fun. Imagine sort of the, the fruit in the hair yeah. and everything. You imagine making a headband with it. Yes. Love it. Or, that. you know, for festivals, you, you just put a, like a little plaque. You say vegetables? Festivals. <laughs> For your vegetables. <laughs> you know, if you go festival, especially with beautiful blonde hair, I've noticed you put a whole, you know, yeah, strand like, like this. Yeah, like boho vibes. Do that. Yeah, to put gorgeous. Them in your hair. Loving that. Not vegetables. Mine would be lots, not vegetables. <laughs> <laughs> okay, final auction of the day, jewellery makers, um, is extender chains. You mentioned this in the, yes. in the nine o'clock hour, didn't oh, you? So handy to have. Um, these you get a different design on each of them as well so yeah. um, it's actually a double extender so if I hold one of them up you'll see what I mean I'm just going to gravitate towards yeah. the heart because I oh, always like the these heart are so beautiful aren't they yeah so you've got a three-dimensional heart it's not flat either yeah. but can you see yes oh, wow. Look at that. but it's a double extension so can you actually see I've got two jump rings yeah so I can actually wear it an inch longer or two inches longer. longer. Yeah. So you've got you've got that opportunity, and sometimes you might think, oh, what, what difference does it make? It like how high oh, your yeah. uh, your blouse or your top is actually yeah. sitting. Sometimes if you're wearing a polo neck jumper and you and it's just strangling you, you just have that extender and yeah. it becomes more comfortable. Yeah, yeah. absolutely, because it lengthens the bracelet or it lengthens the necklace. Yeah. Um, are you ready? This is going to be our finale auction. I'm going to put them all on a tweezer yeah. for, on the tweezers for you. That then. also turns a bracelet into an anklet. Very true. Very, very true. Um, final auction of the day, jewellery makers. Here we go. So you're getting all of your lovely extenders, including the flower, which is flipped round. Yeah. Um, you've got the stars. That's working out at £3 each. They do come as well yeah. um, on a lobster claw class. I mean, just to access wow. the actual class itself, that seems a great price for those, doesn't it? Yeah. I was um, just going to say, the charms themselves, £3 each, are fantastic. Well, to make this, Susie, it goes back to that conversation. Yeah. Why would you'd you have to buy four lobster class. You'd have to buy the lengths of chain. Chains. You'd have to buy the jump rings and the charms. Yeah. Yeah. That's very good. Fantastic. Amazing, well done. Make sure you're checking out your baskets. Oh, and their topaz set. Amazing. Wow. Um, now, coming up on tomorrow's show, um, I'm going to be joined by the lovely Azataza. Amazing. So, eight o'clock, we have got your 925 silver peg bales. Oh, I love that. Peg bale B caps. So, Excellent. you'll be tuning in for that yeah. one. Yeah. 100% Susie. At nine o'clock, ooh, Kotan, oh, Nephrite Jade with our lovely those. Alison. At ten o'clock, we've got Red Jade Eye carvings. Oh, I bought <laughs> loads in the past week, so oh. yeah. Oh, they're lovely. I made a necklace with one of them. Yeah. I love them. Amazing. So that's so your lucky. deal of the day. And then at 11 o'clock, we've got your giant clam back oh, in no. stock. Very exciting. Um, I love the story of that, learning about that, because it's a ge gemstone that I knew very little about. Yeah. Um, and then at 12 o'clock, <coughs> Super Duo. Excuse me. Um, we have a masterclass with your Super Duos. Oh, yeah. The return of your Super Duos, Joy Makers. What an amazing show it has it's been. It's gone so quick. Has gone really quick. Susie, when are you back, darling? I am back on the 22nd. 22nd? Of this month. Oh, it's not too long to yeah, wait. Yeah, it's not then. too long. Oh, we're looking yeah, forward to that. Do you know what you got yet? No. Oh, I do. Of course I do. I've done it all. Oh, she's prepared. She's prepared. <laughs> I'll see you bright and early in the morning where you're cordially invited to another VIP show.